Lock tight, here we go. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in then. <laughs> Squeeze banana. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, comes in denim. Sing that. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes out. Then it says, pop, 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 pop. Squeeze banana. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel. It comes out and then squeeze banana. I need bananas, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth and squeeze the peeling comes in denim. I have no idea what that means. People still say I sang a banana song like a long time ago. I don't remember it. If I knew, I would just sing it again, but I don't even remember the song. So I think it's it. I need banana, tasty banana. Squeeze the peel. It comes in denim. Squeeze the banana. How would you come up with the song, I need bananas, tasty bananas, put bananas in my mouth, squeeze the peel, it comes in denim. I have no idea what you're talking about. You go, ski your cat. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana, squeeze the peel, it comes in denim. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Oh, we got a... Put banana in my mouth, squeeze my mouth. Meerkat mouth. Squeeze banana. Act and talk a certain way with certain mannerisms. Talk certain about my wife. Reactions, screaming at the top of their lungs. Talk about my wife. Constantly on camera. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana. Please the peel it comes in the milk. Get the 250 vestry for that celebration. I'm going to debut a new vest. I need banana, tasty banana. Squeeze the peel. Oh, we it got another one. Down. I need banana, tasty banana. Squeeze the peel. It comes in denim. Squeeze the banana.
672 to sip six dollars seventy two cents big sipper of the night. I'll be coming up with a song I need bananas, tasty bananas, put bananas in my mouth, squeeze the peel, it comes in down. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm gonna find out who the fuck you are. You motherfucker. You are fucked. Clip this one, bitches. Please. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. Follow alert. Call you are fucked. And you are dumb. Dog. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. I'm coming for you. Sound good? Coming for you. Fair enough? Coming for you. Alright. You need Jesus. Please talk about boys. Dog. I'm looking. Please talk about punk ass bitches. I'm looking. We come from the bottom. And he cleans us off. And he raises us up. Raises us up. A man can lay with a man. Dog. But it's reached a point of, I believe, sexual attraction for Philip. Please. Enough with the being completely unfair to me and trying to make it out like I'm a villain. Go fuck yourselves. Literally, lick the chat in my asshole. I don't care about any of you. You're all insignificant humans. Mom. None of you will ever do anything with your lives. Get fucked. Let me tell you something, brother. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. Blood shit and bullets. You are fucked. And you are dumb. Sweat. I'm coming for you. On diarrhea day, dog. That's why he's the- Mark him up. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. Dude, let the trickle. You are fucked, and you are dumb. The champ. I'm coming for you. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Chocolate Starfish. Look at Mo. Who? Welcome everybody, welcome. We're back with another edition of this this thing that it is. The the thing that you're watching right now. The the thing. We should have a name for this. Because they all have different names. Leave the best name in the comments, everybody. Let's find a, a name for this. Uh so before Mr. Denside Dave begins, uh we got some stuff to look over, right? Because we got about 20 minutes. So first there was a brand new spotless 4k screenshots of his discord where he cries about trolls sock accounts lavinia and arkham who is uh the dude apparently editing shorts for him and um somebody told him to ask dsp for financial compensation for all the free work and then that instantly made him a troll um so let's let's just get into that one um shout out to uh the people that sourced the screenshots I just saw him posted in um, in our Discord that is totally public, uh, so you can feel free to join if you feel like it. The, that being said, Discord, apparently the source is from Swollen Dingus on the Tevin Discord, because you see, there's so many cinematic universes in, uh, in places, but Dogsplain posted it in ours, so shout out to him. Uh, so, this is clearly Dark Side Phil, uh, with his long-winded, paragraph-long messages. To inform the trolls. Of course, we got Swaggins up there. Uh, it, it is dated yesterday at 11.44 p.m., uh, which means yesterday, the 13th of August, year of our Lord, 2023rd. So, the message is thus. For the record, Kitty slash Lavinia slash Arkham and his 10 variations of his name are all trolls. They're a part of the same Discord group. Just found out tonight. Arkham has made me some nice shorts and acted like a young kid who liked my content. Even wrote me these emails in a way that made him seem not very well experienced in writing, etc. Tonight, he sat in chat asking about detractor stuff. Even troll accounts like Kitty slash Lavinia and saying, Sing the banana song over and over. Then just now, he sent me a well-written email in perfect English, asking for some sort of compensation for the work he's done. It's apparent it's an attempt at a scam, so I'm going to delete the shorts and ban his ass. And then on the next day, apparently nobody responded to this, and then Phil says, 
uh, maybe like 20 minutes later, I, I figure by the timestamps, just did. No reason to risk anything. So he's uh, he's scared of uh, copy strikes. Uh, then Swaggins, you know, the, the good old cuckins. He says, true, they always did seem a bit odd, especially recently with the Lavinia drama. So it makes sense. The Lavinia drama, by the way, let me remind you of that, because it is pretty recent, but some of you might not know. It's uh, a totally reasonable person correcting him about something that was totally insignificant relating to his new mini PC. Uh, and then what followed was a, a absolutely beyond toxic rant. Uh, at that person and humiliating them on two separate occasions, which climaxed, no pun intended, uh, with uh, DSP banning them and calling them an insignificant human. And uh, told them, S fuck off and, and lick the sh shit out of my ass or something like that. It's it's in the song. Let's actually hear it again. Because I forget the, the, the stuff. Enough with the being completely unfair to me. And this, is, this is the actual uncut... Uh, uh, segment of the rant. To me, get out like I'm a villain. Go fuck yourselves. Literally, lick the shit in my asshole. I don't lick the shit in my asshole. Was apparently the direct quote. There you go. So, how are you supposed to do that? I don't know. I guess he likes some some tongue action. Anyways, uh, this is from the Discord. He said he didn't have, even though in the past he said he does. And then he said he doesn't. And then he said he does. And then he said it's none of your business. And now he's saying that only the trolls have discords, apparently. Uh, so anyways. There's also something else about the banana song. And this is, um... Uh, let's go to, uh, Mimology 101 DSP. Because apparently he had some weird segment about the banana song. Because people were, were telling him, Phil, sing the banana song! Sing the banana song! I also, uh, the, the new PC apparently has a lot of issues. Uh, but uh, I, I guess we're gonna get to that at some point. Oh, and the thing, keep in mind, how many times have I used this? Three, four times tops? Twice out of the- Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. This is the, the, the PC crybaby segment first. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, squeeze the peel, it comes in the- <laughs> Squeeze banana! Guess Very nice. We got problems. Look at this. More fucking problems. You gotta be kidding me. More problems. Big problems. This thing is atrocious. How does it have problems? Look at this. The CPU, 0%. GPU, 0%. Virtual RAM, 14%. Uh, virtual RAM. VRAM. Vi is that video RAM? Yeah, never mind. Uh, RAM, 25%. And shit is glitching out. I'm having nothing but problems. Nothing but problems. I can't even, like, look. Yeah, it's a video okay, ramp. It's frozen. So, I've been having issues with this mini PC. Very shocked. So, twice now. And the thing, keep in mind, how many times have I used this? Three, four times tops? Twice out of the four times I booted it, it boots to a black screen that just sits there on a black screen and does nothing. So, then if I hit Control Alt Delete, it'll open Task Manager and allow me to move around and restart it. But why is it booting to a black screen that has nothing on it? It's obviously something stupid with it, right? Something stupid. Now, we di the, the diagnostics have been ran. The result is... Drum roll, please. Something stupid. There we go. We figured it out, you guys. Again, big picture. But, yeah, like, what is... It's just not reliable. PC gaming is seriously not reliable. It never... He also wanted uh, yesterday in chat. Um, I think Poems has this one. Oh, there we go. Uh, yesterday, he was implying he wants to buy, like, an emulation hard drive. The thing he watched yesterday on the on the React thing, uh, the emulation box we just saw on the React show, for 120 bucks, getting, like, a thousand retro games is pretty good. They're not selling that exact model from the video anymore on Amazon, but they have similar ones from the same company. It looks like GameCube stuff was removed, but they added PSP. He needs to spend more, you guys. It's gonna be it's gonna be worth it, definitely. He's gonna play some um, some epic games. Has been. <laughs> I just uh, Ellipsian, I do turn off the mini PC every time I'm done with it. I don't leave it on standby. It's off fully every time I'm done with it. I don't I would never leave it on standby. That'd be pretty stupid because we know how small it is and it doesn't have good cooling, right? I'm sorry I don't believe you. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I totally don't believe you. Felix the Maid, what makes you think I didn't update the drivers? What's something? <sighs> what makes you think I didn't do it? Guy who never updates everything. Anything. What made what makes you think I didn't update the drivers? Huh? What makes you think that? Um, I don't know, literally everything? Except for auto updates. It actually did auto updates today. Yeah. No one oh, believes it did you. auto updates. You're an idiot and it doesn't work. So I hope you will enjoy. It's been a great playthrough so far. Please tonight, if you're here to relax, if you like this, please support oh, it. Oh, we kick Last off with a around, big. This was a literally huge the stream I've done in ages. Major big alert. Complain about it when overall things, you know, are good, but it kind of sucks that I decided to play this awesome 10-year anniversary playthrough and 10 years ago people complained because it was a retro game and now I'm playing it and it's getting no support. That's not good. I wish that it that people would respect and enjoy the classics. For some reason, they don't get the respect I feel that they do these days. This is one of my the best games ever made when it comes to RPGs. So it would be nice if anything, whether it's a like on the stream tonight, or a super chat, or a membership, or a gifted membership for the community, or a tip. Or a tip. See, once again, we or lost even a tip. We're up to 500. We're back oh, up man. to 88. We oh, wait, what? what? Expired from last month, so it would be great to get some <laughs> He's under 500 now. Man, this, this, this is great content. Uh, speaking of which, though, because, um, okay, we're going to get to it. Tonight, I'm sure we'll have lots. I've never heard this song before in my life. I don't know which one this is. Anyways. People ready to accept a gifted membership if possible. Okay. <clears throat> so if that doesn't motivate you to subscribe to the channel. I don't know what will. What well, do you I not get? That question. Get I, all the I perks. suggest that you do unclog your ears. I literally oh, wow. just talked about Unclog your right ears. I'm not going to answer the question again right now. You were standing right there when I answered it, too. <laughs> so I don't know why you're asking me the question again. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. Fuck you. Someone says XQC is being accused of stealing people's content on his reacts. Yes. He literally watches it for an hour and eats food without commentary. What are your thoughts? Okay. Uh, you've heard me talk about this before. If you're going to do a react, you have to have something added to it. That's it. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh, the alerts didn't play. Hold on. Did you guys even hear this one? Hold on, I need to change the monitoring device. I'm using the wireless mode on the headphones today. Man, they're trash. I need neck phones. Oh no, it doesn't. It still didn't work. Fuck me. Oh, okay. I'll I'll uh, I'll try to fix. It. Intelligent that makes it a transformative work. You can't just watch back someone's content with nothing. That's ridiculous. So I completely agree with people who are criticizing him. That's bullshit, and he shouldn't be allowed to do it. And no one should condone him doing it. You're stealing other people's content. You know, add something to it. Do commentary. Do criticism. Transform it in some way. I Don't mean, be a lazy, a dude, lazy ass. Like I said, bro, what happens hold on. Today when a content creator hold up, bro. Uh, yesterday, I watched the entire thing, and some of you guys did as well, uh, uh, over here on or somewhere else. You know, we we saw it. We got the footage of him just sitting there, giving you the gamer phase, and just existing. Like, I, I don't know how you can be less transformative. He could have been less transformative if he just turned off his camera, and it's just the source video. And somehow that would actually make it more entertaining. Content. They do a react stream, and they sit there doing nothing, and they get paid for it. Because people are dumb as shit, and they... Hold on, the audio is gone. Uh, just give me a second. Oh, the Bluetooth mode never works, man. I hate being bound. The stupid fucking wired headphones, man. It's like we're in 2000 and zero. Audio is back, right? It's, it's not back. It's not back. Oh, I'm going to ban. Mods, can we ban OBS? Can we ban OBS from the screen? Hey, we got audio. Hold on. We got it. It's back. There it is. Let me just test the, the pop-ups. And that doesn't work. Well, that's awesome. Uh, fantastic. Outstanding, you might even say. We can't do a muted pop-up stream, you guys. We can't do that. We gotta give credit to the to the shoutouts. Oh, that's the law. I don't know why though. I don't know why. Why the fuck is this not working? 
Did you guys hear the, the, the TTS? No? No. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's, uh, let's play the video. And I'll try to figure it out. If you guys are here tonight and having a good chill time with the Retro Classics, please like the stream. I aim for 100 likes on every stream I do. It would be great to get that level of engagement tonight. Outside of that, if you'd like to contribute in some way, that would also be greatly appreciated. You know the methods, right? Nope. I don't know what you mean. Arkham says, where do you think I would be now if I had started a podcast back in the day when I started on YouTube and I started live streaming? If I, back in the day, if when I started doing direct capture and Your content has helped day, me through some really tough times. Just wanted to say time. Ignoring my audience. If I had adopted a podcast, if I had done all these things to be kind of innovative, I think things would have been a lot better for me. I think the problem was that for me, I was being very stubborn about improving or changing anything. I just wanted to stay the same guy sitting around playing video games, with that kind of commentary, and didn't really evolve or change. By the time that I evolved and changed, everyone else had passed me by. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I can admit that today. Back in the day, I was stubborn. I didn't want to say anything. Like, you know, oh, well, if I'm the successful YouTuber, then my shit doesn't stink, and obviously I'm doing things right. It's like, yeah, but I should have listened. I should have evolved with the times, and I didn't. And, you know, it is what it is. Listen, I like doing the stuff that I'm doing now. So I'm happy that I'm doing it now, but I don't think that, uh, you know, there's not, there's not much I can do about the level I'm at right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a gamer. Right, we got to the nice point where he says, there's nothing I can do right now. That's, uh, that's an achievement. Alternative Universe Phil would have been happy. It's a good question. Alternative Universe Phil. Which universe? In the past, would I be where Which I am? Which universe? Today? Would I be living here? Would I... Alternative have Universe life? Phil. Would I have such a happy life right now? I honestly don't know. Maybe I would be more popular and, and, and filthy rich. And, and you know... Imagine, uh... Within all the universes that exist, this would be the happiest DSP. And every other version of him is more miserable than this. YouTube? Imagine. I'd actually be a, a, a miserable, you know, depressed, drunken. Yes. Yes. Who knows? Yes. Unlike, unlike current Phil, who is happy, non, non drinking uh, winner. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, big ups, uh, Musk of Elon for the 999. Your content has helped me through some really tough times. Just wanted to say thank you and wait, this isn't Phil's stream. Uh, you got me in the, the first part, man. I almost felt good for a second. Reality. Yeah, I know, Argum. Argum, just to answer Depression. what you're saying. I, I'm going to tell you a quick story before we resume. All right? Oh, now we're on the, the story in chat, story in time. Marl. Story yeah, time with Phil. character in Chrono Trigger. The name of the chatter was Marl. And this person was very nice to everyone for months and months. Probably about six to eight months they were here in the chat as a regular viewer, being nice to everyone, friendly with everyone. People actually had friendships with this person, Marl. Okay, after about six to eight months, this person asked if they could be a moderator. Now everyone likes this person. Thought, yeah, why not? It's a nice person. So I made this person. So what happened? It turned out he was a troll. Okay. They then proceeded to be a moderator. Big up Spikes for the two. All of his alternate universes lead to bankruptcy. Well, all all the roads lead to Rome, as they say. I don't know who says this, but there you go. Big up Corey for the sub. Year to a year and a half that this person was a positive influence on my streams. Okay. One day, I don't know if you know the story. This is from many years ago. One day. By the way, this is back when I was on Twitch. Um. I get an urgent message overnight from one of my moderators, an email, because back then we didn't really have like a quick way to talk. It was all, everything was by email. And I get an email saying, Phil, just so you know, very urgent. Read this email before you go on, go live today. What? Warning. People snitching. I read the email, the moderator goes, the snitchinator. Really what's going on? But I was checking out the Nightbot settings, okay? And what I noticed, now I don't know actually if it was Nightbot or what was the other one, because we used to have another one too. We used to have two Cloud bot. bots that we would use. Okay. Snored bot. But basically, the settings were were public to like the moderator team. He goes, just by chance, I happened to go into your settings today, and all of your commands have been completely changed. Whoa! These new commands added. Derailment. So what happened is someone went in there without your knowledge, and they changed everything to be completely messed up. So what they what it looks like the plan was was that this person was going to have you go live, you unbeknownst to you, and start spamming commands on the bot. And the bot was literally going to say detractor stuff, but also was going to say, like, words to get me banned from Twitch. What? Racial words and... Oh, disgusting <laughs> things. 
Things that would obviously be a violation <laughs> of the rules on Twitch. Bro, that's actually a, a really good bot. That's a that's a good troll, man. You make him say racist shit and get him banned off off fucking Twitch. <laughs> and say, ah, oh, see, it's his bot in his chat and get see? from Twitch. See, so why do you think people have stabbed you in the back? Because I'm an easy target. Because he's so an easy target. Because really he's no nice. Way to retaliate, being that I'm a public persona. There's no and way to so retaliate. Have treated me so shittily in my life. Then why did you tell that dude that you were coming for him and you were gonna find out who he was and threaten him? Why did you have to do that though? When you can't retaliate because you're a public personality. Know that? Okay. It's almost so, like those were empty threats that didn't mean anything and didn't lead to anything. Because, well, that's exactly what happened. Uh, big ups VLX for the five. Uh, next level delusions of grandeur. He already lives in an alternative reality. And it gets more alternative with every day. Oh, I love it. It was great. I don't know who did it. You have to look at the logs to figure out who the lags. commands overnight. Come to find out, it was Marl. Someone who had been a positive part of my community for six to eight months, and then another six to eight months had been a moderator and had never done a negative thing. So, I basically demodded them, kicked them out, and come to find out, Marl was a detractor. It was someone who literally created a persona and catfished people, including my entire they catfished people. Team. They had become friends with this person and actually shared personal stories and things with them. Okay. And they were like a really nice person. So, does that mean that detractors are just really nice people that are sociable and like to talk to people and are nice? Is that what you're trying to say? Maybe he just liked the people in, a, in your chat, but he didn't like you. But it was all fake. It was a scumbag who literally did it all to try to get me banned from Twitch. I don't know, man. This was many years ago, okay? Big up uh, so Razor for the super chat. DSP derailing his own stream with the story. Yeah, he's... He's sitting on a pause screen. He's not even playing the game while he's telling the story, as normal people would do. He just wants all the attention, because it's so important. But the, the, the song is way too loud as well, so go figure what he's trying to do. That people have, you know, done these kind of things over the years. And there may be someone who you think is really nice, and all of a sudden you find out that they're actually someone else. Like the person you mentioned earlier is actually an account that was someone else before, someone else after, and every time it's discovered, what? they get banned. It's just really messed up, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I really don't know what you mean. I don't understand, that person was You just made a person seem pretty nice, and then they tried to troll you, and now they're a demon. And they're like, the worst person ever. But they were nice to everybody else, and Phil included. I hear you. These people usually are very nice to me too. You know, all of a sudden you come to find out they've got these crazy, malicious, crazy, just nutty intentions. Who would do that? Who would waste a year and a half of their time? And then, by the way, it all came to nothing because they got caught out before they pulled the trigger and got me banned from Twitch. And the whole thing was worth a waste. So they wasted a year and a half of their life doing that. But what if they had fun, though? Is that wasted? Because DSP wasted 15 years uploading tens of thousands of videos just to get to a point where he's getting a thousand views. So is that wasted? Because it didn't result in something positive and a, a net benefit? I don't know. I would say that's wasted, but he's gonna say it was super meaningful and important. So maybe that that year and a half was very meaningful to the guy. All right, man. Let's talk about bananas, anyway, Phil. This is not the first, and it will not be the last time this has happened. Got, I gotta be diligent about it when I see this kind of stuff happening. You know, I gotta be careful about it. You know. So this is the situation here is, you might say, well, I thought that that person was a really nice person. Yeah, but that person was actually another person who was another person. You know what I'm saying? It's just this crazy chain reaction nonsense, right? So, I, I hear you. My, man, who, why, why did this person disappear from the chat? Because they were actually not who they said they were, you know? It's they were fake. They stole somebody's about. identity. You know, you roll with the punches, you move on positively, right? Oh, uh, I really hate trolls, man. It's so annoying. Yeah, man. Trying to have some fun on the fucking stream, we got dickheads. <laughs> the thing okay. is, he spent um, the the earlier part of the 2000s being a troll, and he was a terrible troll. He didn't have any creative or original ways to troll people, he was just being an asshole. And then they called him out and wanted to beat him up, and then he put out a sob story about being an alcoholic. So he, even when he used to be a troll, he was terrible at it. So we're about to continue, everyone. Another hour of Chrono Trigger, thanks. To everyone who's been here chilling, if you could like the stream and hit 100 likes tonight, that'd be amazing. Outside of that, any other support would be greatly appreciated. As you can see once again, he's yeah, about to start. By the way, we're gonna see yeah, a fake intro and a couple tips. It would be great to be begging. Let's that. talk about the banana. Uh, I'm, I'm upset. You don't like the game.
who literally the only people. I sung the song once. Oh, there we go. Arise out of people. No, I don't know the banana song because unlike most of the idiotic people who obsess about it, <laughs> I sung the song once ever. That's not it true. Had no significance to me whatsoever. You sung the song like five times. There's a compilation of it, but it doesn't matter. I was messing around on a stream. People literally clip it and then listen to it nonstop in a loop because they're obsessive idiots. So they think it's Wait, does he think that the banana song is actually the clip of him singing it and everybody is listening to that? Thing notable to me, I don't even know what the song is. And what's hilarious is I have a, 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 an actual rea react show every week. People can submit the clips and no one submitted it so I can watch Nobody it. Nobody submitted Speaking of which, by the way, Phil, you are the permission guy, correct? Well, you need to ask me for permission because that is my intellectual property that song is something that i made both of them so you need to ask me personally for permission or i will do what is necessary <laughs> you have to you be you made yourself the permission guy gotta ask the guy you gotta ask that's the proper way right that's the proper way i'm gonna write him a, a an email though I, I can write it live on air as well if if he reacts it and doesn't doesn't ask me that we're gonna have trouble he is the permission guy that's illegal in many places in the world so uh anyways let's go back to uh the the real banana squeezer but i have a mystery he has a mystery open up the show with wow i'm very curious what you guys think and if anyone could actually help me with no this i'm not gonna mystery. give him a copyright strike don't get excited Ready? i don't do copyright Listen up. strike Here's what shit. Just happened. something very odd okay I'm just gonna so make some big drama office, out of it. I'll I'll make him cry. Every morning, what I do is I turn on whatever game console or whatever I'm going to record from first to make sure that there's no updates to our game or to the console itself before we begin. I want to be sure that when we're about to start with gameplay, that we can start right away, essentially. So this morning, I walked into the office. All right, today we're playing on Xbox Series X, and I looked, and last night I had actually hooked up. The capture device and the Ethernet 2. Oh, that's going to be really stupid. I can feel it already. On. So I walked over here and I grabbed my Xbox controller and I held down <clears throat> the Xbox button and it turned on the console. The okay. Console turned on. I even moved it and it was working. Nothing okay. unexpected so far. And, all right, we're good. No updates. Everything looks good for today. We're good to go. So then I started my stream. As you guys know, you saw some nice pre stream music and ads and everything there. <laughs> pre stream music and ago, ads. I started playing the intro to the podcast. I thought you don't okay. promote stuff, DSP. You don't show I stuff. Said, Wait a minute. I forgot to do something. This controller now is no longer running wirelessly on a battery. I've removed the battery. There's no more battery. It's Why? on this wire. Okay? This wire is USB-C. So whatever... Oh, United are playing today? Let me see. Let me give you a prediction. I'm using it with. So last night, I played Chrono Trigger. So this controller was actually still... Uh, but disclaimer, do not PC. gamble based on my prediction. Oh, they're playing like, oh, against crap, wolves, man. That always Xbox Series X. So I ran and I unplugged goes it from the sideways. PC. I plugged it to the back of the Xbox Series X, and I turned it on, and then I realized something. I was like, wait a minute. I think they're going to win two to one. On Xbox Series X using that is my this prediction. Controller, and it wasn't plugged into the Xbox Series X. How? How did that happen? Didn't you use the controller on the mini PC? Because if you're using the wired connection, does it not need to be plugged directly into the device you're using it with or else it has no power, right? Could it be that this controller maintains a wireless connection even though it's wired? Do you know what I'm saying? So this was being powered by the mini PC and that's how I turned on my Xbox Series X. Wow. With the controller that was plugged into the mini PC. Okay. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah, why not? I guess maybe that's what it is. It is charging yeah, somewhere exactly. else, it's and a, then it wirelessly it connects to the, the it's thing. The yes. Connection. Is he finding this out now? Power from the mini PC. I guess he is. It functioned as if it were just a wireless controller with a battery in it, and it turned on my Xbox. I, I guess, right? That's really weird. Because I, I really thought that when you plug it in, it overrides. But I get, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it, maybe it always stays wirelessly connected. If that's yeah, case, maybe you are. Deal, but it kind of just confused me and blew my mind. I was like, oh, that's weird. Anyway. Anyway, can we actually get to the content now? See, here's the thing. If that's the case, then I never have to change the wire. 
I could always have it plugged into the mini PC then. I guess. I don't know. Anyway, guys, welcome to the show. How y'all doing today? I hope you're doing well. Now we are back to full time gaming. You know, this full time weekend, gaming. Tier maker, uh, ranking all of my game of the year and runner up picks from 2010 to 2022, which went really well. Great video. People love it. Great views on it. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out on DSP Reacts. Great views on it. Of course, yesterday we had DSP versus <laughs> Internet. Uh, which went really well. Again, we actually had the most nominations ever. Great variety of videos. And that's live over there, too. Uh, but today we're back to gaming, all right? And I'm happy for that because, you know, gaming is my, my bread and butter. It's the staple. It's where it's I the got bread it. and butter. It's just moldy. For, uh, you know, many years moldy ago YouTube, bread. what people come back for. And melted butter. Again. I'm very excited to be getting back to full-time gaming with you guys today. So, uh... Thanks for coming by and chilling with me on the podcast. I hope you're here for GTA 5 because I am. I'm down for the return of GTA 5. Now, today we got a couple interesting things to talk about. Uh-oh, okay? trolls. One interesting news story to discuss. Oh, news story. Like Hold on. With you, and we will. Um, regarding an upcoming new release, it's actually quite good news. But <laughs> last night, as I was relaxing in bed before I went to sleep, I was thinking about the future. The and I was future. thinking about man, these next few weeks are going to be very tumultuous because every week we've got something crazy or special going on <clears throat> that... No, we don't have DSPN yet. Not yet. And I was thinking, this coming week we got the Mortal Kombat... First we got to talk about stupid schedule stuff. After we got my 15-year anniversary marathon to celebrate my, my anniversary as a creator here on YouTube. The week after that, we've got Starfield. And I was like, damn, it's going to be like back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back special events. Like Drake. Right? And... I was thinking, like, how am I going to do this? Because I'm juggling a lot right now. I'm already juggling GTA V, as well as ongoing coverage of Street Fighter VI, right? As well as now Chrono Trigger at night. But now we're going to have more stuff added to the rotation. And I said, you know what I need to do? I need to sit down and look at this schedule and plan it out. Because if I don't, it's going to be so chaotic that no one's going to know what's on what day and everyone's going to be confused, including me. So last night, I sat down and for about an hour, okay, I planned out what well, he exactly planned it all out for the next few weeks. Who okay? is he banning now? What and is happening in this chat? Why I did Nightbot drop that, that link? Okay. What was that link? <clears throat> We're actually going to review that. So you guys know oh, exactly to allow gifted on. memberships, um, bro. The dude has a link you know, for you to click on to allow Fair gifted enough. memberships. So I made it. In, I have a big thing here in my notes, so you can receive it. It's basically from August nineteenth, which will be this weekend, all the way through the first week of September. The schedule. Yeah, man. So that way you're gonna know exactly what's going on. Although this oh, that, change, wait, wait, wait. All right, and actually, then he has a random. Weekend, yeah, what is this Twitch once. clip link? Oh, you guys want me to cover? Hold the on. Data? Because what I'm is this link it, to? It doesn't have to be unusual, secretive. Or it could be. I'm really oh, this is the. Oh, Jasper just did that thing. I don't know how much but you guys are with in, like, the fiend. Dude, um, Jasper I mean, hit. Certainly, Street Fighter is my what? Because that's where I grew from up from four years ago. Games, Why is this an actual link? For a while, but Mortal Kombat. Not so I much. guess this doesn't mean that I might not enjoy Mortal Kombat as much. But I'm curious. Do you want how much do you want me to cover it? So we're going to talk about this today. We're basically going to go through this upcoming schedule, starting with this weekend with the Mortal Kombat 1 beta. Okay. Um, and going from there. Fair enough? Okay. I hope is it fair sense. enough? By Big ups uh, Razor for the sub, dude. Nightbot is dropping a Twitch link. That is an old clip from Twitch. Yeah, let's get to that 5K. That is a clip Please. of my cat Please. interrupting us many years ago. And the clip still uh, works. My cat interrupting so us. Like we were having sex or something. It's, it's, oh my it's, god, it's you silly there. Jasper. You're not supposed to go in I during sexy time, you fucking idiot. Everyone's like, why is it blinking? Oh, you little dunce. Come here, buddy. It's an old clip from when I was on Twitch. Get out of dad's office. Anyway, so... Major segment today, going through the schedule. Major segment alert. What we're going to see is, what I'd like to do is lay out enough time to finish GTA V before Starfield comes out. All right? Now, right now, just so you guys know, we are currently 20 hours into GTA V, and story-wise, we're just about to hit and pass kind of the halfway point of the story. Now, there is optional content in the game that we could choose to do, and... I don't want to feel like we're rushing through the game, but at the same time, I do want to finish this before the new releases start hitting in September. 
okay? In addition, Street Fighter VI, we've played a lot of it, correct? I want to continue to play it, but what it's looking like is that Street Fighter VI is essentially going to become nighttime streams. Once we start, once we hit, like, September, there's no time that Street Fighter VI could be daytime streams anymore. There's going to be too, too many new releases to cover on, on day streams. So Street Fighter VI will exclusively become night streams, but if I'm going to hang in the game, that means that we may have to cut back and or retire the community nights. Because if I'm only playing Street Fighter VI two times a week... Dude, you can finish Grand, Grand Theft Auto you know in, like, saying? three streams, I'm man. Not, I'm never going to make any progress. It's really a... Uh... Not a difficult so game to, to, to finish quickly. Right, we're going to get to this in a bit. It's not very Talk short, but detail. you can um, make it short. So you guys know what's going on. We'll go through the schedule for this week, which is good. Four more days, including today, of full gameplay. And then... Yeah, he's uh, going to kill the community forward, night, you guys. With everything else. You'll see. The, meaning, okay. the only time he spends time with his community and chills and yeah, interacts right. with people. Anyway. Welcome to the show, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed the weekend. I had a great weekend with all of you. Um, Had a little bit of a snafu yesterday. With DSP versus the internet, here's what happened. Oh, the video got live. blocked. I did my usual stream of me Yeah, reacting. everybody got Dude, blocked. The clips. All the restreamers, I got By blocked. Way, thank you because we hit a new record. I believe we're at 100. Epic. Big ups, D-Man, for two months. Who says big ups, pimp? By far, big ups, uh, D-Man. <clears throat> Baller alert. That's outstanding. I love the level of support. You guys are loving the react stuff. Me too. I'm happy for that, and uh, looking forward to doing more for you this year. Okay. How did the mini PC now, turn out? Uh, it has issues because it constantly well, freezes issues. or something. There was some confusion. For one to understand, there was one or two Ultra members who accidentally posted up in the standard members thread, so their videos didn't get watched. I wow. hope that confusion has been cleared up now. So they spent um, twenty bucks just addition, to post in the wrong there thread. Videos that I could not watch because they were either and then flagged, get or flagged as graphic content for adults. Those graphic I content. Watched, those will just get blocked on YouTube, or, or you're not even able to advertise or put those in a playlist. Um. But then we had an issue. So someone had submitted a video that was a prank video. And it was of some guy basically pie-facing people at a mall. Now, it was kind of stupid. It was funny for like a second, and it was kind of stupid. So we watched it. And was it fake? This video apparently is I from I guess it like was fake, you guys. This can be real. Broadcasting network. Like it's from like Brazil or something. I don't even know. This video got everything blocked. Those pesky Brazilians, they just block in my meaningful content. Every time that I do my react show, All my on-demand viewers can't see it. Archive, and members can watch it right away. They don't have to wait for the rest of the week to watch the rest of the react videos. They can watch that whole thing archived right away. Um, so that got blocked. And then also the part that would have went live this morning that had that prank video got blocked for that stupid... It was two minutes. Seriously, it was a two-minute clip. Got the whole thing blocked. Why on earth they think that they have the right? Big ups, to do Alex that? C for the membership, it's not dude. Legal. There's fair. It's use. not legal. Fair use is you know, bro. You would quiet for most of the, the time. Room. Why are you crying uh, about fair use? Adding commentary or transformative work, you can do it. But apparently these. I need to make a DSP you know, being transformative say, montage of like half an hour of him just country, sitting there and looking at a video like he's jinx. Take down your videos. So it is. Yeah. So anyway. If you were a member of the channel over there, and overnight you were attempting to watch the archived DSP versus the internet weekly stream, apologies, it was blocked. As of this morning, it's fine. I edited out those two minutes using YouTube's tools. It took, get this, so the stream yesterday started at 12.45 p.m. and ended at 4 p.m., so it's roughly a three-hour stream. I edited out two minutes. It took... 16 and a half hours. That's not true. To take that out. No, I'm that's not, not true. 16 and a half hours for YouTube to use its tools. Bro, that's to not true. Two minutes, re encode the video, and put it up again. That's not true, because I did that exact same thing last night before I went to bed. Uh, shout out to the person who actually told me the video was blocked, because I, I didn't see, because I was off to bed after the stream was done. I click on the trim, and then when I woke up in the morning, it was actually trimmed and it was back up. Right? How right. stupid is that, right? Yeah, yeah. very stupid. Do about it. Now the archive is live and the video that had that stupid prank in it is live. It was the one that went live this morning on the channel anyway. That video is visible as well. So now for the rest of the week, we should be all well and good. Um, please enjoy every day. You know, there'll be a new DSP versus the internet video going live over on DSP Reacts. Okay? But I would say the major <clears throat> highlight of this last week was absolutely that fun tier maker that we did of the shout best. Shout out uh, Rodrigo for being a proud Brazilian and he's prouder than 
when his team won the World Cup five times. Well, that's that, that's a meaningful achievement. We, we, we take the W's anywhere we can get them, and that's a W. Big up to so Brazil. Night, excuse me. So far, the video's done absolutely great. It's got great views. I want to say over 2,000. Amazing views. So it's over 2,000. Let's fact check him on this. To like the other tier maker videos that I've done on the channel. It's like over 2,000 and climbing, already, which is amazing that, it, you know, in within a day or I guess you could say now a day. Wow, 2.6 and climbing. Yeah, wow. It's like an escalator. Hundred views and climbing. Wow. I've been live for about not even 48 hours, maybe 36 hours. And yeah, if you if you take a look at the other tier makers that I've done. Stop saying 7-1 in actually, chat, everybody. Stop saying it. Third place. <laughs> That's going to be a banned fast. term. We love Brazil. It's fourth place. We the love top Brazil. One was American fast food. The second one was Zelda games. The third one was actually best gaming consoles. And then this is number four. So this is past horror movie villain. Uh, big up Slogan K saying he's recording locally. He should just trim it with Movie Maker and re-upload. He's useless. Does Movie Maker still exist? Is it on Windows 8? Because they don't have it on the higher ones. There's no native Windows editing thing. Fighting game franchises and American. Or type is there? So that's good. In one one day, not even two days, to be number four and climbing, that's Never mind. excellent. I hope you guys enjoy it. And again, this is the prime example of a video where you could definitely add in, you know, comment on the video. Let me know your thoughts on what games should have been ranked. Oh, you can do it with the photos. The photos app. Out, etc. Maybe you can. Was based on my previous but the thing is, I'm not trying to make up excuses for him. There's plenty of free editing softwares that you can use to actually get this done. Countdowns. And some of those, for example, one of the extenuating circumstances... There's no provide. excuse, really. If, if you're a content creator spe specializing in video-type stuff, you should have a video editor. There's free ones. Absolutely would have been in there, but I couldn't beat it the year it came out because Atlas hit me with false copyright strikes. Therefore, it couldn't rank in my Game of the Year awards, and it was their fault. You know? It just happens when you, you, know, you have a company like that doing what they want. Well, what can I say? So, thanks for watching it, okay? Now, let's get caught up on what's coming up the ne for this next week, all right? And then what we're going to do is talk about this future, the future schedule, which is going to be interesting because, like I said, I worked on this last night, and I feel like now I have a better handle on what's going to happen, what's going to, you know, moving forward. Oh, now we have an go. epic, Today epic the of Grand Theft schedule Auto update. You guys have been waiting for this. Yes! You're can join me in a lobby. GTA. 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 I'm so excited. For ranked matches. I'm oh, and he's talking about else. Street Fighter again. Okay, okay let's go on Will Twitter. Luke, Fuck this. Marisa. Uh, shout out. Saying, Argentina Central Bank has raised interest to 118%. Tonight. So, oh! likely I'm going to lose a lot more tonight because I'm not using my two best characters on purpose. I'd like to get practice with the other characters. Uh, rather than just play with the same two constantly, okay? So that's tonight, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. I uh, hope you'll join me for that. Tomorrow, daytime stream will be ranked Street Fighter VI, and we'll be going back to E-Honda, who I've reached one-star diamond with on PlayStation 5. We'll be pushing... This is what I'm going to do from now on when, when he starts talking about Street Fighter. We're just scrolling Twitter. Tomorrow's stream, that would be absolutely outstanding. Oh, look at that dump that, truck. We will God see what damn. Happens. I hope for the best. Tomorrow night, it'll be the continuation of the nice, chill throwback playthrough Chrono Trigger. We played it last night. We made great progress, had a lot of fun. The plot is advancing, and I can't wait to continue this with all of you tomorrow night. Then on Wednesday, it'll be more GTA 5 on the daytime stream, and the night stream on Wednesday will be the return of Street Fighter VI World Tour, which we haven't done in weeks now. And I'd like to throw it in as a random stream for variety. Um... This will push us into the second half because everyone says World Tour is about 20 hours long, and we're about nine hours in. So this will get us a little bit further into it. Um, you know, we'll see what new Avatar items have unlocked since last time we played because there are new ones for, for the passes and stuff that I've unlocked. We'll see what's in there, okay? Uh, then on Thursday, which is my final consecutive streaming day this week, it'll be Street Fighter VI ranked Blanc The final time, consecutive streaming day. Platinum, but almost at Diamond. Man, that's... We'll get him into Diamond and see how far we can get him into Diamond rank during that stream. That, that's special. Uh, Thursday night. Final consecutive Trigger, streaming day. Okay, that's the end of the streaming week. So I'm off from streaming on Friday the 18th. All right. Now here's where I need everyone's input. Okay. I pre purchased Mortal Kombat 1 on the PlayStation 5. It's already, you know, set. However, 
when I did this a day or two ago, there was absolutely nothing available on PS5 to pre-download. Now, from what was reported online, if you pre-purchase the game, you get access to the beta this coming weekend, starting on Friday. Now, I'm okay. Be here on Friday, so the earliest I'll be able to play the beta is this Saturday the 19th, which I'm completely on board for. But right now, it's not even available to download. At least from what I can see, there's okay. nothing there on PlayStation Network. What is preventing him from downloading it on Friday when it actually comes out? Why? Why? Why is this something we actually need to talk about? <clears throat> so I don't know if I'm missing it. I don't know if there was some other. Yeah, he bought it. He said earlier he bought it. I did what I saw. Not earlier today, but like I got yesterday, nothing. I think maybe. So if anyone knows anything more than me, please let me know. Obviously, I want to play the beta. And I can't do that if it's not available, all right? Now, if what they've said online is true, and this beta is available oh this my weekend, God. okay? Uh, we have two options. By the way, Dab Hands is saying, from what I've read, they're saying the beta download will go live 24 hours before, so probably Thursday then. Okay, right, so this is from the 11. On Thursday together. Beta sign up uh, details. Okay. So how so to sign the up? The beta is live. Pre order, Friday okay? Saturday Date and 19th, time. Friday, Sunday August the 18th, 8 a.m. PDT. I'm not playing it overnight. Which I guess it's so specific. The only days that I can play the MK1 beta would be time Saturday or and fucking Sunday. something. I don't know. At the specific least, daytime. Like oh, you see? On those days. Uh, anyways, okay. so yeah, you can well, do it. Are you guys into Mortal Kombat 1 and Super enough difficult. you want to see me do it two full days? Because the way I see it, we could either do it as the daytime stream on Saturday and then do a night stream, and then the daytime stream on Sunday and then do a different night stream, or we can do it all day. Oh, and you can pre-order, okay? uh, you can preload can it, on know, Tuesday, August oh, the fifteenth at guys. eight. So, so tomorrow. What do you think? There you go. That's my question: Do you want? Thanks. The the person who says he reports, he used that word yesterday. I reported this, you guys, if you remember. Uh, he reports the news, and he has a news segment didn't do the basic Google search of saying MK1 beta and then clicking on the first link. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Off ...that it warrants the entire two days of the weekend. Or do you want me to split the days? Split or... Here, I'll do a poll in the chat. Now he's going to do a poll. poll. You got to ask the shareholders. What do they think? Are you going to invest? How should I cover... The MK1 beta. Play it both Saturday. Both? Why wouldn't he play Saturday it both days? All day. It's the thing he bought the, the stick for. Split Saturday and Sunday. Okay. He spent like $550 the initial poll. to be able to play the game. Why not play it both days? Because right now people in the chat are already... Man, you're so fucking dense. All right. If we split the days, that would mean six hours of the MK1 beta, all right, and then some variety with other stuff, which I'm down for. I, I'm, you know me, I like variety. I'm down for that. Okay, he likes variety. Or we could just do two days all day. That would be, you know, twelve hours, or no, more like ten hours of the MK1 beta. The thing is, again, I don't know how crazy you guys are for the MK1 beta. Do you understand? So. <clears throat> That's this weekend. Now, what else will be going on next week? Well, since we're not doing the React show on Saturday or Sunday, that means the day stream, all right, on Monday, the 21st, is DSP versus the Internet on DSP React. So next week's React show will be one day later than usual. That night of the 21st, we'll do Chrono Trigger. The 22nd, which is Tuesday, we'll do GTA 5 and Street Fighter 6 ranked on the late stream. On Wednesday... We'll do more Street Fighter 6 ranked on the day stream and pair that with Chrono Trigger. And then Thursday will be more GTA 5 and more Street Fighter 6. So you might have noticed something. Two what did we notice? Street Fighter 6, one daytime stream, but it's going to be all ranked play. Why? Because if I don't get in... Because he needs to go back play, to prominence. Progress. And the whole point is I'm trying to push Blanca and Honda to platinum. Or excuse me, to, do, to uh, master. To master. Yes. I'm trying to get them there. And if I, if I cut back dramatically on Street Fighter Yeah, he's, he's actually right. talking I'm about, about next week. <laughs> so, here's what I see. If we do Mortal Kombat Today is one, Monday, by the way. Monday. Okay. The night streams would be one night. Uh, we're talking about a so we'll week in advance. Day. And then God, one night like, show Chrono Trigger. Okay? If not, then it's going to be Mortal Kombat 1 both days, but there will be no Community Night in Street Fighter 6 next week. It just can't happen because we need the day streams for, for uh, GTA 
and also for the React show. Or are we talking about this week? I'm very confused. Okay. I'm very confused. Because I'm the, the last person who cares about a schedule. So that's really what people are, are voting for here. Sometimes it's his day off, and I would just okay. schedule a stream and then realize so let me it's know. his day off. Do you want 10 hours? But I'm like, damn, I'm really bad at being obsessed with Phil. Holy today. shit. I'm down for either. All right. I just I want need to keep to up with these segments that I'm talking right. over and I'm they scrolling through Twitter. Away from us. She didn't give us opportunity. Well, I kind of am. I'm asking you right now, do you want it or not? Okay. Fair you enough. Want it or not? Okay. So that's going to be next week. So now, I guess he's playing it both all day. Job, that's the outcome of the, the poll. 25th, and that's why people were like, "Oh, you're playing 60 Armor Core 40. 6, right?" Well, Armor Core Six comes out on Friday the 25th, and I can't be here. That has to be my day off next week. It has to be. So because of that, the 26th is my special anniversary marathon. That's the retrospective marathon Saturday, where we're going to be going down memory lane. You guys are currently nominating your favorite moments for my 15-year legacy. As yeah, big ups, uh, Joey Rivera, for the contribution. Uh, this dude thought they we're gonna uh, they wanted MK1 so bad, he bought a $350 stick and denied the cat treatment. Now he doesn't know how much they wanted. Well, the, you see, the, the, the whole gimmick was so he can buy a new thing that's expensive and justify it to his fans who always criticize him because he's buying stuff when he's allegedly not doing well financially and now he bought it so he he's not sure if he wants to play it and i'm gonna probably balance that with like chrono trigger you know and then the 28th which would be monday that would be the first day that i play armored core and i'll probably do street fighter ranked on that late stream the 29th will be gta 5 and chrono trigger and the 30th will be gta 5 and street fighter 6 ranked and that's my streaming week that's a short streaming week of only five days that week okay so my goal here is to try to get gta 5 done before starfield starfield comes out on the 6th so that would mean the next week we're talking the first week of september the first of september it would be armored core and street fighter 6 ranked the second of September would the be the second GTA of September. No trigger, bro. The third of September would be my weekly react show. This GTA is the, the internet and Street Fighter Six. It's like ranked. three weeks from now. The fourth of September would be GTA Five and Chrono Trigger <laughs> with the hope that on that day we finish. GTA <laughs> the fourth of September is in three weeks exactly. This week, next week, the week after that, and then on the fourth week, it's the fourth of September. GTA Five. <laughs> so if you do the math on everything I just said. And now we got to do math. Streams this week of six hours. There's another one, two, three, four, five, six more major streams. <laughs> so that's 24 more hours of GTA 5 between now and before Starfield comes out. No. 24 hours. I think we're going to beat GTA 5. Today we're 20 hours in. Another 24 hours I think we'll be complete with the game. If at any time we beat it earlier, it can't be that long, long, man. It's not that long of a game. Or Street Fighter Six ranked or whatever, but that's kind of what I'm looking at. All right. So, <clears throat> well, it takes about about 31 hours uh, on the Do focusing on the main problem? objectives. Because if they are, I'm just gonna get rid of them right now. Oh wait, who's trolling? Who's trolling? Why are you trolling? Let's see. Let me enable the hyper chat so we can see what's happening. Everyone, please don't bring up moderated people. people. people they were removed for a reason. I'm take care of it right now. Uh, and the, yep. the person saying this is called Dave Ryan, by the way. Your your Nothing suspicious here. Drama. Goodbye. Who is that? Who is that? Bye bye. Who? Who else? Oh, is it? I hate people do this. I'm trying to be serious and cover serious information people need to know. Serious information. Oh, you need to know what he's doing on the fourth of September. Goodbye. Don't come back. What did they say? Oh, they're they're talking about Arkham. Yeah, Monkey okay. Spank 2.0. Is he the guy who's banned? He can be. He's actually a he's a member, you guys. Come on. How can he get banned? It's not fair. Okay. Good. Now, back to business. Back right? to business. We are so back. I would assume content as we're doing in this playthrough. I didn't do all the side activities and talking about that, serious fucking issues uh, such as playing video games and, and, and how long out, it's going to take like that, us that, uh, that to finish Grand Theft Auto 5. <clears throat> Make it uh, a lot longer of a playthrough, all right? So that's why I'm kind of giving it that extra time, all right? So continuing on, GTA 5 on the 4th of September and Chrono Trigger with the hope that GTA 5 completes that day, all right? On the 5th, Armored Core and Street Fighter 6 ranked. Then on the 6th, which would be release day for Starfield, I'll play it all day. Nah, Monkey the Spank is still around. Off, but when I come back on the 8th, I would do Starfield again. Monkey Spank is around. So basically, here's the deal. As of the end of this month, Street Fighter 6 will become a night stream. It has to. 
Because if you guys want me to try Armored Core, but still play GTA 5, there's no time for Street Fighter 6 on day streams. The flip side of that is if you guys don't care about Armored Core, we could just skip it entirely and continue with Street Fighter 6 on day streams. That's a Somebody video. gifted him the game that costs like what, 60 I, I to 70 dollars? He wasn't interested in Armored Core. So he can just test it out. Offered to get yeah. me code for the game. I already I'm just gonna play it for two hours. Hey, you know what? I don't really care about it. Give it away. I could give it to someone else. Oh, he can give it away. It's up to you. Yeah, my super chats are broken. I'm sorry. I just don't care about it. Uh, want me to see me try it? I'll try it. That's your call. The TTS is broken today. The lady left because I didn't pay her for the for all the free work she did for me. Big ups, Mr. Extravagant for the super chat, dude. Remember when he did a whole two hour schedule event and it was his featured video? That is very correct. I really hope these segments would never happen again. Well, now we're talking about three weeks in advance. So there you go. Street Fighter Six and cutting back. It is happening. It is happening. Moving forward, then. Okay. So you got to think about what you want. Fair enough. Please, please debate it. Please think about it and let me know what you want. Play Armor Core or drop Armor Core and keep playing Street Fighter Six and balance that with GTA. Oh yeah, he did it on his birthday. Okay. And the whole gimmick so, for his birthday is that he could just sit there and chill and not put any amount of effort, and that's exactly what he did. Also, would you want you to know what, you guys? We're, we're just gonna read through this article and see what games are coming out. Oh, this is on PC. Wow, I don't give a fuck. This is fucking stupid. And if I'm looking, if all these Chrono Trigger streams stand, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six more Chrono Trigger streams scheduled. And each Chrono Trigger stream is two hours long. As of now, we're six hours into the game. So that would essentially mean we'd be around 18 ish hours into Chrono Trigger by the time that we get to Starfield. That's okay. We wouldn't be done with the game, but we'd be month we gotta get chrono trigger done by then okay. oh man okay I, i can't wait for that game to be gone not that i care about it it's just i don't know oh also he was um he was having a a, a little so bit of a segment yesterday who are saying wait what i care about armor core i don't care about street fighter 6 shut the fuck up like no uh he had a segment yesterday being mystified about why uh people were restreaming him when he's playing uh chrono trigger And he was very confused. Like, oh my god, I thought they would restream me if I was playing Street Fighter. Because there's more salt. Jade says, no armor core, <sighs> more Street Fighter 6. Let's see what's happening in chat. Lady says, drop armor core. Is the Arkham dude back? Soft. There you no, go. he's not. He's gone forever. Never coming wow. back. Eradicated. This man shall be eradicated. Right, we'll talk more about it as we get close, all right? But essentially, this is a good mix. The real What did Jade say? Come by this weekend. That's the only important thing. One, y yo, no armored core, more Street Fighter 6. Jade has spoken, everybody. If you don't have it, then there's no We are playing Street Fighter 6. If you don't like it, there will be no community night. Too bad. Whenever I get a chance to play Street Fighter 6, it's ranked to try to get Blanca and Honda. Jade said so. He's an executive producer. <clears throat> Even when we accomplish that, then we would go back to characters like Lily and Luke and try to play them in rank and see how I place them in PS5 and go from there. It time okay. fight. Okay. So, I will reference this schedule moving forward, and we may or may not have to change it around. I feel like we will be changing it around, but that is the rough idea rough? of what to do. Okay? Did we get a dog reference? Rough? Dog? Sounds uh, good. All right. Ruho says, not that it matters, because I'm only one viewer, but if you don't play Armored Core, I'll, What? I'll play it, and I won't be watching your stream. Oh. Well, that's true. Why would you be watching my stream for Armored Core if I'm not playing Armored Core? I would assume if you care about GTA V or Street Fighter VI or Starfield, then you would come back to the stream. I hear you. That makes sense. That totally makes sense to me. Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks for the feedback. Dave Ryan, by the way, hardcore trolling yeah, in chat. W says, you know, I don't really care about either. So you probably won't see me. He says, uh, yeah, do we have me. access to this schedule or will we recap, will we recap this tomorrow during the chill cast? <laughs> Dave Ryan, What by the way. My Elden Ring magic you know, that's seriously not absolutely even normal name. Dave Ryan. Back to it anytime soon. Well, it's going to be all new releases moving forward. So that downtime stuff. And we got the classic on, now guys. Likely, you see now yeah, guys like that. with so that golden crown. Epic. Next year, right? <clears throat> uh, we need the Elden Ringers back in the seats though. What's up, Juan? You're right, now guys. Okay. What's Starfield? Captain, you don't know what Starfield is? It's the new Bethesda game. Bro, tell the us Bethesda all about game, it. Man. The one that everyone is talking about and hyped, out, hyped for. Will it be as good as Fallout? You know, what's it going to be? 
Basically, that's that's what everyone's talking about next. That's the big game of the. Oh, support got see. banned. Support used to be a person, but I, I think they're banned now. Because they were sneak dissing. Okay. All right. So the initial poll we have here, just so you guys know, for Mortal Kombat 1 this weekend, with 258 votes, is 60% want me to play Mortal Kombat 1 all day long, Saturday, Sunday. 40% want me to split. What's going to happen when you subtract the troll either. votes? I thank you for the initial votes. I'll keep this running for the rest of the, the podcast today. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I really want feedback on this because I want to be able to cover this, this beta properly for you guys, you know? All right. Cool. So, um, there you have it. That's what I got to talk about now. Oh, seeing that uh, Arkham is in chat. Arkham, did you legitimately ask DSP to pay you for your efforts? And we still what are you, a troll? Only trolls ask for money. That's why he has no friends now, because his, uh, his friends turn out to be trolls. Or we can still go with the whole bar but I still feel like this is kind of intrusive because it takes up like most of the screen. Which do you guys like better? Do you like the newly redesigned, oops, that's the wrong one. Do you like the newly redesigned DSPN logo? No. For the new segments more. Why, why the default right? font? Or why is it like so the default? Entire bar, the entire yeah, bar. It looks like ESPN, but it's definitely. Yeah, but the bar change. usually has something like on it. <clears throat> you like the new one? It usually has, like you know, more minute. Whoa, the Actually, thing on it. Ones. There it is. The more minimalist. What was the other one? It was just right. pink? You like the minimalist. I like this too. Because this one is more... It's just set in the corner. It's not completely taking up the whole screen. Right? Yeah, Arkham asks like for still, money. You don't do that. The one thing you don't do is ask yeah. Phil for yeah. money. He's the <laughs> one who saying? asks for money, like, dude. You, took this, you don't do that. This logo. Okay? You don't do that. But putting it on this bar... And, uh, yeah, apparently he was talking shit ball. about you in his Discord. Right. You should check that out. Man, it's it's hot. They would have, like, their logo in the corner. Hold on, I'll show you. Thin red I'm a nice guy. The of the screen ...where they would put, like, text, right? I think we still haven't hit it yet. I think we're, Yeah, we're and the still, secret Discord. I think today we'll go with this one. There you go, okay? you see? Ah, <clears throat> uh, this, this is a bad one. I think, like, I think we should, uh... <laughs> This one, you this see? One, we're gonna be we're gonna be working on Take this a screenshot while. of this. We're gonna have like 27 iterations of this till we hit we hit it perfect, right? Uh, and right. he he but basically like, called you illiterate as well. Like, this logo is good, <laughs> but we need to integrate this into like. Man, a he bar. was typing like a kid. Right? Like, I think that would be perfect. <clears throat> anyway, actually, what? Um. All right. <laughs> I have one new. What did he say exactly? Today. Uh, before we get into this, he said um, he acted like a young kid who liked my content. And he even wrote me these emails in a way that made him seem not very well experienced in writing. That's uh, this that's throwing a little bit of shade. Assassin's I would call this a sneak diss. On, on Twitter, well, excuse Assassin's me, Creed. It, 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 it posted up a, an X, an Xing. It was Xing all over the place. It was just, it was protruding Xs in every Oh, direction. let's find it. And it did a big X. And during this X, it said the following. Assassin's Creed Mirage has gone gold and will be coming out one week early. Okay. A whole there you go. This early, is the thing. October the 5th. That's right. On behalf of the entire team, we cannot wait for you to explore 9th century Baghdad with Basim. Your journey now starts on October 5th. It was originally October 12th. Now it comes out on October 5th. Save the new date. And if you take a look at the game release schedule for October, in my opinion, this is a very smart move. And the reason I say that is because if you take a look at October, that week there's a new Detective Pikachu game. There's... Another game, too, that I'm not really interested in that week. The week after is when all the big releases start hitting. So by moving this up by one week, they have beaten all the other games to the punch and become the first major Oh, you were a teenager. Well, that everyone will be playing first there you go. talking about. So this was a very smart move that they were able to do this. So I'm just, you know, just a, 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 you got a quick lesson yeah. what happens uh, when no. you do shit for DSP for free and then ask for something in return. This is what happens. You're now one of us. It's funny. It's in, in a enjoy. Lot of cases, I guess is all about timing, and in this case, I think you are now a damn right right dirty, dirty detractor. So, smooth move. Very nice. Because so the dude is just a, mega what, paranoid. What segment we had today, ladies and gentlemen. That's literally my whole news segment. Uh, that's but that's a I'm lesson not. everybody learns at some point. <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about. Everybody today. early. So, um, Later on, yeah, you learn so it. That's exciting, right? Everybody um, did. Right. The Snorlax King learned it. Uh, Gamer J. Lee learned it. 
Uh, DSP's old friends, obviously, Rambo and Howard, they learned it the hard way. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I got. What I will say That's is all we got. thank you so far. Great month of uh, August. We're about halfway through. That's all through. we got. Second half of August is going to fly by. I mean it. Between continuing on with games like Street Fighter 6 and GTA 5, the MK1 beta, the anniversary event at the end oh, of yeah, the Oh, yeah, and he deleted all your shorts. You go by in the blink of an eye, all right? Because he's Thank paranoid you, you might uh, strike summer. him. I've had a great time so far. Thank you so much for your ongoing support of all of my content. I really appreciate that. Um, as you can see, we have lost some memberships on the channel. It would be great if today, it would be great. all day long I am streaming here on Now, Game guys. Gaming. If we could get back to 500 members, that would be absolutely outstanding. And the thing is, I know we could do that by the end of today. That's something we could easily achieve. Now, guys. So if you like the content today, if you're enjoying the streams, if you want to support them, please either become a member or give some memberships to the community. To the community. Okay? Would be an absolute Arkham, what do you think about the DSP community? Okay. It's great, right? It's super welcoming. As long as you stay in the I'll line. There's so many other ways to support me and my content. Stay in line, so do what you're told. The only way I make a living. I Drop some gifted memberships. Sponsorships, paid ad placements. I don't show Super products. chill. That I community is awesome, dude. And you crowdfund it because you like it, right? So here's how you can do that. You can like the streams. You can leave comments. Here's how you can video. give me money. You can like the videos. You can do a super thanks on a video after the fact of watching it. You can do a super <laughs> chat or a super sticker during a live stream. You can become a member or gift a membership, <laughs> as previously mentioned. Or you can tip me live. You can also tip me behind the scenes. It doesn't have to be live, and I'll shout it out appropriately when I'm actually on a live stream. But if you tip me, <clears throat> I will give you a shout out. Uh, and tips uh, work towards these nice goals, like earning like gunner glasses or a silly hat that you can vote on. A silly hat. Since today's GTA 5. If we hit the $100 tips goal for today, I will put on the Los Santos cap, which is appropriate for the playthrough. Okay? Fair enough. An All appropriate right. hat for I've the got. playthrough. So, ladies and gentlemen, Let's get to shout outs. Shall Let's we? do it. We'll start off today with Ori. Wait, wait. This, this was a super fast membership. podcast. What happened? That is what people are going to start to feel. Why? Well, let's be honest. Evo came and went. Evo is the major tournament everyone's hyped for every year. It's over, right? We're on the precipice of brand new game releases, including another big fighting game, Mortal Kombat 1. So, yeah, you're right. What will end up happening is hype for the current fighting game will die. I knew this would happen. That's why this week I want to get in as much as I can. And then starting next week, it looks like Street Fighter 6 is going to gravitate to late night streams. Which I'm okay with. Alright, really, I'm okay. Yeah, there shouldn't be a delay in chat. To late night streams. That should be live. <clears throat> um, Unless we're dropping frames again. Ultimately, you can't please Today's everyone. been a very bad you day for dropping frames. And TTS. Loved having the amount of Street Fighter so 6 I apologize I played, for that. We're going to be sad that it's not going to be as prominent. But it, I'm a variety streamer. The summer, Street Fighter VI was the event of the summer, no? So, you know, I rolled with it. I played it as much as I could. I enjoyed it. I got good at it, right? I even, hell, I even played it so much, I adopted a new console. I had new equipment for it and everything, right? But, essentially, it does have to change. You know, we have to get to the new stuff. I want to keep Street Fighter VI in the rotation. But, I definitely don't. We're going back to schedule? Have that be at the sacrifice of playing other hot games that Dude, I Dude, we play got it, man. We got it, bro. Right. So, we got I'm it. Keep Street Fighter going, but this week will be the last week where it's a major daytime stream. I think next week we'll have it as one daytime stream and a couple night streams, and then moving forward, essentially it's going to be night streams, okay? <clears throat> and that's just what we got to do or else we're never going to get through other games, all right? Cool. Uh Retro Parasite just did a super chat. I says we want Armor Core Six. All right, fair enough. Oh, why did he ignore the the but bad sure trolling by Bojangles? Are you experienced in writing? Well, book when? We different polls every day. Today we're, we're that was ghosted we completely. Well, the dude is we're just bad at trolling. Beta. Maybe tomorrow we'll poll about Armored Core Six. All right, and see what you want. So keep in mind, I could very well play Armored Core Six and within one or two streams not like it and say I don't want to play it anymore. And I have the right to do that. You know, I'm not committing to a playthrough of it. I'm only playing it because someone has offered to donate it. And by the way, they're totally okay with that too. They said it up front. They said if you're going to play the game as long as you're going to try it, you know, that's fine. But, you know, it's, if you don't like it after a stream or two, you don't have to continue. They're okay with that. There's no commitment to me doing a full playthrough of this game. Should DSP give you a second chance? I, I don't care. Okay. I don't give a fuck. That's right. how he treats all his fans, bro. 
for that. It just and, uses uh, you for free stuff and like support, and then now, you're you're gone. That's all the shout outs I have. Any other you're gone. You're not the first. You're not gonna be the last. In this morning. So um, I don't give a fuck. You know, I really. absolutely shout them out. Thank you in advance. It's a pipeline. Chance. Okay. Fair enough. You might get a second chance if you suck his dick enough. And you send a very generous apology email with right. some money. Um, Cause that shit ain't free. Takes effort to unban people. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, since Q and A, let's open up the chat to open Q and A. All right, as usual. And you guys know the rules. Is going to say this: you bring up drama, you bring up bullshit. You're going to be moderated. <laughs> you bring up drama. It's that simple. It's against the rules. All right. Thank you. Bringing up uh, drama. What I kind of drama? What is drama, Phil? Too. I'm ready for the Spider-Man as well. I think it's going to be a great game. He's ready for Spider-Man. Dinner? Uh, I don't know. I think that we still have two meals that my wife could make, but we might. We have one more day where, because it was an eight-day week for us, that we didn't want to cook every day. And by the way, we're in the middle of a heat wave. It is 90 plus degrees outside for the next four plus days. Okay. So we're trying to cook minimalist so that way the what? house doesn't overheat. What? As, as of Friday it cools down again. <laughs> it is 90 for the next four days. So Come on, man. We may just order something quick today to get delivery so that way we don't have to heat up the but house. But I'm going to tell you this uh, Arkham. No idea, honestly. Apologizing to DSP is about as low as you can go as a DSP Apologula. fan. Because the dude like doesn't it. give a no. fuck. I There's like was, 20 oh, years of, of information out on this person uh, that he no, doesn't no, give no, a no, fuck no, about no, anybody. No, and his closest friends have said this. His, uh, his past moderators, past fans, they've all said this. Why do you think you're going to be different? You're just another dude who's doing free shit for him so he can use you. it tasted great. I really liked it. I ate the whole plate. But my wife didn't like it that much. She's like, maybe I just don't like goulash. Because she had tried goulash. Either earlier this year or last year with beef. She didn't like that either. And I liked it. I was like, well, maybe I like goulash and you don't then. So I guess we're not doing goulash anymore because she didn't really particularly care for it. Okay. No, I'm not. I've already answered this question a million times. I'll answer it again. This podcast will remain here on DSP Gaming on YouTube permanently. Why? Because I have no okay. aspirations to become a full-time podcaster who has a what? podcast on other formats. I want people to come to this channel but, to watch and listen to the show here because this is where but, my work is. Hold up. Is hold up. If you give people more avenues of enjoying your content, there are going to be more people that actually enjoy it. It's where I profit. It's my business. Oh, my God. Benefit if you here is where I profit. That's that's the bottom line. He just wants the profit. So there you go. Listen to this on Spotify or some. I mean, we have a fucking podcast talking about DSP and that shit is on the streaming services. All right. So because it's an actual podcast because we actually give a fuck about who's listening to it. Full time audio podcaster. You understand? I want people to come check out my YouTube content. So he's so unserious, here's man. What I recommend. If you want to listen to this audio only in a playlist fashion, become a member of YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium, one of the uh, the things you can do, you can subscribe to a yeah. channel. Yeah, so can... what, what he's telling you to do is actually pay for YouTube Premium so he can get something out of it. You see, it's all transactional, everything. He can't do anything selflessly for the people that actually enjoy it or people that actually care about it. Now we're shilling something so he can get pennies. You're gonna get pennies out of YouTube Premium. Load video. Pennies. And so if you're not even online, let's say you're at work or you're somewhere else on the road, but you want to listen to a podcast, it'll pre-download the podcast. That, that is actually listen. true, Zephra. The Level 1 podcast is on Spotify. And uh, it's a troll who uploaded it. So all the, the episodes that he deleted because of copyright, because they could have got struck when he had that emergency last year, they're all on Spotify. To it with no internet connection. That's one of the features of YouTube Premium. That's what you should do. That's so what you should do. Pay for YouTube Premium. Places. I, I'm not a podcaster, you understand? He's this not a podcaster. He just has a daily 90-minute podcast. Content, I'm a YouTuber. That's why I'm not moving to other places. Why? I don't want people to follow me on Spotify. I want them to follow me here. Get it? Okay. There's also YouTube Revanced. Uh, which is YouTube Premium, but for people that don't want to pay for it. There's a rumor uh, it's coming out in October, and if it does, I want to play it. But there's go no check solid it out. release date for it yet. Unless they've changed that, but I didn't see Download it. Download it. 
You got YouTube Music. You got iOS. You got everything. What do you not get? You Daddy get all the benefits. Says, I download your, your, your Except you can't download. To the one I'm commuting. That's how you do it. That's again. YouTube Premium is, is amazing. I mean, so some people are like I don't see the value. If you're someone who listens to YouTube and doesn't want to have a, a live internet connection constantly, get revanced. You have, you could have all your favorite videos, podcasts, music all lined up and just listen to it at your own leisure. <clears throat> What's up, Juan? I already said hello, Juan. How you doing today? What do I have for breakfast? Bagel with cream cheese, as always, and a black coffee. No, I, I agree with you guys. Dax says, I don't know how you can even use YouTube anymore without premium. No, really. The, YouTube is so intrusive with ads. I'm being honest. It is. It's very intrusive with ads. And I'm not talking just, oh, ads on a video. Like, just browsing YouTube, there's now ads in the search and shit. It's like, what the fuck is this? I'm searching, I'm looking for a gameplay video, and I gotta see ads for, like, Dollar Shave Club and shit in the search results. Like, what is this crap? And if you get YouTube Premium, it all goes away. It becomes a, a fun site again. It really does. Yes, Dave says, if I subscribe to YouTube Premium Dave. and I watch... Dave Ryan? Any of your content, does his account with support? Yes. If yes. Oh, he got baited. creator on YouTube, <laughs> they get paid for your view as if you sat there and watched all the advertisements. On oh, yes. So, so yes, I, I, actually I wonder why he is shilling it so hard. You get paid for your views if you're a YouTube Premium subscriber. It helps a lot. <laughs> for pennies. For pennies. Hello, Willow. How are you this morning? And bro, Arkham, you want to apologize to this guy? You want to apologize to him? Come on, man. Got, get some self-respect. You might be a teenager, but come on. It, it, you can grow up from this. This is a, a growing experience. It's worse with that. That's terrible. But that this was ultimately to be expected. It wasn't going to be bro. like it used to be forever. All these companies realize <laughs> this is all they care about now. They don't care about the content. That's all they, they care, care about. about except this. So, so buy this, YouTube Premium now. Quality degrades. Buy it now. Push the Please. The most Please. Shit. Just because he gets Please buy it. And that's Please. what they slap ads up, down, left, right, Please. in every direction. Please. You look. And it just becomes so intrusive, but they don't care. Because all they care about is this. So, you know, my recommendation is I definitely recommend YouTube Premium. Okay. <laughs> All they care about is this. So give it to them. Come on. Why not? I've loved it since I've had it. He like loves it. Year, when I got it to start doing the react stuff, <laughs> I couldn't watch YouTube without it. I would I'd probably not watch YouTube without it. I'm being honest. Hey, big ups. Um, Mark Store. Uh, Side loaded UU Plus is best for iOS and has sponsor block, ad block, and many other things. You just have to refresh every seven days. Uh, the, I've been using Revance for like a year now with no problems. Before that, I was using Vance. It has sponsor block, ad block. It skips all that Gaz shit. Says only everyone only cares about money. Even it's you. free. If I only cared about money, do you think I'd be playing Chrono Trigger right now? <laughs> really? A game that has the least views and least support of anything I've played in months. Do you really think I'd be playing that game right now? Let's be honest. Do you really think that I would avoid every single ad placement, every single paid promotion, every single thing that comes my way? iOS has no Vance. There it is, bro. I'm the antithesis of someone. It says there is. The <clears throat> there it is, except it doesn't load Did all the, the JavaScript. Movie today? Well, let me know what there you think. Is. Personally, I didn't uh, like the looks of it. it oh, like yeah. The yeah. Okay, so they don't have it yet. But there's like alternatives, quote unquote, perhaps. Apparently, a lot of people have seen it and love it. can figure so, it out. More power to you guys. This is only the 18th. <laughs> Get an Android. Generation of Ninja Turtles. I'm tired of it. So I really don't give a crap about it anymore. <clears throat> Hello? Benny says, I beat GTA 5 again. It feels shorter than I remember. No particular. fuck said I this? I remember GTA 5 feeling shorter. Yeah, let's actually go to live. Like, like mindless foot soldier slaves to this cult, essentially. That's a pretty serious plot line, right? It's stuff you never saw coming. When you watch the movie, like, whoa, this is like way Big up Slogan K. Dark than I thought says, it was. Uh, this is coming from the guy who used to upload 90 second vlogs for ad revenue when he had Machinima contract. He loves ads when they pay him. Bro, he, back in the day, when it was about the views... He was literally saying, I can't 
I don't have the correct quote, but I've seen this in a stream. I've done a, a stream watching that specific video. I don't care if you like the video or you watch the whole video. As long as you give me the view, I don't care. Something along those lines. So, it depends on what you're looking for. For me, I really like the first Ninja Turtles. It's, it's all profit. It's super good. Plus those Zero oh consideration God. for the viewers. Zero. Ridiculously good. For the time, you know, early 90s, and that was like animatronic costumes, and that was the Ninja Turtles in real life. I was like, oh my God, it's so good. And of course, so telling people to click that on the ads, that was, uh, that's a classic, of you know? course. That's a classic. <clears throat> It was denying that for like years, that years. The new segment yesterday, the Ronin game. When you have it on video, so. him actually telling people and showing you this, he was showing you the, the the actual motion of what you're supposed to do. Daddy, uh, and by the way, this guy's not not my daddy. He fucking named himself Daddy. Probably oh wow. Say that on stream. Okay. Uh, I already said I'm not going to be talking about my behind the scenes stuff including physical fitness and other things, because people turn it into too much nonsense and drama. They're too intrusive. So, yes, I very well could be working out right now. <laughs> it's no one's business. I don't want anyone to be... What is he off. doing, bro? Is he doing push-ups off camera? Come on, man. I might as well be working out right now. What, what is that supposed to mean? Not talking about fitness, because people are going to troll him. <laughs> I already explained this. What does that even bro. mean? Back in the day... I was a fan of the classic Mortal Kombat game. So uh, Zero, now we're talking about back in the uh, day. Raiden, stuff like that. And then once we got to Mortal Kombat 3, Cyrax was my favorite character. Shout and out to Cyrax. He was like Smoke. But and I never smoke. really played Mortal Kombat seriously, so I don't have like a favorite character because I never really... I played it in arcades. It was popular, but I wasn't like into it. Like I wasn't a Street Fighter. Across the Spider-Verse is now on demand. Yeah, but it's Marvel, isn't it? So I can't... It, I, I wouldn't be able to see it. So costs like it $10, dude. What, what service does it have? Does it what? has it? Because I don't have that service, I don't think. Disney Plus? <laughs> Perhaps? No, I've never ridden on a real water slide at, like, a park. Nope. In fact, I don't think I've ever even been to a water park. I'm trying to think. I don't think I ever went to a water park. No. Never. Not once. <clears throat> no water parks. Do the shirts behind me fit well? Yes. These are all larges. They all fit me fine. Mm -hmm. I can wear them right now. What's weird is, once again, they're all larges, yet they're different. Like, the blue one is definitely much bigger, even though it's a large. And then these are smaller, but they still fit me. Yes. My favorite character in Tekken has always been either Paul Phoenix or Kane. Tekken was the game that I played the most of as a 3D Paul Phoenix. Fighter, for sure. Is this guy cool? Paul. Paul Phoenix. Oh, yeah. He looks badass. B-Boy Cyclone says he sent a tip. Yeah, oh, look at that haircut. Uh, okay. He should well, cosplay as this guy for the next Nothing Halloween. Come through yet. He already that has the, that, the uh, outfit. He just needs the hair. That Imagine DSP with hair like this. Email it's like Grand Theft Auto. Let's give you give the dude a random haircut. It, then remind me and I'll manually check. But yesterday, last night, we had a problem too. It was a captain. Uh, and King. Kirk. Obviously, he's like the, the, the leopard dude. And then all of a sudden, it showed up like right away. So we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Have I ever eaten a street hot dog? You mean like, like at one of those stands like a new no a hot something. dog that you find on the street on the sidewalk nuts they have and then you eat it around the holidays i do glizzy gobbler I remember them being very smoky flavor with a crunchy nut it tasted good though like, it has a crunchy good. nut but that was a million years ago that was when i was like a teenager in, in new york city with my parents um i don't remember having a hot dog hmm I've never pet a parrot. I've seen parrots at pet stores and interacted with them, but I never actually... What kind of questions are these? Jade says his favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is 2003 Raphael. I did not see the 2003 series. A lot of people have mentioned that over the years. I never got to see that one. And people are asking him about the banana Jade again. Says, Who's your favorite <laughs> Red Redemption character? Oh. I mean, I don't know. And Daniel Zeta, Larson is in his chat. Really good, and they both if you know Daniel Larson, art, he's a... Um... He's, he's it, something. In Seattle, they put cream cheese on hot dogs? I have no idea. I've never been to anywhere that served a hot dog with cream cheese on it. But then again, I don't think there's many restaurants out here that serve hot dogs at all. The only one I can even think of is Dairy Queen down the street. 
I don't, you can't think of another restaurant. It's like, oh, here's a hot dog. So I don't even know where you would get one. No hey, idea. Hey, Phil, have you ever pet a dinosaur? No, wow. Dinosaur has been extinct for like a, a thousand years, man. What are you talking about? Where's my favorite animal to see at the zoo? Oh, man. <clears throat> I like the a lot of zoo? different zoo? I like seeing like otters because they're very playful. And if they're in groups, they can be very social and play in the water, which is really nice to watch. I like seeing big majestic animals like giraffes or elephants do their thing. Um, sometimes the monkeys can be cool. I like when they have the, the, the tropical houses. You go and you can see... The, the tropical birds. houses. Have, like, <laughs> like, ground animals too. Like I've seen the agouti. You ever seen an agouti? What? You know guinea pig? An agouti is like a giant hairy guinea pig. It's, it's huge. You're like, whoa. Why is that so big? <laughs> it's cool. So, I you know, I like all kinds of animals. Oh yeah, this is an agouti. Thoughts on the Pokemon cheating scandal? Uh, pros disqualified in an event that used hacks to save time training. The fairway is a waste of time. They say Nintendo demands too much to play. Uh, no, I don't know anything about that. Did I ever win a money match in my early FGC days? Yes. I also lost tons of them. Oh yeah, he lost, and he I lost a lot more so. than he won. It almost makes you think why he was agreeing to all these money matches when he was losing so much. It's kind of like he was gambling or something. I don't know. Are you playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again? I don't see why I would. That game is insanely narrative based. And once you've seen the narrative once... Has he talked about the, the Red Dead 1 remake? It, it's not a remake. It's a experience. port. But yeah, is he really going to play that? They're on rails doing this generic shooter gameplay. And there's not much to it. You see what I'm saying? Like... Red Dead 1, I definitely feel like there's more to the gameplay. Red Dead 2, the gameplay is secondary to the story. So once you've seen the story, you've seen the game. In my first run, I did what? a ton of side content. I did all the meaningful stuff. So I don't know how a second playthrough would be warranted unless it's... Oh, so he did all the side the content. Unless okay, yeah. Sound good. Years. Big ups, uh, Yona for, for the Maybe Super Chat, dude. Then. Okay. BSP hasn't been to the zoo since Dave took him when he was eight yeah, and Phil uh, kept asking to go second, back home. I, I would, I I would say Linda do. took him. Dave took him fishing. That's why he loves fishing so much. Is check manually and see if your tip came through, which I believe it probably did. Oh, yeah, we got to check. I'm going guess that PayPal's being slow-mo today. Yeah, we got to test it out, you guys. Send him some PayPal contributions just to, so we can see if it works. It's your money anyway, so who cares? Yes, there's a dollar tip from people. Are you kidding me? I'm not even kidding you. I opened up PayPal. To check okay and as i'm doing that and i say did it blow I up just got the email oh so we actually got a tip <sighs> okay so let's now read this dolly our first tip of the day from b-boy cyclone okay man this was gonna be a real poverty pre-stream if he stood on on uh zero dollars the whole time so yeah. Man, this chair is squeaking. Okay. You guys can so even hear it. First tip of the day, he says, uh, I, I love watching your streams. I enjoy you playing new games as well. To hear you skipped Armored Core 6, that didn't happen. For more GTA, more Street Fighter 6 and a replay through a Chrono Trigger is... Bro, you didn't pay attention. Rewind the stream. Rewind the stream I now. I reactions and banter when it's a new game. Maybe I'll be back when Mortal Kombat 1 and Starfield come out. I wish you would prioritize new games than that one personally. Uh, I, might, I might be a minority in that mindset. Anyways, cheers, brother. <clears throat> but I didn't... Yeah, I didn't skip Armor Core 6. We're, we're talking about that right now. About what people want. Now, here's what um, you gotta understand. This guy got him talking about fucking schedule game. shit again. I Man. To always be covering a variety of games. <sighs> it's not all the same style. I mean, right now I'm playing GTA 5, Street Fighter 6, and Chrono Trigger. Three completely. We're going to Twitter, you guys. Ones. Actually, we're going to livescore.com. This weekend I'll be playing Mortal Kombat 1. Because uh, United is playing. Obviously, look at this. The next game I'm so hot. committed to is we, we even got a shot on target, everybody. It's happening. Correct. We're winning the league. Fair enough. Yes. Now, when you yes. Say, well, I want Look at all this possession. Goal. Look at all of this. And I'll be upset if Crazy, you skip it. Right? I understand what you're saying, but you have to understand that not every genre of game appeals to me. Okay? It's true. Sports games, don't really care for. 
Puzzle games? Not really. Meh, right? Usually skip most of them. Games that are more PC-centric, like these top-down strategy-style RPGs, usually don't appeal to me. I mean, Diablo 4 was the exception. It came out... Epic, look at this. Look at this awesome console. artwork. It really demanded it. And then what look happened? at this. Shout out to Darksy for this. The, the Densi Scrolls like artwork. Look right? at this. <clears throat> It's fucking sweet. So when it comes to Armor Core 6, it's getting this retweeted. Go like it. A Soulsborne game. I need to reiterate this. Ladies and gentlemen, you ready for this? Okay. Oh, we're getting That's a smug segment. Button. And he pressed the wrong smug segment Armored button. Armor Core 6 is not a Soulsborne game. <laughs> it plays nothing whatsoever like a Soulsborne game. It doesn't have the same gameplay elements. It doesn't have the same plot elements. It doesn't have anything similar whatsoever. It's literally a completely different franchise it has nothing to do with soulsborne at all all right so when people say to me oops that's the new segment when people say to me oh phil i can't believe you would skip armored core 6 i'd be like why it's a genre of game mech combat that i've never actually played before at all right Here's the mech combat games I've played. Hawking, back 2012, okay? Yo, shout out to Slave Zero. Was that was so good. Game, even though it was Slave Zero, man. Oh, man, that was one of the first games I've ever played. Oh, it's such a... Into that genre, oh, it's such a banger. Much about it. Slave well, Zero. Honestly, I'll be honest with you, do I really care about it? I feel like this is something that if I try, maybe I'll like it, maybe I'll hate it. And I think that's why someone offered to donate the game to me. But if I'm already in the midst of other playthroughs, for example, people are loving GTA 5, they want to see it continue, and we absolutely want to beat it before Starfield comes out, because we want to give it the time it needs and not be rushing through and then have it go on hiatus and never finish, correct? Street Fighter 6, I mean, that is my forte. It's right up my alley. It's something that for two months now I've gotten better and better at. I'm, I'm master level on one console, right? It makes sense that I focus on a game like Street Fighter 6. Hey, big ups, uh, Evil Dawn Ad 1 it's kind for of the, the cat to be shit. Uh, big ups, I'm leaving. He's giving me a headache. Well, this is a, 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 a 0 out of 10 pre-stream. In terms of effort and content, this is just worthless. It's literally it's just schedule over and over again. Coming out in the fall. It's no drama. In no the least. news. It's not something that I'm used to. No it's hot takes. No it's rage. It's just worthless. Standard Soulsborne. If it were, I'd be like, I get it. I know why everyone wants me to play it. You'll love seeing me play Soulsborne. This is literally not that at all. It's completely different. It's identical to if they were made a fucking puzzle game. And I get it. There's a lot of people that say, well, we like to hear your commentary on something new. And your take on it i get that sadly with the amount of games that are out there with the amount of stuff that i do at once i just don't have the opportunity to do everything right and it does feel like armored core is the first game of the busier fall gaming season for sure it just happens to fall on these dates that are kind of messed up like originally i was had every intention of being here that friday the 25th to play it and now i can't be and that's just it's out of my control i wish i could be but that's just how the cards have landed that I can't be here that day. It has to be my day off. And so the earliest I can even play it is the Monday after. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is. So listen, I'm not, I didn't say we're not playing it. I even said if we play it, I told you the hypothetical schedule. Bro, that would be really funny if he actually buys the Starfield Premium Edition so he can play five days early. I need people's feedback ultimately. Even though it's a Game Pass game, so he's going to be unnecessarily spending money. Which I guess it's kind of an investment because he's going to make that money back by being the first guy to play it, obviously. Probably not get it and not like it that much. So I don't know. If I was a dedicated content creator, I would do that, honestly. It's a, it's a gamble, as opposed to the guaranteed thing that we're over here already enjoying. You see what I'm saying? I know that when Starfield comes out... After but he's that, not really dedicated. He's, he's, he's dedicated to seeming dedicated. He's saying, we know we're going to be so inundated with all games that I want to play and you guys want to see. Armor Core is literally not that. It's kind of like the anomaly, the one that's in there that's kind of weird. Because it's, it's so weird to see a franchise like that return after such a hiatus, too. So understand, it's not a skip. It's a maybe. Someone already offered to donate it. I'm down for that. Well, let's see what happens between now and then. It's and we'll not a skip, it. it's a maybe. Okay. Man, this whole this whole scheduling nonsense is just so obnoxious. Just 
play the games, man. It's really not that fucking deep. Really not that complicated. Right. There's not. By the way, we can end this poll now. Yeah, we like actually 60%, can. Roughly want Mortal Kombat all day long this weekend in that poll. And again, I'll think about it. You guys, please continue to give me your feedback over the week. I'll weigh and balance what you say. It's not necessarily set in stone that we'll do Mortal Kombat 1 all weekend, but maybe we will. We'll see. Okay? <clears throat> Jade says... He really oh, is LARPing as a business yesterday, owner. He really is. In the zoo. He's LARPing as a mature adult. He's LARPing so as a business like, degree owner. He's LARPing as all of this. It's all a, in, a, a LARP. It's all a play. It's like, um... It's all a joke. Like what, like hyenas and stuff? I think. What would be a, a wild dog? Wolf, oh, wolves. They have wolves. And the, the joke is on the people falling That's for right. the LARP. That's who the joke is on. Because he genuinely believes this. He believes that this schedule is right, so important from that he needs to spend incredible amounts of time. Controversy concerning React content. Do you feel justified? You're on the right side of the argument when it comes to reacting. Oh, this Dude, is a bait. I told you, my argument this is bait. has remained the same all these years. Has it not? My opinion has not changed. That if you're going to react, you have to add something significant, something intelligent. You can't just sit there and watch. Well, you guys watched it yesterday. I, I'm not sure. A while, laugh or snicker. I'm not sure that was significant. Meaningful. Right? Wait, wait, wait. Every once in a while, you laugh and you snicker. And you that means you're adding something meaningful by laughing at the thing you're watching. You see? That's, that's what makes it transformative. Fucking sit there and, and on a day when you don't feel like working because you're a lazy lump of shit. And all you want to do is make a buck from your idiotic audience who pays you to fucking take a shit. You just sit there and watch someone else's content and pretend like you People work. used to pay him to do um, shower vlogs, by the way. Selson Blue. And now you scrub the balls. No, nah, it shouldn't be allowed. Right. There's a difference we forgot you. about that. He's changed, you guys. He's changed. He's different now. Or you just he has a brand new shirt. Content and profiting. I've always said this. This is why I told you back in the day I was so against React content. But then I started doing React content that added, that was different, and everyone could... You talk too much during your React content. You're just supposed really? to sit there and watch. And I'm like, what? Then why... Who says this? Who said why that? you just watch it for yourself? I never understood those that, that kind of shit that, that people told me. So, <clears throat> basically, I'm, I'm happy that I never went down that route. I didn't jump on the bandwagon. Speaking of people stuff. saying stuff, um, every once in a while I go through the unapproved comments on my stuff. Because even though they're all supposed to be allowed, because that's the setting that I use the, all the time, uh, sometimes people say something toxic, so YouTube automatically just flags it. And one of the dudes said, Meerkat, go suck off Disney. I'm like, what? What? When, when did I fucking suck off Disney? Plenty of people out there that react and add it. I don't like Disney. And then there's people who sit there and profit because they're scumbags and they just want to make please. a buck. Please. So, please elaborate on well, that. Please. You know me. I'm not please. here to just make a buck. I approved so, the comment, by the way. I just don't remember where Great. that was at. It's different. It's certainly not the same as what these other people are doing just to be, you know, cheapskates. So. I don't get the Disney sucking off segment. Well, happy early birthday to you, Carl Johnson. I don't even like Disney. Just tell me to go suck off something I like. Uh... What is happening? What are we doing now? Eyes are burning all of a sudden. Oh, he's ah. reacting to his eyes burning. That's meaningful reactions. Ah! <laughs> Yesterday, he was so dead that I started reacting on his behalf. I was adding his commentary. And it's also the dude who constantly has to stop watching videos because of copyright, based on how, how untransformative he actually is. I think it's pollen. I think I need to clean... Big ups, uh, Lima Whiskey 7 who, who just wants to say that my songs are really good. Thank you. I appreciate it. They're a lot of fun to make. Both of my eyes just started I'm glad playing. people are enjoying them. Ah! My eyes! I know it's stupid Son DSP songs, but sometimes they're very fun to make. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I received a $6.66 tip from Dan the Man who says, Hey Phil, what's going on Dan the Man? Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for the support. How are you today? How's it going? That was Dan the man. I really wish my eyes would stop burning. Dan the guy. Who was, by the way, mistakenly identified as somebody else who 
uh, after the fact people trolled and then it turned out it wasn't actually Dan the Man. So there you go. Dan the Man is still to be uncovered. The true identity of Dan the Man. Dan the Man, Only Ice Coffee, One Minute Man, they're all anonymous. Have I tried artificial tears? Oh yeah, I, I have different eye drops and stuff that I can use. Don't worry. <clears throat> B-Boy Cyclone, I'm not angry at you. I don't know why you're taking it that way. I gave you a very intelligent and lengthy answer to your comment. Very intelligent funny. answer. <laughs> I will that kind of comment. Oh, by the way, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is coming out on PlayStation oh, a couple weeks like from now. Music Canadian so I don't know if this guy is going to play it because it's one of the very well-received games of this year. But it's a lengthy so RPG, apparently. So, yeah. And it has sex in it. Which is the... the uh, that's where it all falls apart. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. It's a, the penny. The penny that broke the camel's back. We can't have sex on these streams. No, They're uh, child-friendly. The Th these are family-friendly streams. Oh, and he still said he's not playing it. He just said it. Okay, well, very nice. Didn't he have this lengthy segment the other day how Baldur's Gate was so good the gaming industry needs to learn from that, but he's not playing it. Um, okay. Alan Wake's been stuck in the lake for a decade. We're gonna play all the Call of Duties, though. <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll do my best to save Mr. Wake. Yeah, we, we do have... Okay, we do have scat jokes and telling people to lick the shit out of his ass. We got about two weeks to figure it out, right? But... A little under two weeks. She'll, she'll look up some recipes, I'm sure. His viewers, according to YouTube statistics, yes, analytics, up, are over 18. So he can say that. Bands in the early 90s, like Stone Temple Pilots, Bush, that kind of stuff. Collective Soul, actually. Shout out to Bush. No, we currently don't really play many board games. We did thumbnail face what the hell are you talking about oh yeah the the dude asking him can to do, do the shock streamer thumbnail face streamer thumbnail face what does so that we mean? can all screenshot that you know what it means do the mr beast face i have no idea what that means mouth wide open eyes into the camera come on you know what it means you've actually done it on your streams don't make me find Ow. it i'll actually find it if you, even if you don't make me because i'm petty like that uh we go on to dsp reacts the hot sister channel. Man, I wish that was uh, a, a sister that I knew. Not my sister, but somebody's sister. Because it's so hot. Look at this. Look at, uh, <laughs> look at all these faces, man. Two, look at this know. one. Nope. Never played It Takes Two. It's embarrassing. It came out, it was, it seemed pretty and cool. the, the other well, smiley uh, faces. Co -op he game. did a lot of a soy faces when he was doing the DSP. DSP Rambo and Howard. About it. It's another one of those that it's just not in my wheelhouse. There's certain uh, games Oh no, he wasn't doing it then. To okay. Not be in my my wheelhouse or my area of expertise or my area of interest, right? Not every game is always going to be interesting to me. Big ups uh, Lima Whiskey why. 7 for the membership, dude. Game needs to be for the gift. To me. As a variety Big ups to uh, Damon Colaba for getting it. Genre certain types of games. Vike says, work. "How thick you <laughs> think cat I'm yeah, not saying this. You know, you know the TTS isn't working today. I'm not reading stuff like this. I'm not doing this to myself. TTS lady, she can do it, but she's having a day off. You know, she got a lot of errands to run, so I gave her a day off. Uh, also, I, I don't pay her, you know, so that might be something involved. But, and, uh, you know what I mean. You know, everyone else seemed to enjoy I'm not reading that. And People like, in oh, chat can see it. You enjoy, but I'm going to be playing other stuff, you know. We're not reading the Cat Bush now super chat. Chat is frozen, by the way, guys. <laughs> chat is friend. frozen. <laughs> Find at the liquor store. Sure wait, what? This time, see what I can come up with. See if they have anything on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's gonna be drinking something. Sale or some, you know, some shots. I'm gonna get some liquor. I'm gonna take some shots for it. We'll see what I can find at the liquor store. <laughs> He's gonna get I'm vaccinated gonna with some whale tail with. gin. Sale or something special. We'll see. Ah, the chat I'm just came drinking. back. Chad came back because Derek said hi. Jade, it's all good. I know you enjoy watching Street Fighters better than most other coffees. Um, I don't know what's different about it. I don't actually know like particularly what's in it that's better. Hold on, uh, Jade. We caught we caught Jade lying. You see here, here in chat, Jade says, "At DSP Gaming, I not play Street Fighter Six. Love watch K, but." Jade was also begging to play DSP in Street Fighter 6 during the community nights. I love it. it just so, Jade, you, 
you're trolling, bro. You might be a troll like Arkham. Just like Arkham, Lavinia, all those people, you, you're you one of the trolls. You damn dirty, filthy so detractor. Hawaiian-style coffee, whatever it may be. That makes it different. It's my favorite. Hawaiian-style coffee? Anything else, guys? Anything else? CJ says, my dad got me into Bob Seger. My mom got me into Led Zeppelin. Okay. Classic Rock. Classic Rock's good stuff. That's the that's the radio station I listen to on my days off. I drive around listening to the classic rock station in my car. Oh yeah. If there was a Ghostbuster station, he was gonna be listening to that one twenty four seven. Says, would you describe your mood as more? They just play the Ghostbusters song. theme song. Neither. Curious. Curious fascination. I'm approaching it like a scientist who's gonna study this thing, <laughs> right? Really. I don't want to get excited because I don't know if it's going to be good, but I also don't want to sit here and make fun of it. I actually just want to study this thing, put it under a microscope, and analyze it for what it is. Look, I listen to the radio in my car, too, because I got a Dude. shitty car. It doesn't have a USB or an, a, a 3.5 aux. So I, I have to listen to the radio. You guys, I'm not part of the I drive the hot 2005 Opel uh, Mariva. I'm just here... To play Street Fighter. Fantastic Not vehicle. Really Godlike. God -like. Look at this beauty. Look at I this. Mean, for some perspective here. Look at this. I laid out a public challenge yeah. back in July. I said, hey, if anyone ever wants to challenge me to Street Fighter 6 sets or whatever, I'm open and down for it if you're a serious player. All right? In that time, all the FGC is very happy to watch excerpts and clips from my streams highlighting when I get Okay, lay down a challenge. Let's down, see this one. But not one of them actually wants to acknowledge that I'm good at the game and ch and play me. Instead, they just want to sit there and laugh like a bunch of jackasses. So, you know, that's the kind of maturity level they have. They're not interested in serious competition. They're interested in, you know, the usual clowning and memes, <laughs> and you know. So, let them sit there around like idiots and do that. Ha ha ha. Because they think it's funny rather than actually taking on serious competition. Good for them. I don't want to be a part of this. Yo, I can actually buy an FM like transmitter. Desire. Oh, that's interesting. You go to tournaments. You know what I mean? I've I might buy one. They're like I I'm cool. 20 euros or something. Six online forever. I I'm down for that. Oh okay. my god, you guys. Should I buy the FM transmitter I so I can I'm listen to music drama. in my car? I don't really have enough drama in my life. I don't need extra FGC drama from these people. How does he have enough drama in his life when he never talks about drama? Where does the drama come from? Divorce saga? Monster, I'm just testing Super the Super waters Super here. Game? Also, I know ALT is in chat. Still my favorite today. So I'm appealing to him. You see? Doing some uh, online oh, politics. I'm on your side, ALT. I'm, I'm totally into the team divorce, you guys. You should all buy team divorce. Buy divorce coin. Now. Please. Well, Please. review the new Spider-Man movie. Please. I don't know because I don't know how to watch Please it. Please buy it. I Please. I don't have an on-demand service that has it, so I'm probably not going to see it. Burnell, are we still doing the podcast? Imagine listening to a podcast uh, while you're doing dishes or something, and then it, you just feel like it it turned off. So like something happened. Did my battery die? What happened? Oh no, the dude was just looking at chat. That's all right. Uh, it, you're also listening to this on your YouTube premium that you paid for because the dude told you you can listen to it in the background. Enjoy your time in, in, the, in Egypt, JDTV. Hope you have a good time there because he's staying there for some holidays. That's cool. I have no idea what it's like over there. Probably hot, right? I'm sure. Hello? Are we still live? Did we start dropping frames or something? You're just, you're just looking at his nails and just biting them. <laughs> this is what the high quality content you're supposed to buy in is. This is it. Uh, 15 years of positivity. This is room <laughs> I don't drink the refrigerator. Now he's talking about the temperature of the seltzer water. That's what we're actually talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hey Phil, what what temperature is the seltzer cool. water? Says he oh, it's uh, it's room temperature. That's cool. Is that good? 
<laughs> He's been live for like an hour and a half. An hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh man! Somebody give him a dollar so he could stop Ooh, doing I this. I I I didn't don't do him a don't give him a dollar. I'm just tweaking. Player and they're trying to get better. I just want something to actually happen. Zero people have done that. Absolutely zero. So I don't know what else you expect me to do. I'm not gonna go to FGC people's streams and hunt them down and challenge them publicly and cause drama. Hunt That's them not, down. You know that. Challenge them the kind of guy publicly am. and so, cause drama. Right. You're causing drama apparently by challenging somebody to a Street Fighter game. I, I That's drama. An challenge. Everyone knows it. It's, it's all an open minute. challenge. Seen it. Everyone has seen it apparently, except everybody who doesn't even know Dark Side Phil exists. Except those that select group of people that just talk about Dark Side Phil because it's fucking fun. Right. They all watch the clips. They all watch so the they clips. Know about it. So, Does he really think that that millions of people watch clips channels of Dark Side Phil? You know, but no one takes most takes like the the casual person who knows about DSP. They just know he jerked off on YouTube back in the day, and he used to play fighting games. Most of the time, when a clip of DSP goes quote unquote viral or or gets a couple of thousand uh, likes on Twitter, is just people being like, "Hey, well, I can't believe Phil is still putting out content in in this year." up on it said they're just happy to sit there like bitches and essentially laugh at when i get upset that the top tiers in the game are broken and kind of <clears throat> dominant in the online market or online uh you know ranked sets they are they're easy mode bullshit and i don't like that they're that oh he's talking about chill murray let's go to there while it's harder to play mid tier hold on because somebody I mean, sent him a super chat bullshit. telling him chill murray weeks. um, so, um challenged them to a fight you know, like, who the fuck is Chill Murray? Like, how exactly do you expect me to get someone to play me? <laughs> Just ask them. You know? Same way you ask them to react to their videos. Hello? You can skip. Bro, I, I skip like 30 seconds and it's just silence. It's still silence. Mary G did a super test saying Chills Murray 7 challenge you to a set where you accept who in the holy hell is Chills Murray 7? <laughs> One of the guys fucking your wife. One of the five guys. You heard what I He's said. He's the CEO right? of Five Google Guys Incorporated. Getting specializing in getting cat clapped on the daily. Person no one's ever heard of on the internet. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh man, Chill Murray getting Chills strays. Murray. Oh yes, the well-regarded Chills Murray, <laughs> world-renowned. Heard so much about them. <clears throat> right. Hey man, isn't this? Yeah, that that's right. Isn't this punching down? Who the fuck is this guy? And when somebody says, "Who the fuck is Dark Side Phil?" Excuse me, I got 15 years of millions of videos. Come on. When 99% of the people in my chat say, "Who?" That's exactly the right reaction. That, that's why I don't know why I would play Chills Murray. <clears throat> chills Murray. You're getting chills yeah. when you play it. I want to watch the Chill Murray segment when he talks about this. That's going to be fun as hell, man. <laughs> chill Murray's a troll, by the way, if you, if you don't know. He's a restreamer. He's one of the dang dirty detractor gang. Because the questions are getting ridiculous. But the questions get ridiculous, you know? Oh, and he's getting sleepy, you guys. <laughs> Try harder with your questions. Dumbasses. Now he's just stretching, looking at chat. This is on six times speed, by the way. We're all doing good today. We're all doing good We're today. Doing he's good doing today. awesome. It's going to be a very, very hot day. Like I said, 90. He's going to be super outside. hot. So we have all the air conditioners pumping to try to keep the house cool. It's harder on a day like today. <clears throat> Why would you want to keep the whole house cool all the time? That's going to be some crazy electricity bills. Just cool off the room that you're in. You know, so you basically have to, uh, you know, tough it out. And this week, you it have to tough Friday, it out. Friday, we, it dips 20 degrees. It's so insane. We what is the weather in Connecticut, by the way? Uh, not in Connecticut. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Weather in Renton is uh, 30 degrees Celsius and 86 Fahrenheit. Okay. Bruh. It's 30 Celsius. Also known as just another day in most parts of the world. All right. 
All right, guys. Let's end the show. Thank you for chilling. Well, thank you for Appreciate chilling. Thank you very much. And, uh, I don't know what to do now, though. <clears throat> I feel like it's too early to end the stream. Watching it's been only two hours. Why do we get to see this so, this naked like photo again? God damn it, this number is disgusting. One, should I play more uh, Combat 1 beta all weekend, or should we split those days? That's number one. Number two, what did you think of the schedule that I read out here regarding the next several weeks? Does it make sense to do it that way? To eventually phase Street Fighter 6 to a night stream to play a hell of a lot more of GTA 5 so we can beat it around the time that Starfield comes out. We have many topics to discuss and I need feedback. So please give me say. Oh yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I was going to run a poll, but then I remembered um... But in the meantime, thank you all. <clears throat> I go really go suck off Disney. That's going to be the new suck a dog off. Go suck off Disney. Um it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back right after the the unrecorded segment. And I'm going to watch a couple of those good old meltdowns from last week. Appreciate you guys. Because he was talking about troll discords. He's talking about people organizing traps for him. It right. was very intense, so, man. My heart was racing when I didn't watch those. For relaxing and fun in GTA 6. Let's get that set up. I will take a brief rest here. A brief rest. It will not be a long one. In fact, I won't even... A brief restroom rest you know, segment. Over and use the restroom. It's gonna run over to the restroom. That's what I'm gonna do too. So we both been drinking too much seltzer water. Yeah. And you know what that does to a person? Yeah, that's right. It makes them burp uncontrollably, uh, as you found out from Dark Side Phil. Mike and, uh, go use the restroom. Comes out on the sixth of September, so you'll see more GTA Five in the near future for those who are loving it. I'll be right back. He's gonna be right back, you guys. Enjoy those ads he's playing right now. So there you go. Uh, why do we call it the restroom? Because you have a rest from streaming, of course. What are you thinking it is? I think uh, Hate Army has the clip I'm actually looking for. DSP's last Chrono Trigger stream was the slowest in ages. No, that, that was the wrong one. We should have a booing booing sound on the soundboard. I'm going to put the guy in a small window, though. Because uh, I want to keep an eye on him. You know? You got to keep an eye on those pesky pig roaches, because sometimes they they run off and they do all these crazy stuff. You don't want that to happen. So the, the last Chrono Trigger stream was the slowest in the history of streams. Or, as he says, the slowest in ages. So let's start from the actual beginning. And uh, I will go have a rest to use the restroom. Wait, Sound good? Fucking problems! You gotta be kidding me! This thing. Uh, how's it going? Give me a second. Let me just get the laptop up and running and we can begin. Uh, I hope you're ready for some nice, chill, retro fun tonight. Chrono Trigger continuing. It should be a great, relaxing, interactive stream, which I very much am looking forward to. All right, let's get this up here and let's get this up here. And let's get the chat open. Turn down my AC and everything now that I'm back in the office. All right, we back. It. We're on that grind. We have a heat wave going on a here. A heat wave. In Washington State, 90 degree weather. 90 degrees. All week. We already had an unprecedented number of days in the 90s, and now they're saying this is going to absolutely be a record-breaking summer for the amount of days that will be this hot. We've never had this, this many before in one summer, and now we're hitting it again this week. I'm actually hoping this is the last hurrah for it, quite honestly. Uh, not to say that I don't mind being in air conditioning all day long, but uh, with a house like mine, it's hard to keep the rest of the house cool. I have three different air conditioners in the house, and even then, I can't really keep the house cool. Um, wow, that's crazy, sucks. man. So. What a heat wave. What a heat oh, wave. Yeah, East Coast is getting it He's too. melting. That's why he looks like this, because he there. melted. Yep schedules have been uh changed around 
Uh, we have not been out for a breakfast. I couldn't even tell you the last time we did. It was around COVID you know times, probably. What? Um, Are we supposed to feel bad about it? Because he door dashes breakfast. He said this multiple times in the past. Am I supposed to shed a tear for Phil not going out physically for breakfast, but having it delivered to him? <clears throat> it's crazy. Usually, if we're gonna... That's we're, adult things, though. We're gonna eat... You know, we eat something at home, and then we, we go out and we eat out. Like dinner. So... <clears throat> Oh, yeah? Rubble says he's in Brazil, and Brazil it's cold right now. So you got the opposite. You got the opposite of what we're going through. We're going through the heat wave. You're going through the cold wave, huh? Oh, uh, what's going on here? Uh-oh. Guess what? We got problems. Look at uh, that. Oh, and of Two course it broke. Problems. You got to be kidding me. Call it a piece of shit. This thing is atrocious. It's atrocious. nothing but problems. Like, <laughs> the mini PC, it. you guys. Okay, it's frozen. It's atrocious. Well, uh, you should tell that to the person who bought it for you for, like, a lot of money. We got problems, you guys. It's terrible. He should just call it a piece of shit. He should just lash out on it. Because he has no self-awareness that this is somebody else's money that they spend on him so he can enjoy himself. But, yeah, go ahead. How do I leave? How do I leave? Dude, what has happened? It boots to a black screen. Oh, yeah, we watched this in the beginning. It was, uh, let's see, onions. Onions? Uh, sweet red This is, by the way, the, the way that the camera is inverted, so it's like mirrored, it trips me out every time, man. His whole face is, is opposite. It's opposite Phil face. So the hairline is different, the mouth has a different inclination to it. Terrible. Um, a tomato sauce. I'm getting a, a panic oh, attack right now. I need to have a pill. Uh, ground turkey that was seasoned and cooked nicely. Uh, macaroni, like like elbow macaroni. Elbow and macaroni. And, cheese. and it was all mixed together. I thought it was great. She didn't like it. I was like, Phew. I don't know. She just doesn't like it. But I thought it was delicious. Just call her stupid. It was like the monsters live. So we're going to now talk to the monsters and interact with them and see what they have to say. We're going to talk and to the monsters. <laughs> through. And 10 years ago, people complained because it was a retro game. And now I'm playing it, and it's getting no support. That's not good. <laughs> I wish that it that people would respect and enjoy the classics. For some reason, they don't get the respect I feel that they do these days. This they don't get the respect. The best games ever made. Put some respect on Chrono RPG. Trigger. So it would be nice if anything, whether it's a like on the stream. And by nice. respecting it, he means uh, just give him money so he can play it with a nice smile on his face. Or a super chat, or a membership, or a gifted membership for the So he can recognize that see. respect. Once again, we lost members. We were up to 500. We're back down to 488. We keep having memberships expire from last month, so it would be great to get some more of those back tonight. I'm sure we'll have lots of people ready to accept a gifted membership, if possible. Okay. By the way, this uh, didn't actually happen. He's still on 488 today. <clears throat> so there you go. All right, are we ready? I think we're just going to jump in because... I want to get nice two solid hours of gameplay in here tonight. Willow, I just answered that question. I, I suggest that you do unclog your ears. I literally just talked about the food <laughs> that I ate for dinner. I'm not going to answer the question again right now. You were <laughs> Somebody <laughs> asked them what's for dinner again. And that's a cardinal sin. You don't do that. You don't do that. You're not allowed. Right there when I answer. You got to clear your ears. Because obviously he's thinking about your health because you might get an ear infection like he did that's why he has to wear neck phones it's almost a disability with him he can't physically wear headphones because they're too toxic me too <laughs> so i don't know why you're asking me the question again <clears throat> it's ridiculous okay and now the cursor's on the screen again i that's ridiculous you boot the game and the cursor is on the screen the cursor was Toxic not on the fuck. screen. Oh my god. By the way, thank you, Tizwaz, for re-upping your membership there for 20 months. Appreciate it. Tizwaz. Okay. Tizwaz, thank you. And <laughs> money, money, yeah, yeah. We need that money. Uh where was the thing? Oh yeah, the the, the Discord op. Hold on. No, that was something else. That's the um, that's that that's the hate uh, the top haters forums in ALT writing him a message and DSP responding to it. It's fantastic, but hold on. Oh yeah, this was it. <laughs> the, the, the fucking email thing. <laughs> anything. Hold on. Fifteen years as a YouTuber. 
and we've got various things going 15 on years in order balling. to celebrate. Jasper really likes my new joystick. Wait, is he's he still not it. back? He's, in it. he's rubbing his face on it. I'm he's still not back. He's been gone for like getting close to 10 minutes. Oh, come on, man. How are you that bad? Here he is. He's rubbing his face all over my new joystick. For some reason, he really likes it. <laughs> I'm talking about my joystick for my PlayStation 5 to play Street Fighter on. How dare you have other disgusting thoughts in your heads? Stop that right now. It's right here. It's my new Conva Obsidian 2 joystick is on the floor next to me. That's a nice Stop flex. That right now. How okay. much does it cost? How many anyway, hundreds? The reason I bring this up... How many bands? Right, ...is because, because this is my 15th anniversary as a content creator, and because we're having positivity and special events and all kinds of fun things going on. There is a concerted effort by those on the internet who benefit from my misery. Hell to yeah. To create more drama. We love them. All right. And I want to say a very special thank what you. What is the misery they're trying to create? This week, you did not buy into the bullshit. How do you know? That's a great thing that people now have seen through all of this nonsense. All right. Just to give you some perspective. In the last week, the nonsense that has happened. Okay. So first of all, Jasper's going crazy here. First of all, I get donated a mini PC. I never asked for it. We had talked about a Steam Deck over the last year or so, but never once did I say, hey man, I want to uh, uh, you know, donate it immediately, send it to me. Someone out of the kindness of their heart contacted me. And said, Obviously, he explicitly didn't say, donate it to me, send it immediately. He didn't say that. With the things Obviously, that, like you that makes him innocent. PC like that, I want to donate one. And they did. And that's amazing. So immediately, what happens? These people try to make it into a negative, right? Oh, first of all, the PC obviously is a trap. It's a troll thing where someone put in, like, keyloggers and stuff. Then, oh, you see, Phil doesn't understand what the PC is. We're going to insult him on his streams because... <laughs> Who told him about the keyloggers? I think, I mean, as, as far as I know, people just thought that would be a funny thing to happen and a plausible thing to happen to Dark Side Phil because it's Dark Side Phil one thing but it's another thing and we're gonna try to bait and trap him we actually had people so so here's what you guys don't know here's but what you guys don't know publicly okay <clears throat> they talk about it privately in the discord he doesn't have that we have screenshots from that are i guess fabricated because it, it doesn't exist they're fake screenshots there's a good 15 or 20 people that are constantly on my streams who are sock accounts from previous accounts being on my streams and they are a group that sit in a discord and they chat with each other all day, every day, talking about me, crapping on me, trying to make fun of me, trying to find ways to derail my streams and or create drama around me. I know that sounds weird to be like, no, that's that's got to be an exaggeration. No, it's very true. That it's literally true. is an exaggeration because I'm I'm in a bunch of discords. I wouldn't say a bunch because I'm not active in pretty much any of it outside the one that I run. Uh, but that's really not happening. It's, it's, it's really not a thing that happens. People don't really plan gay ops in, in public discords. Oh, everyone knows it. We all see Or at least, like, what was the op? To tell him that his PC might have a keylogger in it? Of it. Uh, it's not hard to figure out. What, what was the actual op? What was the thing people were planning to do? Right, these people are crazy. They're obsessed. And they sit around literally plotting stuff. These are people... Well, the thing, the thing with the discords is, obviously... You guys already know this. DSP is a guy who is very fucking good at making people talk about him. Yes, it is a negative way of talking about him, but they're still talking about him. So people give him the platform to talk about fucking Phil, and there's different rules for the different discords. So maybe there's a fucking private discord somewhere where people are talking about doing shit to him. But as far as I know, that's not a thing. Mm -hmm. In a lot of cases, or at least maybe I haven't been invited. I should be. Used to be detractors, but they so I can snitch to Phil. I can send him emails. Be in the chat and pretend to be fans. Only over the years, then they would reveal themselves every once in a while when they just couldn't resist a, a big insult or derailing the stream or insulting another one of my viewers for various reasons. They all have been banned. So they come back over. Yeah, I did say I I'm not active in the discords. I am in some of them. I would say let's see one two three four five seven. Seven, like Chill Murray, but I'm active in only one. I would say active, because... With sock accounts. <clears throat> I made okay. it. And the thing is, they don't think I know it. But the thing is, there's a couple things that you can always tell. Number one, they all talk the same. 
They all have the same mannerisms, the same sayings. They reference the same memes. A lot and of now we're doing a kind of type that they type the same way. You how do they type the same way? How do you figure that out? And this is also a piece of evidence people used against him because he was typing the same way in the uh, WW Champions discords. That's one of the pieces of evidence that links him. Tell if it's the same person easily. It's not a big difference to figure this out, especially if it's a regular who's in the chat all the time, always on a sock account. That's number one. How do you know number this, two, though? What they don't realize, which I, I've talked about before, is that they don't even like them each other. There's people who sit in their Discord channels and actually tell me about what they're talking about. Okay. Like if they're planning to do something. I know so they're not super secret Discords, right? They're they're public, right? And you can just join them and be a DSP fan, and that's you exist about it ahead of time because people tell me i don't ask about it i literally don't, don't even ask about it are. speaking of which i've seen some of those emails because some of those emails are actually trolls trying to you know they're trying to send a fill an email telling them about some some fake beef that we have and it's really interesting it's really fun but i'll get emails and messages saying hey phil just so you know this idiot is doing this and just to, yeah, you know, they know everything because they might try to derail prepare you, you yourself going on with, you know, <laughs> behind the scenes. And I'm like, what are oh, they okay, doing, though? They're going to say the banana song in chat. Is that what they're going to do? They're going to reference the banana song. They're going to reference Jasper. You know, I don't care about it. I don't you know, I don't because it's just like the, the whole point of this and the emails that I've seen is just to make him more paranoid by feeding him a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of lies. It's good to have the heads up. So what they don't even know is that I know who they all are. He knows all, right. all of them, apparently. Yeah. They consistently get banned and come back and get banned and come back. He knows various them. For different reasons. Like I said, sometimes they would try these drama efforts and things, and it doesn't work, so they get banned, and they come back with another. The account. drama efforts. So this week, one of these <laughs> things happened. Where yeah, they're, they're pretty much gaslighting him, which I'm always for. We, we gaslight the narcissist because they're very susceptible to it because they gaslight themselves. So why not you gaslight them? One of them Thumbs was up. someone who had already had three previous accounts at least. It might have actually gone back further than that. At least three. But this person he knows all of them. had purposefully tried to do a, like a, a, a situation where it's a gotcha moment. I got to find a gotcha moment on Phil's street. What is a gotcha moment? look bad. It's right? almost like you seem paranoid. And then you start looking for gotcha moments where, when, where they don't exist. Such as with the Laveria, uh, uh, Lavinia stuff. Which so was long not long a gotcha long. moment. He's just the person calling him out on him being ignorant, and all he had to do is say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. But then he turned it into a gotcha moment. Talking about this new mini PC. That and and all the trolls got a bunch of views. So that's that's positive. Keep doing this, Phil. Never stop. And I don't really know anything about mini Keep PCs. Keep up the grind. I, you know, I'm talking about things that people are telling me. I'm getting emails every night. Hey, here's what I think about your PC. I did some research. Here's what I learned. So I'm just talking about that on my pre-streams. And again, my pre-streams are not meant to be like an end-all, be-all authority, informative discussion about... Why do you have a news segment that's called DSP News? Any equipment I'm using or anything like that. When you say you're reporting the news. This is not Linus Tech Tips. It's right? not Linus Tech this Tips. Digital Foundry doing frame rate testing. This is just me talking on a podcast to you guys casually, all right? But any time that these idiots can try to get someone in a gotcha moment, they'll do it. So, oh, I gotcha. See, you misspoke about this about the PC. You misspoke about that about the PC. And then because I don't outright address it, right? Now I'm somehow in the wrong, right? Or someone shows up late to my stream and is demanding that I derail the entire stream. They're demanding. About a topic They're about making demands. At the beginning of the stream. <laughs> Right? So I make light of it. I joke around and everyone laughs and has a good time. So what do they do? Oh my God, did you see the joke that Phil made about a viewer who is trying to give him information about it? The his joke? It didn't happen. It's well, the same fucking And it didn't happen. Apparently it didn't happen. ...who's been in this chat a million times, always good trying for the gotcha moment. It's worth- What was the gotcha moment though? The moment that that digital, or excuse me, the moment that the mini PC arrived, correct? What is the first thing I said? I'm going to hook it up on Sunday night and test it for myself. And once I test it, we'll have the end-all, be-all information about this PC. We won't know till I hook it up. We can all sit here and speculate. Okay, then why did we spend so much time being opinionated, though? Why, why did we have to do it? We can read stats online. Being super smug at people. Oh my god, you fucking idiots. Uh, Lavinia, PCs, they, the, the CPU heats up, right? 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 Lavinia, you didn't answer my question. Yes or no? D does it heat up? Does it heat up? And 
When it heats up, it needs a cooling solution, correct? Lavinia? You didn't answer my question. Correct? Until I actually hook it up and test it and benchmark Completely it myself, delusional. We won't know Completely anything. delusional. That's the first thing I said. That's why I'm all for gaslighting, man. Get him further into the delusion. Send him emails telling him he's the greatest. He's the GOAT! The GOAT! The GOAT! Tell him. Tell him. So then why and he's just gonna buy all that bullshit. Why are there people coming to stream arguing with me about the power of the PC if it's gonna overheat, if it has a fan in it? Who cares? How dare you argue with me? Who cares? Even though you care because you spent a combined more than an hour talking about this stupid PC before he even took it out of the box and plugged it in. Find out when I test it on Sunday. Why? Because these are trolls trying to get you in a These gotcha are trolls. Now, literally paranoid. He's literally just paranoid. It's just paranoid. The truth, Jasper. Because it, 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 I made the Lavinia video and multiple other people did. You can see the chat. You can see what people were saying, and you can see that there was no trolling. It was just people calling him out for being a bullshit artist. It goes Beth for the membership, dude. Yeah, get down. Do do debt. Here's the truth. They're trying Follow to alert. basically derail my. But content, you're probably right? a sock, anyways. But uh, thanks, anyways. Because what you're I suck. Done you're just trying to get the gotcha moment, Beth. Smart, which I'm not. I'm too nice of a guy. I should never entertain their bullshit. Never. I should take their bullshit and say, all right, you know what? Just ban. Just I don't ban. Want to deal with you anymore. Just ban your ass. I'm not going to pay ban attention him. to you, right? Destroy but him. Instead, I entertain it. I read the comments nicely. I treat crush him like skull. Normal. Crush his skull. <laughs> you know when I see fucking trolls, what I'm going to do? I'm going to crush your skull. Stream members, because I'm trying to be. No nice more Mr. Nice Phil. No more Nice Phil. Crush his skull. Maintain a positive atmosphere on my stream. Positive I atmosphere. Think that I'm hostile to people for no good is, reason. Is is a positive atmosphere, chat. Try and be as unbiased as possible. Is it a positive atmosphere? When we, when you take somebody from chat that disagrees with you, and you make a big song and dance about how they're late to the stream, and you replay the whole intro, just so you can shove it in their face, how long after the stream started they joined? Or is it toxic? I'm not sure. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's pretty positive, because they got to see the intro, because maybe they missed the intro today. And it's a really good intro. It's custom style. It says created by Phil Burnell. You see? They, need, they, they just needed to see the intro. Twice. In case they missed it the first time, of course. He's just being considerate to his fans. He's just making a positive atmosphere. So everybody can feel like they're a part of a community. They have, well, have a good reason to be hostile to these people. They've already been banned multiple times. Um, so basically, you know, they try to turn this into, oh, see, Phil disrespects his fans, and Phil doesn't care, and he doesn't listen, and then he treats them badly. It's like, and none of, of course, that he told them to, to eat the shit out of his ass in case they were hungry. Obviously. Why else would he tell them that? You know, in case you guys are hungry, you can, you can eat my shit. You know, I'm, I'm giving you something, man. It's, it's a positive contribution. Literally none of it. But this what if is they're the starving? They try to create the drama around my streams. So I've completely ignored it, and guess what? He completely ignored it, apparently. It's happened. It's good. He completely ignored it. <laughs> I ignored it because it was all bullshit to begin with. I How? I out my mini PC on Sunday. How did this happen? Out. It's okay. It can play some 3D stuff, but not at high settings. You can go around low to mid settings. Like Skyrim didn't look great. Visage didn't look great. They certainly ran. They're playable, but they didn't look good. It's like, well, I'm probably not going to use this thing then to do any modern games. It's probably going to be retro games and stuff like that, which is exactly what I said at the beginning of all of this before a moment of anyone coming on my stream and declaring, oh, it has the, they capability, declared. To do this. It has the capability to do that. It has a fan and it has this. Before any of that, I said, <clears throat> it's just going to be, you know, <clears throat> very basic. That's what it's going to be. And God, by the way, that's exactly what it is. So... Actually, I was right all along. So he was you right. Know, you would have known that there you go. until Sunday night for me to take Yeah, I just have to wait a couple of days of him being opinionated, smug, and calling everybody out, out for giving him correct information. But that's the problem. That's what you have to do. Right? Who totally... They're just idiots. To... By being right? Essentially, I guess? Works. Because earlier on, he admitted that his stream is not supposed to be the factual, benchmarking, Linus Tech Tips, Digital Foundry style plays. So he admitted he was wrong then, but all he had to do is wait for like three days so he can tell you he was right all along by ways of mental gymnastics. And try to derail my content. But that was only it's super simple. You just couldn't do it. Happened this week. You nude nicks. Okay. Earlier this you dunces. week, we on my podcast and we talked about Mortal Kombat 1 coming up and the future of fighting games on my streams, correct? 
and we're sitting there talking, and I'm like, listen, we found out Mortal Kombat 1 has a beta coming up, not this weekend, but next weekend. People want to see me play the beta. They've already expressed we want to see you play this beta. <clears throat> but then come to find out the Mortal Kombat 1 beta is not cross-platform. Yeah, we're skipping this Kombat. dog shit. This is uh, the whole reasoning behind why he bought the stick. You've heard this a trillion, bajillion, quintillion times. I'm doing so well in Street Fighter 6. He's doing so well. That's the bottom that. line. So all that, you know, I mean, all in all, when you add it up, it's over 500 bucks. It's over $500 to do all this, okay? So I said, I'm just going to do it. Let's do it. So I do it, all right? And immediately, when I announce to everyone that I've done this, what happens? My viewers are like, oh, cool. So now you're gonna, we're going to see everything on PS5. You're going to have a new joystick. This is cool. But what do the, what this is the cool. haters do? Oh, oh my. Everybody who agrees with me is cool, and everybody who slightly disagrees with me is a troll. My God, he spent money? What? How dare Phil spend money? I'm serious. Like, they actually <laughs> think I'm not allowed to spend any money. <laughs> what? Bro, the whole thing was that he ordered it, and then he showed up on stream, and he was like, You guys, I just made a major investment in my streams. It would be nice if I could pay it back, so uh, all support would be greatly appreciated, such as uh, dropping a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, leaving a, a super chat, super sticker, or a tip. Because in their minds. Because th th the thing is, the great thing about DSP is all of that shit is recorded. If you don't trust him, you don't trust me, you don't trust Duty, you don't trust Hate Army, you don't trust Aqua Teal, you can just go watch and make up your mind for yourself about what he actually did. They're still set on me. You're you can go watch the actual raw feed from the YouTube You're channel still. Raw Phil on a daily basis. Raw Phil. Or you can watch DDM. And see the chat and what everybody said and what how he responded to everything. If you think the detractor is too biased, too opinionated, you can do that. That's the great thing about this. I don't expect you to buy into everything that I say. I'm wrong a bunch of the times. So you can just go check it out. Make up your mind. That's the great thing about this. Being in financial... You got a thousand different avenues to figure out if this guy is bullshitting or he did nothing wrong, everything correct. She'll distress all the time. Right? Remember, years and years ago when I went through a bankruptcy and I had to hold streams to pay bills. It's you have true. to hold streams happened. to pay it's bills. Documented. It's public. I did it. I had to do it at that time. I was Lavinia dead. stuff is documented in public things. as well. I was able to make ends meet and keep everything that I have. You know, I was in jeopardy of defaulting on payments on important things. Things aren't like that anymore. All he right? did default on payments on important things. And I'm happy that things aren't like that anymore. Things have been getting progressively better every year since then. The thing is, I'm not talking about it constantly, because why would I? This has nothing to do with anyone's public business. It's just my behind-the-scenes life, and my streams are what they are, and you support them, and that's that. No one should care about what I'm spending dollars on. It's ridiculous. But that's how these people are, okay? So, the, the moral of the story is, it's only public business when he wants it to be, and when he's in dire straits and he's in need of support. It's no longer the public's business the rest of the time. Moral of the story. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I've had enough of people... It's your business if he talks about it. If you want to talk about it, you have some thoughts about the issue. It's, it's none of your business. Treat me unfair. Unless you agree with everything he says and you want to send him money. Then it, it is your business. And you're helping him out tremendously and he appreciates it. Until he calls you a troll like Arkham and you get banned. For nothing. When everyone else... It's okay, but for me... You get the paranoia ban. No, I can't spend a dollar on anything, right? Even when it's investment in the business. It's not like, oh, Phil frivolously went out and bought a fucking Gucci watch. Or, you know, he went out and he has a new car. I'm buying equipment for... Bought a car. Gucci watch. But that's not good enough. That's not allowed. I want him to show up uh, dripped out in Gucci one day. Just be like, where did I get these Gucci glasses for like $600? It's none of your fucking business. My finances is none of your fucking business, you fucking idiot. I can buy a Gucci watch if I want to. So, the first thing is, oh, how dare Phil go out and Shows up with like a Balenciaga t-shirt. He's like, oh, you guys, I got some new t-shirts for like a really cool store at the ball. It's called B uh, B Balenciaga. And uh, apparently it's like a popular brand, I guess. All that money and beg for people to pay for it. Never happened. Literally never happened. It never right? happened. And then it's, well, how dare Phil spend that money if he said he didn't have it? Never happened. Didn't say I didn't have the money. Said it's a big investment and I'd like to make it back. I'd like the buy-in that people will say. I, I like the buy-in. <laughs>
<laughs> I want to make back the investment. That's not begging. You buying something and then you're like, okay, guys, I bought this. I want to make the money back. So some buy-in would be greatly appreciated. Thanks in advance. That's not begging. That's just implying that you're begging, I guess. But it's all technicalities and it's all, um, it, it's all like that with Dark Side Phil. It's all mental gymnastics. You got to catch him point blank, red-handed, and then he's still not going to admit it's true. Like with uh, clicking the ads type of thing. When he told you explicitly, click the ads. I never told people to click the ads. What the fuck do you mean? In it, please support it was also denying jerking off on stream. That's another thing he got red-handed, or you might say white-handed. And he still denied it. Streams. So, you know, today I'm doing Street Fighter 6 all day. So, yes. By all means, please support the stream. T throw a tip, donate some gifted memberships. That will help to give back for all the investment I just did. You understand? That's what I'm saying. I didn't say, hey, someone buy Isn't that just the same as raising money to, to buy the thing in the first place? It's kind of equivalent when you think about it. You spending the money and then asking for it back and you asking for the money so you can spend it is the same thing. It, it kind of is. Fucking joystick and ship it to my house. That never happened. All right? Never. Okay? And of course, we have to make it about the, the absolutely the most literal thing possible. I never asked anybody to buy me a joystick and ship it to my house. No, you didn't. Nobody actually says you did this. They, they, they're not saying this. So, that narrative is destroyed. So now they move on to the next narrative. What's the next narrative? Oh, well, you see, even though Phil invested What's the narrative? in the business, that's bad. He should have bought a blood test for his cat because his cat is sick. Oh, and now we get the Jasper segment. What? Ah, now. So, just listen to this narrative, all right? Last month... I yeah, big ups, uh, J Dog, for the super chat. DSP saying it didn't happen like Jonathan Frakes. It never happened. Our writers made that one up. That, 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 that's him. That's him uh, doing the debunk stream. That was exactly what it was. It's like, uh, I groomed two fangirls for sex and extra money. Didn't happen. Pulled a one off. I lied about a Project 7 reboot. Didn't happen. Story on my podcast. He's so reliable, you guys. And, to a vet, and, this and all you have to do. All you have to do to see the facts and understand his point of view is just unconditionally trust him. That's all you have to do. I'm not asking for much. Just trust anything he says. And then you have the truth. You have the bottom line. That was very unprofessional and tried to scam me. I was never invited into the room when my cat was being examined medically. I was told a bunch of stuff about my cat that I had no clue if it was true or not, no evidence of it was ever shown. I was trying to be upsold by this vet who looked completely unprofessional and wasted my time that day. Um, I mean, I told that you, if you want, you can watch the podcast, like a month old now, okay? And essentially, I was very upset with the way I was treated at this vet, and that was that. Now, what you guys don't know is in the meantime, there's been follow-up. I'm not Yes, sure I, I love this segment. This is the follow-up segment. So this is him talking to the, the vet management or uh, the administration. It's no one's business. We had an actual meeting with this vet. Not the vet, but the company. The that company. They met the CEO. <laughs> and we talked with the management about it and explain the entire situation from start to finish. And the management agreed with us. The management agreed. Like the entire thing was wrong, that the vet was not doing what they professionally should have. It's almost like when you're a company executive or at least uh, like a customer support person and some customer is really pulling a trick on you and they're being obnoxious as fuck. It's almost like the way to go is to agree with everything they say. And you, you tell them you're going to fix it. You tell them you're really sorry about it. I'm, I'm sorry it happened to you, Mr. Uh, Darkseid. I'm sorry that, that this vet was mistreating you like this. He tried to upsold you. He tried to scam you. I'm so sorry about this. We're going to fix it. We're going to fire the vet. We're going to send him to Siberia. They're going to be working hard labor for the rest of their lives. I promise. Can you uh, can we let the next person in now? Because um, Mr. Darkseid, your, your time is up. So I wish you uh, the finest day, and I hope you hit your tips goal for tonight so you can put on the vest so you can be extra warm. Thank you, Mr. Darkseid. Done. That it was completely unprofessional. Yes, they were trying to upsell us on a $300 blood test that is not needed on our cat. 
We were outright now, told, yeah, you're right, that your cat did not need that blood test. You were being told lies. Here's the thing. We were told Jasper needed a... Here's the thing. Uh, I do admire him to a certain extent for uh, looking for his rights. Even if he wasn't in the right, even if he was in the right, it doesn't matter. I, I do respect that he went out of the, his way to throw a baby tantrum, even if it wasn't for a, something that is important at all. But he was... He wanted to get to the bottom of this. Three hundred dollar. So that's a decent trait, but he's doing this for for like the most mundane bullshit things ever, like a a a, a fucking burger from Burger King, a, a chicken sandwich. He was doing this shit for like um, a DoorDash and stuff like that. Test in order to find out if he has any kind of. Oh yeah, big ups, Vikes. Uh, the vet will get a Singaporean execution, also known as. Uh, a very light sentence in uh, in Singapore. Problems with his. They're gonna get uh, him stoned. Contract. No, he doesn't. We we know this for a fact because years ago he went to a vet, like four four or more years ago. He went to a different vet, and that vet did not do a blood test and immediately diagnosed him with a urinary problem and gave him antibiotics. So we know he doesn't need it. And this the 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 management of this vet clinic agreed with us that this vet was in the wrong. This was a hundred percent this vet trying to outsell to make money. And they said, number one, you're never going to have to deal with that vet ever again. If you continue to, to have business with us, you will never deal with that vet ever again. We're it almost seems like they just wanted you to keep doing business with them. So they just told you, I'm sorry, Mr. Brunel. And, you know, the whole spiel that I just had. Sit down with that vet and explain to them why that was completely in the wrong and make sure they don't treat another customer like that ever again. Right? So we had that conversation with the vet. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys that because who cares? It's none of your business. Who cares about that? Right? Doesn't matter. But, but who cared about the upsell in the first place? You decided to bring it up and make it a news story. And you decided to hype it up as if it was something meaningful you had to share with everybody on the internet. And then people just took what you said and they discussed it. And it, it seemed like you didn't want to pay for Jasper's blood work. Which is not the best thing ever because you're supposed... That's supposed to be your non-human son. It's supposed to be a member of your family. You don't want to make sure he, he gets the best treatment possible? But these idiots, all right? These idiots. Literally, these idiotic trolls on the internet actually think that they're vets. They and think they're say, vets. If a vet tells you that you should have a $300 blood test for your pet, you should just do it. And the fact that you wouldn't do that for Jasper, but you bought a joystick instead <laughs> shows that you don't We gotta to show the joystick. Your pet. I'm not shitting you. This is what these idiots are saying and doing. They're morons. They're completely- They're morons. Uh, speaking of this, I, I, I believe the biggest, um, how do we call them? The biggest, uh, perpetrator of this malicious, abusive, exploitative, and, um, toxic, um, narrative was, uh, Mr. Stephen uh, of the Dead. I don't even know who that is. I, I've never met the guy, but apparently he has a video called The Burnells Visit the Vet that is like, like four hours long. And he was talking about, guess what? The Burnells visiting the vet based on the story that this sir, this uh, fellow American, uh, Mr. Darkseid, has shared with the internet. Fucking insane. They will do anything. To create a false conspiracy theory narrative. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Diseased Steven. Uh, you are now at the top of the shit list because you're making stuff up. You, you, you think you're a vet? How dare you think you're a vet? To try to make me look bad. So they have content to put out. And they've been trying all week long. With ver First, it was the mini PC bullshit. Then it was this joystick thing. Then it was a Jasper thing. It's insane. I had someone come to my stream last night. All right. And contribute and say, I hope that this helps Jasper. And I said, what are you talking about? Yeah, right. So I, I encourage all you guys to go to this channel. I'm even going to post it in chat so I can endorse further harassment of this, this Steven guy. I don't even fucking know who that is. But uh, we, we got to go toxic on him, everybody. So go to that channel and absolutely destroy the thumbs up button because that hurts the algorithm that destroys the algorithm and he's never going to get a single view ever again he's never going to spew toxic malicious nonsensical lies and slander towards your boy mr dark side ever again it's never going to happen and you can also put the video 
on the background while you're uh, doing your stuff on YouTube Premium, of course, because obviously it, it, it helps everybody. It hurts no one. So you can hear the toxic, disgusting, malicious slander that this individual with strange words behind him is trying to spew towards this man who did nothing wrong. And come to find out, they actually had watched detractor content. There we go. That Jasper was sick. That's it. Because he thought Jasper had the plague. Because this man, he says it in the video. At the, the this minute mark, he says Jasper has the plague, you guys. Jasper is dying. He's on life support. How dare he spread malicious rumors like this that hurt his family. They're hurting his son. His son is getting bullied at cat school. Detractors are lying and saying horrible what things. What a filthy liar. It's like... Yeah, we should send fuck? him to Singapore. We should send this guy to Singapore. So all I, say to you guys, I hate him already. I can't stand him. Here's the deal. If you haven't noticed this week, despite the fact that he's Jasper is crying, everybody constantly trying to say <laughs> negative things about me. Jasper because Jasper doesn't talk on stream because obviously he's very shy. He's nervous. You know, he can't he doesn't really have much of a camera presence. So but but behind the streams, behind the scenes, even he's crying. He's shedding tears left and right. He's you know, he's 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 get just, he's just getting very depressed. He's not the same Jasper he used to be. Content. None of it has affected me or my content this week. The content's been good. Oh, but wait, he's not affected. So, I guess... Doesn't that just mean that the trolls can just keep talking whatever they want to talk if he's not affected? Because he's clearly not affected because he says so. So, what's wrong with people talking about it and just making up some shit? If they, if they indeed had, such as this Mr. Uh, Undead Steven. Uh, yeah. The people are showing up, know. watching, enjoying. We're keeping the drama out of the chat, and the support's been good. You know, I have zero complaints. Everything has remained great. And yeah, I have when... no complaints whatsoever <laughs> about anything. Whenever I'm... Jasper is not crying about Tevin bullying his mom, he is crying about Mr. Steven making up slanderous accusations about him. I want to say thank you because you've been an outstanding audience this week with all the white noise bullshit you guys have been a great audience are pushing out there all the false narratives you have done a great job of just staying here and relaxing and enjoying the content for what it is all right in fact i received an email this morning and i'm i know this is a, it's an amazing coincidence because all this is going on what all of a sudden I oh yes 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 now we get into the email part this shit is so good uh, because I have it deciphered, and we're gonna dive into what the email actually means. This is clickbait. It doesn't really mean much. It could be a troll, though. It is so pertinent. It's so pertinent. I to read it here live on the stream today, and I'm not gonna read this person's name, obviously for privacy reasons. All right. <clears throat> so here you ready? This is word for word an email that was sent to me this morning. Hello, Phil. I just want you to know, I originally found you through troll content. I still keep up with some of it here and there. From what I am seeing, you are becoming more and more admirable every day, so allow me to explain. Number one, the fact that they are constantly doing crazy amounts of mental gymnastics and logic jumps to spin new narratives is becoming increasingly laughable with every passing day. Number two, they're becoming more angry and jaded as their narrative continues to fail and negatively affect you or sway people away from supporting you. Number three, the content you put out is some of the most consistent and well thought out content I think I've ever consumed. I will say, I appreciate that comment, that's very subjective. Personally, I don't think that I'm hot shit, I don't, but it's nice to know someone likes the content. And number four, you clearly care about what your viewers think. The trolls and LARPers, I don't know what you mean by LARPers, think it's cool or funny when they persuade or trick you into playing something that your general actual fans probably wouldn't care that much about. In reality, that shows that you're thinking about your fans and viewers to a greater extent. It was your consideration, or excuse me, your considerate nature that they're just taking advantage of. I'm loving the content. If you don't know what he's talking about, by the way, or she, because I don't know, um, it's like when I do a poll. So I'll do oh, a poll, yes. and the poll will be, <laughs> hey... You know, yeah, bro, we know how you do polls. Let's get Go right on. into the news. Factors out of your fan best for the streams. That's why I ask you guys for your, your input, right? Right. Anyway, um, I'm loving your content. Uh, they, you know, they say that you, you make detractors out of your fans. Well, this is a detract one detractor that you actually made a fan. And I hope that this message finds you well. So, thank you. 
very, very much. I appreciate that's a really nice message, and it just kind of stands to reason. Okay. Okay. Speaking of which, let's go full on CSI on this. Let's go full on Horatio Kane. Remember that guy? Man, he was hot. Miami was was built different with him in charge. So first, we get to. I still keep up with some of it. I'm gonna read the whole thing. I just want you to know, I originally found you through troll content. All right, this is a, a past troll. I still keep up with some of it here and there, which I, I I don't really know if a fan would say this that you're still watching troll videos after DSP telling you stop watching the trolls, stop believing them. From what I'm seeing, you are becoming more and more admirable every day. Now this is a a master at uh, dick riding. This we're we're getting generational dick riding here, calling DSP more and more admirable every day. So. Then we get to a catchphrase, allow me to explain, where uh, I've highlighted this. And again, this might be a genuine fan, or it might be a troll, but I'm thinking it's a troll. Uh, I do not think that he writes emails to himself, because there's plenty of people writing emails to him. Either real fans or gaslighters, because gaslighting is really fucking fun, especially if you're gaslighting a narcissist into believing that they're hot shit. So number one... The fact that they're constantly doing crazy amounts of mental gymnastics and logic jumps to spin new narratives is becoming increasingly laughable with every passing day. With every passing day. So this is describing DSP, uh, according to me, because I, uh, I left this comment when I was analyzing this into excruciating lengths. Um, so yeah, I believe this is absolutely describing him. This is what a lot of people said after the interview when he was trying to do all this mental gymnastic to justify, man, this went exactly like I thought it would. Man, this was like su such a good experience. And then the next day he was like, oh, it was all a trap. Anyways, number two, they're becoming more and more angry, uh, more, more angry and jaded as their narrative continues to fall to fail. Which is what happens to DSP on a regular basis. He tries to push narratives about certain stuff, they fail, then he gets fucking salty about it. And also we have the word jaded in there, because, you know, we, we all love jade. Or it, or it might not be that. It might just be a, a normal, normal use of the word jaded. And negatively affect you, or sway. You guys know this word? Sway. Sway people away from supporting you. Number three, the content you put out is some of the most consistent. And here we got, here we got the real banger and well thought out content I think I've ever consumed. This cannot be a real fan. Even real fans don't say shit like this. You gotta be on next level dick riding. You gotta be like pregnant with twins from dick riding if you're gonna say shit like this. I think I've ever consumed. And number four, you clearly care about your viewers. Think trolls and LARPers. LARPers is also a thing that the, the trolls use. That's a phrase that the trolls use. LARPers is people that are pretending that they're DSP fans in chat so they can gaslight him into thinking he has more fans than he actually has real fans. And they try and sneak diss him every once in a while, which is pretty entertaining to, to see. What LARPers think it's cool or funny when they persuade or trig you into playing something that your general actual fans probably wouldn't care that much about. In reality, which is also a, a pretty DSP phrase, but it's also a common phrase, so may or may not be a troll. That shows that you're thinking about your fans and viewers to a greater extent. Your considerate nature that they're just taking advantage of. And then we get a, a phrase that DSP loves to say. I'm loving the content. I'm loving the content. How many times have you heard him say, you guys are loving the content? And then we continue. Hey, you know, they say that you make detractors out of your fans. Well, this is a, a one detractor that you actually made a fan of. And I hope this message finds you well. And I think the finds you well thing is also a reference to old DSB writing emails to people when he starts it off with, I hope this message finds you well, etc, etc. So I definitely am uh, skeptical to calling this a, an actual genuine fan. Uh, I definitely don't think DSP wrote this. As, as I already said, there's plenty of people, LARPers or real fans, that write him emails. He doesn't need to resort to writing emails himself. 
So there you go. That's what I think from this. And this I, I gathered from the transcript of this very video. So it might not be entirely correct uh, because it's automatically generated. Uh, but I, I will make a poll because we did make a poll on that being said as well. And I think people uh, came down to the conclusion that it was a troll. Uh, so anyways, um, because Paul J. Brazel, who said seven minutes ago, again, Phil needs to be put in jail. And then he said, are you kidding me? Phil wrote this. And why I don't think he wrote this is because the LARPers are remarkably good at making it seem like he did it because they're using his catchphrases. They're using things as allow me to explain. And then he starts with number one, number two, number three. Then we say shit like well thought out content, which I don't think anybody on this earth could say this about DSP stuff. Write him an email. They're using words such as LARPers, which he, did, he didn't seem like he knew what that meant. Uh, they used in reality. They said, I'm loving the content. So this seems just like a bunch of Easter eggs for people like, well, like me, who like reading this stuff and looking for more meaning than it might actually have because it's entertaining. Well, there you go. But I'm going to run a poll in chat so you guys get to figure this out. That as long as you stay the course and as long as you don't allow yourself to be distracted by all of the white noise bullshit around you, you can continue to succeed in life, right? And that's my, that is really my philosophy. These How days. is he it's succeeding these, in life? People tried so hard, so hard to derail the content and to make it all about them and the drama they created. And it didn't work. People showed up, enjoyed the content. We didn't talk about their bullshit. And here we are at the end of the week. It's been a great week. We Wait, there was a Pastor Miller upload? Hold on. We need to we need to look that up immediately, Pastor Eric Miller, because I love this dude, man. I wish he never. Oh, are trans women better than biological women? Okay, thanks, thanks, Mr. Pastor. You know oh, we're gone. Stuff. Thank you. So that's why I want to thank you, the viewer, because oh, those of you who stay away from their the bullshit, one! for those of you who listen to their bullshit, you know, I feel bad. For those of you who miss the Pastor Eric Miller sub saga. You, you guys need to go check it out. That shit was entertaining as all hell. Man, this dude has so many good voice lines. Such as... Suck a dog off. Talk about my wife. Please. Please. And the vintage classic. Let me tell you something, brother. When I hold a man's penis, I tell you what I do. I hold on to it tight, brother. Because if that penis is vodka to Philip, that's how I grab it. That's how I grab it. Because I don't create the bullshit. They do. You know, some people genuinely contacting me overnight saying, is Jasper okay? Yeah, he's fine. Oh, he yeah, and, and he finished his uh, his venture into de detracting or anti-detracting by saying that he took our manhood. He took the manhood, everybody. So he won. He just declared that he won, and he just moved on. And what is great, is actually great, is that the last video he put out on detracting was dissing the Decepticron for, for the dude making a three-part series about him. That is very entertaining, by the way. If you want to find out everything about him, go on the Decepticron channel and look that shit up because this is quality content. And also, uh, I like the guy, so obviously I'm going to shill him. Look at this. Uh, the the, the, the three-part mega series. The Genesis of Hate. Then we got the snake in Eden, and then we got the fall from grace. And obviously, most of you are probably gonna like uh, are probably gonna like the the last two parts because they have something to do with Phil. But the one before that is also a, a great look into the the origin story of what made Pastor Eric Miller such a godlike individual. And there, then we get this classic fucking video. Argon bin fluffers who calls themselves detractors. No, not all of you fam. Just the soft boys who took offense to the critical video pointing out broad ass detractors. For those who mentioned me, This never gets old. Having the TTS diss detractors and calling them gay boys is like the best thing. And there was a... It, he also got the TTS to tell people to gargle vaginal cream. Whatever the fuck that means. In my heart. I want to say on behalf of Listen the to this. commentary and the Miller family, eat a dick, gargle with vaginal cream, and for goodness sake, stop your weekly volunteering for prostate exams at the local community college. 
<laughs> and this is, by the way, a confessed coomer. He he admitted he's just a coomer, Sick. which is great. I mean, uh, you that I would even say you owe the Decepticon a view on all of the videos, and you should drop a like just because this dude went the extra mile to watch. I'm not kidding you. Hundreds of hours of Pastor Eric Miller fucking videos. Hundreds. This dude was crazy dedicated putting out this three-part series. Hundreds. And we exchanged voice lines, and I sent him some timestamps for stuff, and he sent me some. Uh, man, uh, it, it's just something. And it was during a DSP time where DSP wasn't going too crazy, unlike now where he's going crazy most of the time. But man. Go, go check that out. There's nothing to be concerned about. It's scumbags making stuff up to try to create drama, and people sadly believe it. And I get it. You guys love Jasper as much as I do. He's a cute guy. He's, He's a cute guy. He's a great part of the content. He's a great part of my life. Is he single? I, said, I, I, think, I think of him like a son. He's a cute guy. I want him to be a healthy... A healthy <laughs> He's like a son. Yeah, and he is, thankfully. He's a healthy cat. Trust me, if there was something wrong with Jasper, we would be at a vet. Probably not that vet that just scammed us, but we would be at a vet or an emergency clinic or whatever it needed to be. In fact, we've done that before. One time we sat at an emergency clinic Bro, for five hours. Manchester United actually Insane. scored a goal. They're you know, winning. I want people to be concerned, but, you know, shit happens. Wow, I can't imagine this, man. People watching the game might be going crazy. Bro, they're winning. So We're back. We're winning the league. Don't entertain nonsense, all right? And I'm going to do my best, okay? to make sure that the nonsense doesn't permeate my streams and my content. And what do I mean by that? If I see someone who's trolling, if I see someone who I know is a sock account, if I see someone who I know is trying- How do you know it's a sock account? Today, gonna... There is no way you can exactly know it's a sock account. Unless you got screenshots of them admitting they're a sock account. I'm gonna moderate and I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna bring any to anyone's attention. I'm not gonna say, oh, fuck you motherfucker in the chat and ban them. I'm just gonna say, ban and buy. And I'm not gonna say a word. Okay. Oh yeah, um, I'm sorry I missed the super chat. Big ups, um, Yona Hual for the super chat. DSP didn't write it because it's only one paragraph. Well, it was... Yes. Actually, yes. Actually, yes. You got a point here. It's only one paragraph. The dude usually writes multiple paragraphs. And he got the... Um, he, he usually has the, the punctuation on point, at least to, to some extent. Because this is... It, it, it kind of looks like it's just one sentence. There's not even a, a full stop anywhere. There's not a period anywhere in sight. There's not a comma. There's not a... a any, anything else. Uh, big ups Methbear who says, Big ups to the Macedonian style meaningful stream. I should just ban you for accusing me of being a Macedonian. And uh, Mr. Matt, did I miss your super chat? How did I do that? I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back in time. Can't miss anything. On the one day, the one day that the TTS girl is having a day off, we're missing stuff. What was your name? Real content. Because I think what happens is I'm gonna I, find yeah, you. I'm gonna old. find out who the fuck you are. I'm coming for you. The rise that people are looking for. Oh, I'm I coming for you. So I'm not gonna give them that satisfaction. I'm just gonna see it. Okay, bye. Bloop. Done. And I continue on. And we don't pay any attention to the nonsense. And I'm gonna say this. I've said it before. I'll say it again. If you see me moderating. Don't ask why someone was moderating. Because number one, it's actually none of your business. It's not your business. It's mine. It's and not your two, business. You're giving attention to the trolls by doing that. That's exactly what they want. They want a discussion over it. Okay? So please understand there's a reason please. why I'm doing things the way I'm doing Please. It. You know, we get please. newcomers who come into the chat all the time. Just the other day there was one. He says, wow, Phil, you know, I'm a newcomer to your content. I can't believe you have 24-hour sub mode on your chat. Do you understand how deterrent that is to newcomers? And I said... I completely agree with you, but you don't know what we've been through. You weren't here for that first month. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I found it, Mr. Matt. I was I was starting to think you're a, a low-key sneak dissing detractor, but I actually found your contribution. I'm sorry that I missed it. Um, big ups for the 499 who says, for Meerkat to get a new cassette for the Lada. The Ladas are, are classic cars at this point, so you're, you're only making me a, a compliment, honestly. But I could definitely use some new cassettes, or at least CDs. Please send me any CDs you got. I came to YouTube to especially an CDs nuts. <laughs> why? Why are you clapping? Why are you clapping? Laughing my ass off. Oh, thanks. Half years ago, and how the trolls came in here with bot accounts and were ridiculously spamming the chat. Bot accounts, apparently. Stuff. 
till we got the sub only mode and the moment we did it put an end to all of it it's much better to have to wait 24 hours and then be able to talk in a nice environment than to have to sit here in a toxic environment ironically if you guys remember from last year he got bought it by somebody just so he could receive a bunch of gifted subs so if anybody is botting phil it's your fans it's not the trolls Ten of the people talking are bot idiots spamming gross stuff so it's the thing people don't bot get it, idiots and that's fine you don't have to get it i've been doing this now for two and a half years full time on youtube i know how it rolls and he himself he admitted he got bought it that's the funniest shit he himself admitted that people were running bots on his stream i kind of know what i'm doing Sorry that things get derailed. Sorry that idiots try to create white noise narratives outside the streams. If you just stay here with me and you chill with me and we have a good time together, none of that shit matters. Don't watch the bullshit periphery around on YouTube. The idiots. Yeah, he had like 2,000 views. I think I was even restreaming it at the time. He got legit 2,000 views. And he stopped everything and he, he turned off the sub only mode so he could figure out who sent the, the, the bots. And he couldn't figure it out because they were legitimately bots. And then people were saying, oh, it's, it's this guy on Twitch. And then it wasn't this guy on Twitch. It was just somebody who was botting him so he could get all the gifted subs that somebody was sending him, which were hundreds of gifted subs. And being toxic. In reality Again, this is recorded on the internet. You can actually go check it out. You can find it out, see what you think about it. You don't have to trust me. You don't have to listen to me. You never have to. None of it should exist, but YouTube allows it. They say, sue those people to stop them. Oh, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be Mr. Frivolous Lawsuit. And I'm Mr. Frivolous Lawsuit. Every idiot on the internet who benefits from making fun of me. No, I'm going to sit here and make good content for my viewers. That's all I care about, okay? Now, there's something else that I want to say, all right? Yeah, it, it was Team Ico Some Gamer with the gifted subs. out to me recently and said, you know, Phil, with all the people on the internet who make fun of you, why don't you give it back to them? Right? What does that mean? In particular, there's one person who just contacted me. How are you going to give it back to them? To basically make fun of Review Tech USA. Who is oh, that's what you mean? Always is on my case, always watches my content to make fun of me, right? We know he's one of the worst people when it comes to let's make fun of Phil and benefit on his misery. We know this, correct? Not really. So they said, why don't you give it back to him? Are you aware that recently he's been in hot water aren't you aware that he's in the same situations that you've been in the past like what learn from your mistakes he's making the same mistakes you did and people are actually saying that he's like you from the past and insulting him in this manner and he's having breakdowns over it i know exactly what he means because i watched the king sly stream about it it's uh it's when review tech usa was supposed to give some money to charity and then people asked them hey phil uh they have rich what happened to this money and he sparked out basically why don't you react to that? Here's a someone actually said, here's a montage. Here's, here's a, a montage. A, a 25 minute montage explaining this whole situation of how he overpromised and underdelivered. That was a very funny segment, by the way. I have to say that. That was very funny. His fans called him the, out. The rich, the rich uh, tweaking out on chat segment. I wish I can find it. I, I think I've shown it in past streams, but let's see. He basically exploded on the fans and insulted them and called them virgins and losers and all of this, right? Why aren't you doing a live react to that right now? Why don't you give it back to Rich, all right? <clears throat> I'll tell you why I don't give it back to Rich. Because I don't care. Because I don't want to sit on the internet and be someone who attacks someone else who benefits off of their own misery. I want nothing to do with it. That's not me. You just want That's quality never, contributions well, and quality content. Me do a, a whole stream where all I'm doing is tearing down someone else. He did a whole debunk stream because pro Jared was caught cheating on his wife and showing his cock on the internet in a Sailor Moon costume. You, you did this entire thing. He took the pro Jared drama and made it about himself. Just so he could capitalize on all the viewers that came from his viral tweet. If you don't believe me, you can just go watch the debunk stream. Because that's exactly how he opens it up. Right? No, I won't do that. Why would I do that? I mean, what I... He feel. didn't even shit on that guy. He shit on the guy on Twitter, got a bunch of likes, and then he made it all about himself. Meaningful content. Okay? And <clears throat> I hope that you guys understand that. Every once in a while, someone brings something up <clears throat> as, as a silly thing. Yeah, I'll take a little joke. I'll make a little joke about Rich sucking a cucumber or whatever, right? A little but joke. I'm not someone who's going to sit here and wallow in someone's misery 
Because to some people on YouTube... Uh, and you can also find the clips of him saying that, in my mind, I'm better than rich. And all those other things. Because, yeah, it's 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 a juicy segment. We're not going to that now because it's way too long. But you know what I mean. When someone we else can is find having it. a bad day, that means it's their payday. It's a good day for them when someone else is miserable. It's a good day because you're a piece of shit and should, you should be miserable. Not me. For me, I wish that everyone would always have a good day. I mean that, too. I everyone, everyone should have a good, good day. Days. What about the detractors? Should I have a good day if my good day relates to DSP being in some kind of drama and being toxic as fuck? I guess so. If everyone should have a good day, then I should have a good day, right? Duty should have a good day. Stuart Hogan should have a good day. Aqua Teal should definitely have a good day. I don't want anyone to have a miserable day, a drama-filled day, a hateful day. I just want everyone a hateful to day. And have a good life. If everyone was happy around me, then no one would want to tear me down anyway because they'd be happy with their lives too, correct? But that's the problem. What? Yeah, it's not happening, so what do you do? You jump <laughs> on the misery of others and you benefit from it, right? <clears throat> that's not me. That's not him. And I don't want to be like that. I don't ever want to be like that. He never did the Rambo and Howard react. That benefited off of them directly. And he claimed that it, it was not monetized because they criticized him on that. But it also was completely monetized. In, in pretty much all ways outside of putting ads on it for extra $5. Uh, in relation to this, because uh, Paul J. Brazel, who says he attacks Rambo and Howard and profits. Three laughing emojis. I wouldn't even say five laughing emojis, because that shit was funny. And he cried at the end, too. Hey, listen, this last couple of weeks, yeah, I stuck it to LTG. Why did he I do stick that? it to LTG? He ridiculously insulted me. My looks, my work ethics, my, the looks of my stream. He insulted everything. He just went off for 10 minutes, completely unsolicited. He had no idea what I had said about him because I had actually said positive things about the guy and had one or two genuine questions about things about his streams. He didn't look at what I said and instead he just believed I had said toxic shit and he sat there for 10 <laughs> minutes trying to destroy me on his stream. <laughs> I have every fucking right to clap back at that, which I did. And I even laid down a nice okay. challenge that would have benefited both of us and he pussied out like everyone knew he would. But and that's implying that he actually cared about you enough to listen to your challenge, which indicated by the fact that he didn't even bother to look at DSP's initial address of, of LTG and accept that, that and it, he didn't do that and instead what he actually did was just read somebody's message in chat now that opportunity's wait why is he full screening now what happened for some reason I don't know why I did that what I was distracted all right an HD bubble blow for you guys then we'll go oh yeah we're doing a right fucking there. bubble blow yeah. An HD bubble blow. Enjoy this, then we're going back to the the goodness. Fantastic. What happened to the bubble guns, by the way? I think I know. It's, um... He got too much bubble juice on his PC, so he just stopped doing them. So those bubble guns, they're just gathering mold somewhere in the closet. Gone. And that's that. I'm done talking about LTG. I'm not going to keep harping on the guy. I don't care about the guy. He's a nobody. He's a fucking insignificant fart in the wind when it comes to content creation. Why do I fucking care about LTG? In fact, I'm going to say it right now, outright. Stop bringing him up in my chats. Stop what? talking about the guy. But he's you talked about the guy first. Entertain anything when it comes to me. He's afraid. Oh, and I, I guess he's afraid. Yes, he's afraid. Just like when Pastor Eric Miller was afraid because I challenged him to a rap battle. He was scared, dude. I never heard back from him. It's almost like he didn't even knew I did it, and I did it just as a gimmick and a joke to try and make this whole thing a little bit more entertaining for everybody. But, uh, yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. He already got completely destroyed by Vizant in 2014. He's so deathly afraid of being utterly destroyed again. Why are we talking about LTG? Anything of any kind of challenge or anything, so don't even waste time. There's a, it's a complete But I, I think it speaks volumes when even a... An, blown out full-blown narcissist like low tier god is ghosting dark side phil i think it speaks a lot for the character of dark side phil i think it 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 says a lot for what he actually embodies and in who he actually is as a person when somebody like low tier god the most narcissistic self-obsessed dude i wouldn't say the most but one of the most on the internet complete waste of everyone's time bringing this is ghosting up, him all right I had enough of people bringing it up because it, it gets nowhere. It just spins wheels and nothing happens. So why spin wheels? So I'm done talking about him, <clears throat> okay? 
I'm not, I don't care about him. Stop bringing him up. I did for admittedly for a couple of weeks there. I razzed him. The opportunity is gone. It's his fault. We move on. It's done. All right. I'm not going to sit here and, and make fun of LTG constantly. I'm not going to sit here and make fun of Rich's misfortunes because he had something going on that's similar to a situation that I had many years ago with Patreon. I, I don't care. I have nothing to do with any of this. I'm here to make my content, my positive content. That's it. You understand? So people are constantly trying to pull me into their shit, right? Well, if we can't make Phil have drama here, let's have Phil create drama there. No, there's no drama. No, really. I mean it. I don't care. I want nothing to do with any of you. <laughs> any of you who want drama, I want nothing to do with you. I'm done with that nonsense. I don't want to hear about anyone. Oh, what about this person talking about you? What about this person? What about that? What about... I don't care. Let them he doesn't care, guys. And jerk each other off until eternity, right? Let them have the biggest drama orgasm all over the Drama you orgasm. Want, you can be as dumb as you want to watch their content. If you so believe it's entertaining, go for it. Melt your brain away and become a zombie watching crap. I don't care. But that's I the thing about watching crap. It's a way that you just get to relax your brain and put something in the background that is fucking stupid. And you shouldn't be in any way like emotionally bothered by it it's just something relaxing that you can do that's that's the great thing about drama crap that's what i like about doing these streams because i can just relax and have a beer and shit talk dark side phil it was really easy to shit talk because he's crazy i'm here to be positive i'm here to enjoy right at the end of the day when you take a look at the body of work that someone's put out on youtube okay you're gonna look at all the content i've put out and i wow Phil's okay put out so many playthroughs Phil's done a body of work with podcasts. He's done game reviews. A body of work with podcasts. React projects he's done. And he deleted like half of them. All this. And you can, go and back you can only find those, like I mentioned earlier, on Spotify because a troll uploaded them. Watch, and it's all meaningful content. It's or all meaningful. Also, the term meaningful is incredibly insignificant and uh, subjective. Watch someone who is, as drama, always, some drama guy making fun of people all day. Okay, so that's fun. The Are question, they worth making fun of? Are they really good at making fun of? Like Dark Side Phil? Is there enough material you can actually do that for? Yeah. Why not? Go for it. Is it's not. It's when FouseyTube, by the way, those of you who know FouseyTube, they know he, he that dude has. Uh, uh, a yearly meltdown once a year and then everybody is like hey guys Fousey tube exists again because he's having a meltdown that's crazy let's go watch that video and then he just vanishes and does whatever else for the rest of the year pertinent in the moment once that becomes old news none of it matters anymore you know a few months ago the hottest thing to do is make fun of dk oldies or the hottest thing to do is to make fun of this particular person on the internet but that all it's all waning it passes none of it's pertinent anymore so once you okay. get immediate attention for the drama, it goes away. Yeah, but there, then there's somebody else who did something stupid on the internet, and you can just talk about that. My content is universal. You can watch it's a playthrough universal. I did You can watch a playthrough I did it's yesterday. It's timeless. A review I did five years ago. You can watch a stream I did ten years ago. But it's all still pertinent. Isn't that the same thing with Tevin streams? You can go watch a Tevin stream for, from 2018 when DSP is talking to Cat and they're super awkward and you can still enjoy that. It's timeless content. You can watch a, a duty clip from like two years ago and it's still going to be a clip of DSP. It's all still fun. You can still yeah, it's, it's all still fun. You can still laugh. You're not saying, what the fuck is that that he's talking about? I don't understand the reference. Yeah, because it was drama content for that day. You're not going to understand the reference years later. That's a really bad. That's that. That's a really bad argument, DSP. It really doesn't make any sense, dude. Playthrough, you will. Nah. You see the difference? Cause like I, I watch the Tevin stream about the wedding probably like twice a year, and it's always it always hits as good as it did the first time. Cause it's just such a hilarious fucking stream. Full versus bullshit. My stuff will stand the test of time. People will be watching my content for years to come. If I disappeared from the planet today, okay, you'd still have meaningful dark side filled content to watch. Wow, that's right? um, if drama yeah. Drama disappeared today. Nothing would change. The planet would be exactly the same. You know, no one would miss it because all they're doing is making content for the day, and none of it. And you would never watch their body of work. Who would the fuck would want to watch a drama video from one of these guys from ten years ago? No one cares. This is the anything. this is the wedding stream, by the way. From uh, 14th of April, 2019. You see this quality stream from the Tevin Archives channel. 
And it starts out with the Andy Warsky video of Stay the Fuck Back. That's fucking classic. Why wouldn't you go back and rewatch this? And it's five hours of content. And that's the difference. Even though I'm small time, even though I'm 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 a, I'm a little a little you know, little guy, I'm grateful that you guys keep me pertinent. You guys allow me to. I do have that. actually done a stream of that. I'm not sure if I did the the Tevin stream stream or of the actual wedding thing, but I did it. I I remember. I was playing Ken of Bridge of Spirits or something. And you ignore the background the and the bullshit. Thank you for that. This Thank week. You. Could have been a really stupid week of everyone constantly derailing and instead it was a great week everyone enjoyed the stuff i was so pleased with how this week went really it could have went way worse and it was so nice and i was very happy with how this week went oh man look at this uh this cat on his deathbed sitting on my my lap right now oh my goodness he's <laughs> he's so bad off guys let's rush him right now for a blood test oh man we got to get him out the door right now wow Really debilitating disease and, and you know, horrible things going on. Is that out. supposed to be some kind of an argument? Because, I mean, DSP doesn't look like he's in peak health. <laughs> but he brags about it constantly, how he's eating healthy and he's lost a ton of weight. And people are telling him he's beautiful. <laughs> I guess take that, you dirty trolls. Anyway. <clears throat> so, thank you all for that. And I, I wanted to open the show with that today. Because I felt like that was very pertinent to do. Because Very pertinent. Talk about the drama first. The nonsense. Okay, and we don't have to talk about it anymore. All right, and understand that's why I don't. It talk gives about you a. What I'm saying. It gives you a kickstart to the podcast when you talk about the drama first instead of baiting people and eventually talking about the drama. Um, I I don't bother with this bullshit. I don't. Why would I bother with bullshit? There's no reason to bother with bullshit. We have important things to do. We're backlogged on things to do. We're right? backlogged. So let's talk about those things that we have to do. Why Shit. do we spend 35 minutes talking about the trolls when we're backlogged on things to do? Shall we? Jasper, you're a nut. He's it's what a troll would ask really and then get banned. <laughs> Jasper. Purr into the mic. Let's hear them. Purr into the mic. Go ahead. Purr into the mic. Yeah, purr into it? the mic, Jasper. He's not doing it, dude. He's not you doing curse? it. No, if, if he did it, we would actually hear it. Because we can hear the air conditioning working in the background. And we can sometimes hear Cat talking to DSP when he poured water all over themselves because he's a child. If we can't hear Jasper purring on the microphone, he's not purring. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you can't hear it too low? Oh, all right. All right, buddy. <clears throat> Onto the floor. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> let us now... Get to the pertinent stuff, shall we? Now that we've gotten the baloney out of the way. Oh, yeah, that right. baloney. So, so here's what I will that say. bullshit. Okay? If you like the content I put out, please support it. If you like the fact that I'm now dabbling in a mini PC for more variety of content, please support those streams. Okay? And we end this entire segment ranting about the trolls by begging for money. And I know. That a bag is not always exclusively for money. It's also for likes, comments, and subscriptions. But when he begs, you know what he actually means. Because you, you can't live off likes on YouTube videos. You really can't. Even if all of his videos got a thousand likes and he got zero, zero super chats and tips, not very positive. If you I don't like think it is. I'm upgrading my setup to play fighting games at a better capacity, that I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat 1 against a bigger player base now and i vested in a better joystick if you like all that because you like the content please support it today i'm doing street fighter support the stream please do oh yeah thanks uh sonic for actually bringing up the the clip of um dsp spilling water on himself and then uh talking to cat which uh an interesting reference i would give is the taken else channel taken else is it gonna show up of course it's gonna show up it's like the best channel on the planet which uh, I totally would send you out to subscribe to if I was a dang dirty detractor troll and I was toxic as fuck, which I'm definitely not. But what they did, and a specific person that goes by the name of Logan, I don't, I don't even know, I just know Hogan. But what they did is at some point they analyzed that clip like the damn dirty detractors they are. Disgusting detractors. Worthless humans. Insignificant humans. And... Uh, what this Logan human being did was apparently he analyzed uh, the, the clip and he did a bunch of um, sound enhancements 
to it, or whatever those stupid fucking no life detractors do, and they figured out what Cat said. But uh, I I don't know if I can find it right now. Hopefully I I will. Was it five months ago? Was it that long ago? It wasn't. It wasn't. Well, I can't find it exactly. But um, I don't know, bro. Where did they actually do it? So, anyways, I'm sure they help did it. I just need to, to find off. it. What Logan, I just, help you know, me out. Pay, well, not pay off because I did pay it, but help me to essentially earn back what I just paid for all this equipment, okay? That's all I'm saying. Support the content that you like, and don't support it if you don't like it. If you don't like fighting games, then ignore it, and that's fine. If you like something else I'm doing, come and support that, all right? But that's all I'm saying. Absolutely no one is sitting here. Oh, restoration. Was that? You know who's demanding stuff? My haters. Because they're the ones who want to say that I'm saying... Oh, yes, there it is. Thing. There it is. Thank you, uh, Tim Snake. You know what I'm talking about. You see, there's the power of science when they actually did it. Uh, but hold on, let's actually find where it is. It should be here somewhere. Or that damn dirty troll. For having such good, like, selective amplification here. To actually hear it. But I'm gonna drop a marker right here. Oh yeah, you can hear it. Oh god damn it, the noise reducer hit it. But it's right here. So you can go hear this uh, CSI level material with pure science. If you want to find out what cat actually, really, really said in real life. And this is the last uh, documented footage of cat actually existing that we have on this planet. There's no other footage of cat. After this one, create a narrative that doesn't exist. You know, there's no big ups, uh, right Manchester now. United for actually winning a game marathon in what three, four years. This is all nonsense. Don't believe the nonsense. And I, I feel bad when people are contacting me saying, I'm so, I'm so afraid for your cat. I'm like, what are you talking about? This happened with several people overnight. I'm like, <laughs> I'm so afraid of your cat. <laughs> this is ridiculous nonsense that people are spreading, people are believing it, and it's really mad. Bill, up, so. I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm terrified, man. Jasper is dying, man. Jasper's dying. Listen. Poor Jasper. Do it, okay? All right. Jasper, now, help. It's time to get to business, all right? Um, you may have noticed we had a big dip in members. <laughs> we had a big dip in members because was, this is getting to business. A big Honestly, I prefer the troll talk. Membership bomb last month, it expired. Okay? Member, all right? So, please consider for stuff like that you'll see it go up again and then it'll slow down it'll go down again it's not a huge deal all right and we're uh, <laughs> we're zooming into vladdy daddy's face getting a pov shot of Vlad troll memberships i really appreciate that he's trying to derail europe you guys that fucking idiot should get banned in real life uh what was another uh, really cool segment of him bitching about stuff? Oh yeah, he, he pre-registered for some random mobile game. The hate army troll. It's high army. It's high army. Yes. I won that hype. I won the... I want to have an intro by the, the marked one. I, I need that intro. Several years ago. You're just too good, man. I need that intro. That with the release of Final Fantasy VII Remake, that there was also going to be spinoff games. What happened to them? Well, one of them's finally coming out. It's called Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Yo, Logan actually sent me the, the link to the video. Big ups, Logan. He actually did it. So uh, thanks, Chad, and thanks, Logan, for pointing me in the right direction. I mean the wrong one, where all the, the slanderous trolls are. It's going to be released the fucking idiots, iOS man. And Android September 7th. September 7th. 7th. Do you understand the significance of that? No. It was also the release date of Final Fantasy VII. Oh, wow. Back in the 19th. It's wild. September 7th. So it's weird that it's also come, this game is also coming out September 7th. It also sounds like Chill Murray 7. What is which it? Which I, I don't know who that is. Chill Murray 7? I actually don't know. I just know Chill Murray 6. What is 7? I don't know what the game is. I might what? check it out just to see what it is. It's a mobile game coming out on September 7th, and I might give it a shot and let you guys know, you know what it is and how it plays. Um, Why does he care so much what? about... I don't know if it's an RPG. Hold on, hold on. Is he begging? Do we have a begging segment live? All day. I just want to enjoy the game with you guys, so I think that's what we're going to do. Okay? Uh, he's telling me... Oh, no, we're not begging. You know, who knows? If it's a mobile game, you know it's some bullshit. 
where you guys spend a ton of money to fucking play it, right? It'll be free to play, and you'll be able to play it for like 20 hours free, and then all of a sudden you'll hit a wall and you can't have any fun unless you dump $500 on the oh, game. Oh, right, right. Chill Murray 7 is right before Chill Murray 8. I forgot about it, dude. Because I'm already on like Chill Murray 10. That's literally what it is. That's what all these... I've been leveling up my, my Chill Murray cards. He's like a six-star Chill Murray 8. <clears throat> it's a new release. It just came out. I spent crazy for it. And go from there. Okay? So, I'll let you know, but September 7th... Mark on the on the game Detractor Champions. And, uh... I you guys are ne never gonna guess w which character is in that game. The champ is here. Yes! I got the six-star Derek. Likely try it out. With a special skill, harass. When I use the special skill, harass, it applies to all of the cam girl cards in the game. And it harasses them. And it, it takes all their damage down. Although, let me see. It just floods the entire game with just with just spam actions. And up for it, ahead of it time kills time. them. It destroys them. To check yesterday. Let's see. It, is, it, it really is OP. But I had to spend a lot for it. And I had to level it up a lot. It's early. <clears throat> Coming soon. Here it is. Coming soon. There you go. Sign up for it, please. 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 All right. So please. I just signed up. Please. For the pre-order thing. So what ends up happening is, the I'll, I'll be notified. Um. I'll be notified when it's coming out. It's supposed to be September seventh, for like a pre-download or whatever, and uh, <clears throat> I'll probably check it out to let you guys know what the game is. Okay. There you go. Well, he's going to give us an update on a mobile game. So every day we're getting closer to DSP actually streaming himself playing mobile games. Which, man, that, that's going to be interesting. But I, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Because it sounds like something the, those, those disgusting troll slandering individuals would say that would happen. Then it doesn't happen because Phil made it not happen because the trolls are saying that it will happen. So he had to prove them wrong. Um, Snort Hogan is next. Let's scour that channel for for viewable content. Uh, yeah, he did watch the the, the King Cobra Bogrito video. That is gross. Woke company is dropping him. Yeah, that's from yesterday. We got the the tear maker segment when he's asking people to make a tear maker for him. The Comcast thing. I don't think I've watched this, but we, we talked about this on, on TBS. I, I don't know if I want to watch this. Because it's like 34 minutes. I know. I know. We're going to be talking about stuff. We're going to get super derailed. I don't know if it's worth it, but let's let's give it a shot. Let's let's shoot to kill. Well, let me tell you something, brother. You know, upload and download and all of that at the good speeds, I would never be able to be a full-time content creator, right? So, oh yeah, where's the I review tech meltdown? I couldn't actually find it. Hold on. Lines here at my house. All right, one line I have literally right here in the office, right next to me, and this line is 100% for everything that I do, uploading and downloading on streams. Period. That's what it's for. I literally use it for nothing else. Okay, so that one has the faster speeds. It's got, you know, the higher capacity. It's the more yeah, here it is. Here it is. I have a set here it is. The Review Tech USA meltdown. Before we get into the two lines of internet and we get all tangled up in cables and we get all tangled up in services and phone calls and chat bots. There, I, I've relieved your stress. Let's see this one. Is it here? His next stream when he came. Hold on. Um I don't actually know what to look up. Uh even if they've been around for a couple of years, I've checked the accounts. Um, have a good night, Mari, by the way. I see you. I, I just saw that now. Here we go. It seems this... like it's a fucking pity party, okay? Mm -mm. That's what I'm going to say, man. If you think that... I have... I, I'm not even going to bring it up because I don't want it to seem like it's a fucking pity party, okay? When I did those promises, it was pre a lot of shit that happened in my life. Yeah, and he promised to do the fight, and he amped up the fight. He was bit. He was all oh, quarterings of punk. He was all pedophiles in the world. Why come? What? 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 Just 
do what you promised. <laughs> why are you? What? That's not even the same. Of course, I'm fucking muted. Oh yeah, oh. here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. I'm about the promises that he owed, and now he's mad. Shout out to King Sly, because this is the only way I could find this actual moment. Even though I I found the stream, but I couldn't find this moment. Maybe I'm just stupid, but shout out to King Sly anyways. That people were pressing him, and he said that you shouldn't be mad that he didn't do it because there's pedophiles in the world. Caught up. Here, just so you could, so you could see it. Just yeah. so you could fucking see it. You fucking brain-dead, loser, virgin, fucking retards. Whoa. You have nothing else better to do. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Brain <laughs> Who says bang? Bang. Bang. Where'd it go? Bang. 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 Look at him. Go fuck a fleshlight, Ryan Hot. Here it is. You wow. see it? You see it? Cussing the people out there gave you money. You see it? Look, he threw, he threw the, threw the mic and all shit, I'm doxing myself. I've been doxed a billion fucking times. So that was it, basically. Line in my house. That was the interesting part. Anyways, let's go back to something even more interesting. Dark side fills fucking internet. Stairs. That one is the wireless setting. The, the wireless. Is Shout out to the wireless. My cell phone connected to it. My wife's cell phone connected to it. Our TV downstairs wirelessly connected to it. Um, game consoles and the like that are using wireless are connected to that one downstairs. So that way, this con this this modem is solely for uploading, downloading, and playing games online. And anything else we do in this house is on the other modem. That way they don't interfere. You'll never have, oh, because my wife turned on the TV downstairs or whatever. Oops, now the internet is affected and stuff like that. Okay? It's been like that forever. Nine years I've lived here in this home because... That's the best way to do it. Now, here's the really weird thing about this. When I moved out here nine years ago, all right, I was told by my internet company, there is no way that you can have two internet lines on one account. Why doesn't what? that make sense? What, what, why? And I've never in the nine years that I've been with this company. Because that's how their system works, I guess. Of you can only have one. No valid explanation whatsoever as to why. So I need to have... Because that's what their company offers. That's their terms. If you want to agree to the terms, then you're going to agree to having whatever that condition is and just go with it. Or you can look for a different company. If you're, you're not... If, if you're butthurt about it, wow. you can just look for a different company. That's fair enough. Counts with this company in order to do that. Okay? It makes no sense at all. At all. And yes, I have to pay two separate internet lines. I can't just have one bundled line. It's two separate accounts and all of that. Okay? Well, they don't do that, I guess. Now, for the time that I've been with this company, the way that they deal with stuff is they do bundles. Three-year bundles of service. What does that mean? Well, it means that if you get multiple services, you save money, and they sign you into a three-year agreement to lock into a certain price. My guy... Bella, you pay hundreds of dollars for internet. You're not really saving a lot of money when you actually think about it. He paid like, what, $300, $400 a month on internet? Really? You, you couldn't get a cheaper plan and maybe get, I don't know, two different companies to run internet through your house so you can have one dedicated line for your whole streaming business and one line for your personal stuff? It, is that too... Is that too crazy? I don't know, man. I'm feeling stupid right now. Because, like, anybody I know pays less than 100 euros. Let's say 100, $100, let's say it. And that's being generous. Three-year agreement is up. You have to renegotiate with the company to get the best price for the best value and also the services you need, okay? When I first moved in here nine years ago, okay, things were a lot different. Back then... You couldn't even really get any of these on-demand subscription internet-based TV services. They weren't prominent nine years ago. They were just starting. Internet-based um, TV so services. At that point, I still had cable TV, if you can believe it. Yeah, I still had two different cable lines going through my house. One was going to my bedroom, and one was going to my living room downstairs. Maybe it really is different in the U.S. I, I, I'll, 
of course, honestly, I don't know how it works in the U.S., but I'm sure he got a better offer. He got something better to do, a, a, a better package that he can find, even in, in Comcast. And this is also a very good uh, screenshot. If you want to screenshot this right now, go ahead, because this is a good face. Boxes, yes, all that old legacy tech I had. Legacy all, tech. Okay. And that was my first agreement that I had with this company. For three years, I had two internet lines, an actual home phone line, separate from like my cell phones and stuff, but a separate home phone line, plus Why? two cable TV lines. So I had a lot of service coming into this house from this company. All right. What's happened is <clears throat> over the last nine years, I have phased out a lot of these services. First of all, the first thing to go, the TVs are not needed. The cable TV is so out. expensive. I'm not kidding. Throw out I the cable. It. it was I was paying like eighty to ninety dollars a month for it. What the holy hell do they think they're doing? Ninety dollars a month for cable TV. You can get like four different subscription services over the internet. Okay, but why why did you agree to that in the first place? I know he said that back then you didn't have the options you do now, but are, were you really watching cable? That's insane. DSP, why? the guy who has like a million Blu-rays? What I do the cable TV? Mm, I don't know, man. That's just insane. So that was the first thing that I cut. I was like, that is a huge waste of money. And I cut that right out of there. Um, over the years, I, you know, I tried my best to phase things in and out. One of the things that was always really silly was the way that this house was set up. Because when I was, when I, nine years ago, when I moved into this house, I was told, oh, well, for you to have all this service in your house, your house isn't equipped for it. So we need to equip, we have to install all this extra equipment to get your house to work with all this equipment. But Why did you buy this house then? You didn't have any other houses in the Seattle area and Washington that you could have bought and had a much easier time? The answer is he didn't research stuff. He just went there and was like, well, I like the house. I'm buying it. Because back then he could just say I'm buying it for everything, and he did, and that's where that's why he is where he is now. The thing is, over the years I've been phasing out all the service. The only you know real service I need in this house right now is the two internet lines. That's it. Okay. So why am I telling you all of this? Well, I got no clue because this is my nine actually I do here in this house, and so I was starting up essentially um, a new contract with. My internet company. So I had to call. Well, I take that back. I could have called, but I decided to do the chat. I did the, the online chat where you just go connect to an agent. And basically this was about, I want to say two weeks ago. I think it was about two weeks ago where it was my day off. And here's the thing, because you guys might say, Phil, why don't you do this kind of stuff on, on your days when you're working? All right. I'm going to tell you exactly why. Because right? they call it the wrong time when he's working, and my wife you idiots. Ready for us to go out for the day. So I said, all right, I got a little bit of time. She's getting ready. She's putting on her makeup and all of that. It's going to take a while. Let me go into the office and let me try to set up the renewal of all the contracts and all of that for the next three years. Let me do it. So I go into, you know, the chat and I'm talking with this agent, okay? And every time I do this, it's I get told different things. Oh, the service is improved. You can get this better one. You could do this. You could do this. They try to upsell you. Oh, well, you bundle this in with this and this. No, I like my things how they are. I'm going to keep it how they are. But what if you bundle this? No, 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 no. I, I just told you. I don't want that. They try to upsell the shit out of you. because they make You don't want it to be money. better? Okay, if they bundle all their stuff together, they make an insane amount of... Uh, yeah, maybe they had better offers than they did nine years ago. Why, why didn't you try and explore and research the possibilities of how you can get better internet for less price or at least a better package? I'm trying to upsell you. So, I so, shit you not. Okay. This is going to be great, you guys. Two weeks ago, it took me almost two hours. hours. I'm not exaggerating two fucking hours in a chat to work with an agent or customer service rep to renegotiate my contracts to get into new three-year agreements to sign those agreements and to get everything set up okay two fucking hours one of the things that really sucks about you why didn't you just go to their office instead and it could have been probably done in like less than an hour yeah. the good news is when you use a chat a lot of times you don't have to wait or they don't have an office phone. i don't know i've ever called this company i'm waiting 45 minutes before i speak with a human Okay, they just it's always been like that. But if I get in the chat, 
I can usually talk to them right away. But here's the catch. When you're in a chat, you type them something, they can take 10 minutes to respond. Okay, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? You well, chat? being in chat is a privilege. That is, is just how it is. Chatting with somebody for them to do a service for you, that's a privilege. And don't. You're picking your ass. You're talking to your friends there in the office. If you don't want to do that, you can just go to their office or call them. Why aren't you answering me? But they take their sweet time. There's nothing you can do. And uh, they also service multiple people at once. Got to wait for the response, right? It's not like on the phone. We're like, hello, are you there? Hello, I'm right here. Why aren't you talking to me? Right? So, yeah, like, I'm not kidding. Two hours. Now, the good news is I renewed both internet lines for three years. One of my internet lines for free is getting an upgrade to be faster. Awesome. I mean, it's just standard now that you would have this faster speed. Another like, win for Darkseid, Phil. For Yet another one. Negotiations. All the trolls were saying that his internet's gonna be worse. Get banned. Okay. My actual You're price wrong. on the internet is going down for the first year, and then it goes slightly up year two, and then year three, it goes to basically what I'm paying now anyway. So basically, with this renegotiation, a lot of stuff is, is decreasing in price. That's great. I'm gonna save some money for a couple of years, right? Sounds good. Um... But, a couple things, uh, one of the things is they're going to basically come out and uninstall a lot of the old shit that I don't use anymore. That is just kind of sitting around. They're going to uninstall. Wires, old splitters, all kinds of old equipment and shit needs to be removed from the house, okay? So, basically what they say is, they want to have <laughs> a tech come out. Okay. To uninstall the junk, to check on the equipment, possibly upgrade the existing equipment, if possible, and to run the new software settings or whatever so I get the better speed. And I was like, so someone really has to come out here to do that? They're like, yes. Like, All right, fine. Let's do it. So I wanted to do it as soon as possible. And the soonest I could have got them out here was yesterday. Okay? <clears throat> now, keep in mind, this was almost two weeks ago when I scheduled all of this. The earliest day they could get someone come out here was yesterday. All right? So I knew that I was going to have to have an interruption during a stream. And there was The interruption. Right? And I was assured it wouldn't be a large interruption. Oh, this will take like 20 minutes is what they said. All right, whatever you say. I know that's bullshit, but whatever you say, okay? So where we left it is renewing my internet contracts. I'm going to actually save money this time. The, the price is going down and then just going to equivalent to what it is now already. So I'm not increasing my price. I'm locking into my service for three years. Everything's good. Okay, okay? good. He's so locked in. Out here. Signed a new contract with Comcast. I'm taking my uh, my talents to South Beach and I'm joining Comcast. Whatever. Um, awesome. To new stuff and that's that. All that right, was the great. announcement. This sounds good to me. All right. They signed up the contract. They took a photo of him. They posted on Twitter. Dark side Phil has signed a contract with Comcast. Then it got like tens of millions of views so and likes. Well and good. We're good to go. A week went passed. viral. All of a sudden, I get an automated message from the company, a text message. Oh, you now have a second appointment set up. Uh oh. For another install. What? Next week. <clears throat> what? What but are they talking it. about? Why do I automatically have an appointment? I only have two lines. Next week. I never spoke with anyone about this. No one ran it by me. No one made sure that I was available that date and time. Why am I getting an automatic appo second appointment? What the hell? Because you got two lines. Now, once again, I knew. I absolutely knew. I don't I think it's a, it's a pretty ordinary thing to have two lines of internet. So it, it might have been weird for them, too. It's like, weird. wait, what? This guy has two lines? Um, Give him two appointments, I guess. Or at least that was probably like an automated system that did this. And it just saw, wait, this guy has two lines? Well, two appointments. It'd be a major pain in my ass. He, so legitimately, that's a, that's a really good narcissistic trait. When you always expect preferential treatment to everybody else, they need to treat you special. They should have cared about how many lines of internet I have. And they should have cared about when they put my appointments. So, obviously, I'm not at work then. He did until my day off again this week to deal with it. I knew if I tried to call or talk to someone during a work day, I wouldn't have time to do it. I told you, it took two hours. And he waited days to actually reach out and tell him that he wants just one appointment. He took days because he knew what was going to happen. For me to sign up. He saw the future. So I knew if I call, he knew. it's not going to work during a work day. I got a stream, right? He predicted the so future. You see, he's clairvoyant. It took my day off. So a few days ago, it's my day off again. And, you know, my wife again is getting ready to go out. All right, I'll deal with it now. <clears throat> okay. So this time around, I go to do the chat and it says no chat agents are available today. Well, what? No chat agents are available today to chat with you. You have to call us. What yeah. What is that? Why? Well, that's stupid. 
They're supposed to be there 24 seven and no chat agents are available. Maybe they just banned him because he was taking too long and he was writing paragraphs to people and he was being a very obnoxious. So they just banned him and they blacklisted him from being able to use the bot. Maybe, I don't know. All right. <clears throat> so I have Because of call. course this story is from the mind of dark side Phil. And all of the information and all of the experiences that go inside of the mind of Darkseid Phil come out twisted in the way that Darkseid Phil wants to twist it. Already it's a huge hassle. You see? So this story is just from a unreliable narrator, basically. Cool. And I put my information in. Of course, none of the options in the menu are like talking about, oh, you have a second installation appointment for no reason. You don't know why and you want to talk to someone about it. Of course, there's no menu option for that. So you're fucking around with the automated menu trying to figure out, put me somewhere to talk to somebody. And I'm not kidding. I had to go wait on hold 25 minutes and the phone hung up on me. Couldn't have happened not to a better kidding. guy. Okay, to say the least. That really pissed me off. I pissed so him I off. Again, and Made him angry. To a rep. It probably, I'm not kidding. It probably took me about 45 minutes to finally get a rep on the line. I talked to his, now this is a sales rep. I explained the situation. And the sales rep says, well, yes, I see in the system you have one appointment for your first date, which was yesterday, but you have another appointment for next week. I said, I never made that appointment. I don't even know what that appointment's for. I need to talk to someone about this and figure out what is going on. All right, well, we don't deal with that. We're going to have to forward you to the booking department, and they'll talk to you about it. All right? All right, fine, whatever. So they forward <laughs> you. I'm just imagining him sitting there on his little iPhone 6S, Tapping buttons. Press 1 if you need customer support. Press 2 to pull JPEGs. Oh man, what do I press? I don't know, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're fucking wasting my fucking time. Uh, I guess I'm gonna press 1? Press 1 if you want to be connected to an actual human being. Press 2 if you want to pull JPEGs. Oh my god! What do I do, man? Oh my god. Then he got connected and they're like, well, I, I can't help you, Mr. Uh, Darkseid. I guess you gotta... Talk to our internal booking department. You know, a woman picks up, incredibly heavy accent. Incredibly heavy accent. That's a, a detail that we all have to know because people with heavy accents are, are stupid by default. They're not only stupid, they're incompetent in doing any kind of work they've been hired to do because they have a heavy accent, which means they are foreign, which means they're not as good as Phil, obviously. So you know this is not in the United States. This is Even though he is a quarter Italian, and he doesn't really have a heavy Italian accent, if you've noticed it. He has a very heavy uh, Pig Rochian accent. Call center somewhere, okay? When you get to a call center somewhere, you know that they have no ability to help you. I'm sorry, it's just a case. You get forwarded to a call center. Call centers mean they just sit there, they read a script. And if this, you go off the script, they can't help you. Okay. Well, bro, you got two lines of internet in your house. You are going off the script by default. You need special help. Like, actually, you need help from a professional. So, I'm at a, talking to some woman in a call center, and she says, okay, here's what happened. You have two accounts. So, when you initially did that two-hour conversation with the sales rep to renew your contract, he put up the installation appointment for one of your accounts. But you need two installation appointments because you have two accounts. Yes. Well, and I said... No, Doesn't that make sense? I don't. Yes, you do. You got two lines of internet that count as one account each. What is so hard to grasp about this? I'm going to have one appointment where one tech will come out here and do all of the work. I'm not going to do two appointments for you because you don't know how to run your company. I'm going to have one appointment. It's that simple. Oh, not man. Simple. Imagine being somebody on a, on a call center or having to deal with people like this all day. That's a tough job to begin with. And then you have dark side Phil come in. And he thinks he's royalty because... Of course, he is the king of hate. So you, you gotta treat him differently. He introduces himself as like, hello, it's uh, uh, my name is Phil Burnell. I represent a company called Burnell Productions. You also might have heard about me as uh, the king of hate, which was uh, a defunct moniker. I don't go by that anymore, but you can call me the king if you want to. So uh, I would like to have only one appointment. And uh, if, if you say no, I would like to speak to the manager. Sound good? With you. We're gonna have one appointment and it's all gonna happen. And this woman, her her brain proceeded to melt through her ears, all over her shoulders. He heard this through the phone, by the way. He knew this on the phone. Because she probably had never heard something By like speaking that. a person on the phone. <laughs> yeah, because people don't she do this, no Phil. no idea what to do. <clears throat> they don't get themselves in a commitment where you need to pay $400 per month on internet. It's, it's, you're a unicorn for them. It's like, wait... 
she probably took her headset off and told to the person next to her. I was like, wait, this dude, this dude got two lines of internet in his house. Do you know how much this motherfucker is paying? He's paying like 400 bucks a month. Shit is crazy. I don't know what to do. It's not in my flow chart. It's not in my script. What do I do? Okay. She couldn't change the appointment. She had no... I said, well, can I talk to your supervisor? Can you forward me to another department? Yeah, can I she talk to the manager, no please? What to do. She literally admitted to me on the phone. Yes. I have no clue. All I do is read a script. I don't know what to do at all. Yes, they admitted this on the phone. Something that can get you in trouble if you work in a call center. They admitted this on the phone, of course. But uh, I believe him because it's DSP. He's honest, everybody. He's just telling you what happened, according to him. Help me in any way. Which is the asterisk in this whole equation. Oh. It's a variable. No, there's nothing I can do. I have no, all I can do is reschedule appointments. So if you want to change the dates and times of these appointments, I can do that. But outside of that, I can't help you with only having one appointment. Like, there's no way to do that. The system doesn't allow for it. There's no supervisor she has that can interject or help. She has no one to go to. She just sits there and does this all day at a call center and has no power to do anything. Okay. Why are we looking down on those people that are trying to help you, but they can't because you're in a very specific situation that doesn't happen to anybody else because you're dark side filth? And I'm like, oh, that's Why is this woman at fault with a heavy accent? She's probably having it hard enough having to work at a call center dealing with people like this all day. Dang. Okay, so what do we do now? And she's like, well, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, well, she said, I want, oh, here's what I want to do. I want to send you back to sales. You want to send me back to the sales department. And the thing with DSP is when he, when he talks to the manager, right? Like the manager at the vet clinic, he doesn't want to get help. He wants you to also pay for what you've done by making him feel ignored and by making him feel uh, lesser. You see? So he wants you punished. So if he talked to the manager, he would definitely bring out the fact that the woman with a heavy accent, she couldn't help him at all. So she's not a good worker, you guys. Hint, hint. That you, I, should, you should ban her from the call center. 45 minutes to talk to and couldn't help me and directed me to... He's acting like he's the CEO of fucking Microsoft or something. Okay. So she tried and said oh i can't get sales on the line i said no kidding it took me 45 minutes to get them on the line what makes you think you think you're gonna yeah get um actually uh profit was on that being said one time where we talked about dsp's internet in excruciating detail so you can go check that out or you can just go check out profit's videos i'm sure he made a video about this exposing the dsp network scam because uh the guy knows what he's talking about so literally she lied to me she had no idea what she was doing i don't mean dsp she lied to me and said someone will follow up with me no one followed up with me nobody okay. followed yeah. up so they I forgot about him was i contacted the social media team for my company and i explained the whole situation i said this is the stupidest thing ever you guys don't know how to run your company they agreed with me that's what he said he jumped on the phone Hello, Comcast management. Is this the CEO of Comcast on the phone? Um, you're a fucking idiot. You're a dunce. You don't know how to run a company. Um, uh, please uh, drop some gifted subs. And thank you in advance. And then they, they all agreed with him. They were even clapping on the phone. It was the whole boardroom of Comcast. They were just clapping. They were applauding DSP. Very nice. Uh, big up slogan, I think you're very correct. He doesn't care about solving the problems, he just wants to humiliate someone into a public apology he can gloat about. Because this is where this smug face comes from. This is where this smug face comes from. Somebody told him, yes, Mr. Brunel, I'm sorry, we're gonna fire that woman with a heavy accent, because she's just, she's just super incompetent, and she doesn't deserve to be in a company serving the dark side Phil, the king of hate. They said, this makes no sense. One person should be coming out to do all the work. So what they said they were going to do was notate in the account everything going on, okay? When the tech came out, you know, if they needed to interject, they were going to try or whatever. And basically, they were going to try to figure all this out. Okay, good for you, right? Whatever you say. So knowing that basically all this meant nothing and I had wasted all that time. So again, that was probably another 90 minutes to two hours again on my day off. He wasted, wasted. all this valuable time. He could have been eating burgers and shopping at Costco. He wasted all this time by dealing with adult stuff that adults have to deal with. You're all this out. Is anything going to come of it, right? So now fast forward to yesterday. Because I mean, everybody has to deal with shit like this on a consistent basis, man. Companies sometimes don't do a good job. You need to call them. You need to figure out what's up. 
but nobody, I wouldn't say nobody, but very few people make such a big deal out of it as DSP. My first appointment for an install, all right, is supposed to be yesterday between 12 and 2. But I don't know when they're showing up. They could show up at 12. They could show up at 2. Okay. They could show up any time in between. What more do you they're want? They're like five minutes out. Yeah, but you're at home, right? You're at home. So now you know why yesterday I had no idea what to tell you guys was going to happen during the stream. Okay. I had no clue. For anybody else, any other streamer, this could have been as short as telling you that he needs to leave the stream for a little bit. I'll be right back, you guys. We're going to continue on with the content. I'll be right back. So while I'm getting some people checking up my internet. That's it. That's it, man. It's so simple. It's so simple. People don't even think about this. It's just a normal hurdle people have to jump through. Basement matches for rank. Because this is also the guy that talks about how adulthood is hard and you have to deal with shit like this. And then he has to deal with shit like this and he cries about it for 35 minutes. This segment is 35 minutes long. And this is just one of the segments. Because this is not the last time he brings this up or talks about it. I get a text. Oh, they're, they're five minutes out. They're going to be here. Oh, great. Right? So, basically, I hurried through my Honda placement matches. I had to quit, cut the stream short because the guy was at the gate. I'm not even kidding. Like, he was here. Okay. Right. What's the code? So the guy shows up. I'm asking for a friend. Him, and I explain the situation. He goes, this is not the first time I've heard this. This will not be the last time I've heard this. This is incredibly dumb. I agree with you. First of all, you shouldn't need to have two accounts for two internet lines. There's some weird way, some reason why the company some does it weird that way. way. Because it's always been that way. They don't seem to want to change it. And it's a big hassle because there's multiple businesses who have internet lines more than one. And they need to have like 10 accounts. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense, but that's how they do it. He says, in addition, yes, this whole thing is wrong. I should be here to do all the work. He goes, but guess what? I have a job assigned to me. My job today is to upgrade one of your internet lines to do a different install, which was news to me. I was like, a different install? What are you talking about? And to remove some equipment. So that's the job he had. He didn't have the job for the other internet line. So he's like, technically, I can't really do anything for the other internet line equipment-wise. That doesn't mean I can't do other stuff while I'm here because I'm here. I'm going to help you out as much as I can. All right? So basically, here's what happened yesterday. What happened okay. yesterday? Let's hear the here's objective story from the reliable narrator, Phil Burnell, the king of hate. On one second, everybody. My friend, Phil. What about the story, though? What are we doing now? We're banning people in chat? I thought this was story time with Phil. Come on, I'm tucked into bed. I'm waiting for my bedtime story about Comcast. So I can have sweet dreams of tips and contributions and so, gifted memberships. And he got distracted. Okay, so... Here's what actually went down when the install guy showed up. First of all, the guy was very friendly, knew everything about everything, was incredibly informed, not only on what he was here to do, but on new products and all. We had great conversations. That basically the they had great years, conversations. They had to get rid of the two internet lines. Right now, <laughs> it probably still wouldn't make sense. <clears throat> but in the next few years, I may be able to get rid of one of these two internet lines. Only get one that's like the highest capacity, and it should be enough to handle everything. Plus, apparently, they're going to be doing infrastructure upgrades and things. And when they do that, I might be good to go forever. Like I won't have to worry about all this nonsense ever again. Okay, so that was good news. Okay, now. Did he do any hardware upgrades whatsoever? You ready for this one? No. No. He literally didn't upgrade anything. He didn't have to upgrade my modem in the office. He didn't have to upgrade the modem downstairs. Upgrade the modem? Equipment. What does that mean? Well, it still works, so right? Why did he have to come out? Well, there was two reasons. Reason number one is because with this new package that I got, I got something new that literally the customer service rep didn't even tell me I was getting. Because you don't need it. Okay. He admits in this in this same video he doesn't need it. What I received is a totally new piece of equipment. It's weird. Because I don't know if I'm ever going to utilize this. Okay? Here's what it is. It is a cellular backup device. Okay. So you, you just said they didn't tell you they're going to give it to you, but you don't need it. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? It means that for some reason if my... Nothing really. Down, you don't need it. It's like the mini PC. I have a device that I can plug in my PC into it. And instead of using the internet lines like I use now, it's a cellular phone internet service device that will connect to the satellites that the cell phone services use and give me temporary internet. Now, is it good internet? No, it's 4G quality internet. It's outdated. And in fact, the guy outright admitted to me. He's like, 4G is still pretty all right. Do anything you're doing. But it's not very fast. Obviously, he can't stream at 12,000 bits bit rate. 
He's like, if you do it, if you try, it might work. It'll be choppy. He's like, it's not going to be good. This is for basic. You can probably internet. stream it like 2,000. Basically, your internet goes out. You'll have a means to connect to the internet. And by the way, it's like this huge thing. It's, it almost looks like a modem in itself with a giant antenna thing on it. Wow. So way more powerful than, say, this. Which is, this is what I do. My internet goes out. I try to connect with this to the internet via satellite and I'll post up on like you know Twitter or my channel page hey guys the internet's out I'll let you know when it's back so this is like an over glorified way more powerful version of this basically all right but you already said not you're not you you are not going to be able to do your normal work it's not going to work it's not that fast it's as a as an emergency backup let's say a business had a point of sale system where they check out customers and yes. it goes down this is a temporary way to keep running transactions that's basically. that's what it's but for yeah it's, it's a for. POS terminal and I said so does this cost me anything? Actually, he's like, no, this is part of your package. So whatever you signed up for, this is what you got. It's your backup. But he goes, literally, you can never use it. You don't have to. It, it, it's, it's right over there on the floor. Okay. He, he says you can plug it in. It has they just threw it on the floor. Hours, so even and it still stays on the floor because everything in DSP's office is on the floor. Power goes out. It still runs. The floor is like a snake pit of cables and wires and all those gadgets and dongles. Everything is on the floor. So you'll still have internet. It's like in a club. Everybody's on the floor. They're having fun. For 12 hours even if your power goes out but he's like yeah all you this is you know it's all it is i was like so why would i want this he's yeah like, it's like the thugs like, oh, no, thugs on the floor in sales transactions that's why they, they put them next to the no thugs to have this. so essentially i got this piece I, I was never told by the sales rep i was getting this i didn't even see that in my contract but i got it and so i just have this thing that i have here you know sitting around <laughs> that i don't know if i'll ever get any use out of at all Isn't that nice, right? So, okay. So he's like, that was the one of the main reasons he showed up. That was actually the primary reason why he was sent to the house, okay? And I was like, so what would have been the other reason? Because everything they told me was that you're doing equipment upgrades. He goes, we're doing no equipment upgrades at all. All I'm going to do is restart your, your your modems with new software. We're going to push a software out, a software update out. You're going to push an update out. But outside of that, everything's the same. And he even admitted, he's like, this could be done from the office. No one had to come out here to do this. The reason that they had me come out here today was money. He goes, that sales rep made a commission. When he made this appointment today, he made his commission. He says, of course, I get paid for being here. So I'm happy I'm here. But he even said to me, he's like, is there something I can do to help you? Because I'm So it's better for everybody. So the people that work at the company get paid. That's that's not too bad. And I said, well, you know what? You know, I have all this legacy equipment out here. Obviously, it's not good for him because he had to interrupt the stream with an interruption. So he basically, what he did is he went through my house and he looked at all the different lines and everything. Oh, he docks he the said, house. Whoa, you still have this? And he, we were in the bedroom and I have this little thing. Oh, we were in the bedroom. In my bedroom, plugged into the wall and it has a cable line coming out of it. Now, I never understood what it was. It was never explained to me what it was. Nine years ago when I moved in, I was just told, you must always have this plugged into the wall. If not, all your internet will go out. That's what I was told. Okay. So if you haven't noticed every once in a while, my internet goes out and I say, oops, it was the power adapter in the bedroom. It got loose, and now that's why the internet went down, so we just plugged it back in, and now it works again, okay? So come to find out, you want to know what that was? An amplifier. What is an amplifier? An amplifier what is an amplifier? Strengthen the signal. What is an amplifier, chat? Before he starts explaining it, what is an amplifier? Do you know what an amplifier was? Is it a device that amplifies something? What does it amplify? Sound? Does it amplify video? Does it amplify tips, perhaps? In the best case, hopefully it amplifies tips. Can you amplify gifted memberships? Of cable and internet in a home where it doesn't it's an amplifier. have capacity to handle what you're trying to do now. Oh, it's an internet so amplifier. Example, first moved here. Oh, I understand now. Yeah, it amplifies the internet. It makes you have more internet. Television cable lines, a home phone, and two internet lines. This house couldn't handle it. So I needed to have it an couldn't amplifier handle it. in the bedroom. House would blow up. That would boost the signal. It was getting too house. much internet. And if that, that amplifier got loose, all everything would go off. So he's looking at it, he goes, you all you have left, all you have is two internet lines. And he's looking at it, he's like, you don't need this. So he's like, let me let me do something for you. And he went outside. He yeah, went the outside. house was overheating. All the lines are, all the boxes. <laughs> it was about, about to he start melting. <laughs> you guys, that's why it's so hot in his office. Because the house was overheating from all the unamplified internet. He unhooks a ton of couplers. He couldn't handle it. I had extra wires out the ass in this house for no reason. He unhooked a ton of cables, a ton of splitters, all this shit. He goes outside again, he comes back in. Let's try your internet. We turn it on. The internet is even faster. It's 
amazing. So, yeah, he goes, what's been happening? 60 frames per second internet. That's what I'm talking about. It loads up WWE Champions in a, in a glimpse, in a flash. That's not how fast it is. Because you've been running it. It even, it makes it so fast that the game starts lagging because it can't keep up with how fast his internet is. Amplifier and everything. He's like, you don't Buttery need smooth internet. It. He's like, all you have is two internet lines. You don't need any of this anymore. 144 now, gems per second. Outside line. You're not That's what I'm you're talking about. Home to this amplifier. You're right out to That's the outside. Your about. internet will now be better. You won't ever have to worry about hitting that stupid thing, getting it loose and losing your internet. And all these extra wires and shit that could be a potential problem have been removed from your home. And I was like, oh yeah, they might have even added ray tracing to his internet. I wonder if it runs in 4K now. Well, now I'm happy you came out here. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, at first it was going to be a complete waste of my time because you're telling me I didn't need any equipment upgrades to begin with. But now I'm happy you came out here because you did me a solid, basically. You didn't have to do that, right? So then he goes, well, what about this other appointment? And I said, well, I th um, I, let's look at it. So we were able to look at it. And basically the other appointment literally was a phantom appointment. It's I phantom appointment. appointment. For any install. There was no <laughs> install. He says that modem you have downstairs is exactly the same modem they're going to give you for that level of internet. If someone comes out, they will literally come restart the modem and walk out the door. There's no install to be done. It's another phantom appointment where a sales rep is trying to make a commission. So they're trying to force a second appointment on you, and you don't need it. Okay. Oh, wow, that's pretty messed up. That's messed up. So they tried to exploit Phil. For an hour here, but in the hour he was here, he installed a piece of equipment I will never use. This this weird 4G internet device that I'll probably never use. It's too slow to do anything I want to do. Then why didn't you take tell him to take it back and that you don't need it? But he did upgrade my internet to be faster and he re basically cleaned the house up with all this excess lines and shit so now my internet is actually going to be better why even um, take the thing you're not going to yeah. use I was like, okay great so basically all this happens right and now he leaves i'm like whoa let me test everything so i turn everything on everything's great man everything in the house is great you know but it's funny because then immediately i get a message from the social media team Uh oh and they say so what happened because they don't even know what happened with your visit the social like, media team. Did he get, like, a Twitter DM? Well, the person who came out here was outstanding. They went above and beyond. They cleaned up a bunch of stuff in my house they didn't need to do. So social like, media team. If you send me a Does he just mean it's, like, a, a survey that he got? And then he's talking about it like an actual person reached out to him, and it's just an automated survey that happens all the time when... when you fucking... when you have some kind of a... thing? Survey asking me about... Yeah, it's a survey. I give him the maximum rating possible. Give right. him the maximum rating. He gave him the whole six I stars. I found out that basically you guys have multiple appointments for no reason. You're trying to waste my time to make money. I don't appreciate that. And I want this taken care of. And they go, All What does right. that mean? And the next thing I know, your, your appointment for next week has automatically been canceled. Yeah, they just canceled it. Okay. So, I mean, pretty much admitting I never needed it to begin with. That okay. Well, you could have just canceled it yourself by calling him and telling him, I don't want this appointment. And then that's it. They would just cancel it. If you just wanted to cancel the appointment, just cancel the appointment. Money. Right? Why is he tweaking out like this? It. And after that, nothing. Now, what's the point I of all of this? By anyone in regards to the situation, like I was told by that scheduling rep? No. Was I given any kind of, you know, actual. Sur I can't even rate the install guy. I would love to. Oh, can't. he can't even do that. There's no way to rate, rate him positively. You can s just send him a PayPal tip. You can maybe even gift him some memberships to help out the, the community. I got an email today asking about the scheduling. Not about the install guide, but the scheduling process. What do you think I rated that? <laughs> right? Zero stars out of six. Zero stars. So anyway, um... That's absolutely ridiculous the way I was handled. I mean, literally two hours in a chat to renew my contracts just to be told one thing not to be explained what i'm actually getting with my contract because i had no idea that that 4g unit was even part of the contract not even told that all right you didn't read the contract i get, I get an appointment for an install come to find out you know i didn't even need an install right so that was baloney then a week later i contact them for this second phantom appointment no one can help me no one knows anything i waste another two hours talking on phone lines with these people in a circle no one can help the social media team says they're going to do something they do nothing to help literally do nothing at all to help thank god the install reps know what they're doing because the guy was was really nice 
probably and the thing is i don't think i've ever had a problem with anyone coming out here and the, the moment a physical person arrives at your home a physical they're cool, person they're knowledgeable, <laughs> they're honest and they help as much as they can the problem is everything before that everything before that is a waste of your time oh uh, he loves the corporate speak man when somebody tells when somebody makes him feel good that's what he loves that's the treatment he he wants to get when somebody from corpo tells him Mr. Brunel, you did nothing wrong. We're we're gonna fire everybody who wronged you. I promise. They're gonna be shot in the face first thing tomorrow morning. We're gonna call them up to their daily meeting. They're not even gonna know what hit them. We're gonna take them out fishing. We don't care. Everything automated or go to a person who's reading a form. And then really nothing happens. Or, you know, their their stupid instructions. No one can freaking help you. No one. And then you say, well, escalate to someone who can. Oh, escalate. Do that. Then what do you get paid for? Why are you even employed? You do nothing. You, you do nothing. Script and you help no one. What do you do, Phil? Why are they, it doesn't make any sense at all, right? Did those people know that he has tens of thousands of videos of Let's Plays on the internet? People are relying on him for their entertainment on a daily basis. He can't have interruptions you know, like this. It's just, it's Time is money. These companies are operated today in 2020. Spent. So, sorry that yesterday we had the interruption. Good news is it wasn't bad. Like, that was the least... Could have been problem. pulling Hogan's on his phone. That's why he's so pissed off. Because his phone was occupied with something else but WWE Champions. Big deal at all. And like I said, my house is better now. I have all these extra lines and shit are gone. The amplifier is gone. My internet works fine without it. <clears throat> this is nice. So I was very pleased with the ultimate resolution. The problem was the hours of wasted time to get there. Was it was so ridiculous. Okay? So... Yeah, I wish this company were better. But the thing is, I don't even have opportunity to give them feedback to tell Can't them. Can't even give them feedback. I don't. I like, how do I tell them? Well, I can't. Isn't there them. a Comcast feedback email? Uh, I I can look that up. Anywhere, there's no line to call for customer feedback. They sent me a, a a survey, which was click a number. I'm serious. Click a number of rating. Okay, I clicked it. All right, done. Your survey's done. Well, how the fuck did that help you? So, you can leave a a review on so, on. Google Maps or something. I mean, I'm three years, I'll have better internet. Not really better. It's basically the same speeds. It's better download speeds, which I'll never use. Like, what am I going to use better download speeds? Never download yeah. stuff. Uh, upload speed. You can download the Hogan's in real time in 4K. And, you know, if we're getting videos to YouTube, but that hasn't really changed. There, I don't have the top, top of the line package. There is a top, top, top of the line. Oh, there is an even it's higher package. Expensive than what it's I'm way more about. expensive. I think that was going to benefit enough from it. If ever I decide Come on, dude. That's an investment. 4K quality. 4K. Probably upgrade my 8K. AI. And like I said, what I was told... And was, using a 720p camera. That's what we're going to do. A year or two. And they're going to actually start doing major like changes to the kind of internet that they're offering and when they do that if i go to the new offerings i may not need the two internet lines anymore that one internet line might be way better than anything they have now and therefore i just have the one account cancel the other account <clears throat> why not just get a third internet line because you want to have some fallback if your first and second internet lines go down you want to have a third one in case something went goes wrong and then you want to have a fourth one in case the third one goes wrong and goes down you know, that makes sense. You you got to think. You got to think ahead. I have to deal with one from now on, and that's enough sufficient for my whole house. Maybe even a fifth one. I don't think that's too crazy. That. It's okay. an investment into so, the business. There you go. Imagine if he shows up on stream and he's like, oh, you guys, you guys like the 4K content? Well, well, I, I'm going to need you guys' buy-in because I, I just spent a lot of money investing in my business, and I, I have to make that back, so I'm going to need your buy-in. I never told people, buy my internet for me. That's what the fucking stupid trolls are saying. It's fucking idiots. Big ups uh, General Gam for the super chat. LOL, this right here. It's every time he phones Comcast and tells them the same crap, they upsell him to. Capitalist move right there. Well, it, it, I'm going to end this segment, end this stream by saying, even if he's in the right, like with the uh, other stories we've heard from him and people mistreating him and companies and vets and executives and management, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy than Phil. So there you go. That's the stream for you. Big ups for 4 hours and 12 minutes of entertainment. Thanks everybody for swinging by. Thanks for interacting, enjoying, contributing, and um, the pos positiving. Thanks for fixing my internet. Thanks for uh, es escalating this to management. And thanks for, um, something. I'm going to go suck off Disney, because apparently that's uh, something I really like doing now. And I will uh, text you back on the 
chatbot that we regularly text in, or the secret Discord that we're all a part of, as soon as I suck off Disney, to tell you about my experience in excruciating detail. Uh, so, thanks everybody, big ups, and I'm gonna see you next time, whenever that is. Bye!